Hey guys, Fia back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 29th of May 2022. We did some Gruel's Lair, trying to cross everything off the list. I will let you see how we did. Uh, if you would like to join us live in chat for Chit Chats next time, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you tack on a forward slash schedule, you'll be able to see when I'm next going to be going live, converted to your time zone, as well as what we will be doing on that specific day. If you'd like to catch some behind the scenes action and also help support me on my way to full-time content creatordom hood. I, I, look, I don't know if that's actually a word. If you know what the word is, put it in comments below because like, I feel like there's, anyway, you can do so on social media, uh, particularly Instagram. I've been super, super active there, trying to really kind of improve my my presence and my content quality and all that kind of stuff. So would love to have you over there. Uh, all those links, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Discord, TikTok, Facebook, all that kind of stuff is down in the description box below, as well as a handful of affiliate links if you're looking for gifts for yourself or for loved ones or whatever it happens to be. Um, why not consider support for you at the same time? Potentially. Up to you, of course. I'm going to let you enjoy the VOD. I hope that I will see you in chat next time. Hello. Welcome back to a beer stream. It's another one. Hello. So is that really? Maybe it's just on here. Whoa, wrong side. Yeah. Headset was turned up. All right. I'm like it was a bit loud. Hmm. That's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Oh my god, I have so many quests. Okie dokie, let us have a look here. Yeah, I'm thinking tokens and skins. Tokens and skins, tokens and skins. Make sure you uh, follow the link in chat. Drag and drop your units to the battlefield. And uh, we can do some wins. I'm in a place. Of that. Um, because I think that should. Yes! Amazing. Amazing. 10 kills. Well, we'll see how we go with that. Hi, we'll see. Sunny. Ah! Yuri! Oh my gosh, 16 months. Good lord. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. We are gruelzing. We are gruels layering today. I'm gonna see if we can't finish it off. I look, I have very little faith, but that's fine. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. There aren't many items we still need. That's the thing. I think that's the key thing to focus on here. It's just like everything and they all share appearances and stuff. So yeah, we'll be good. We're just gonna get the right tokens. <laughs> This is the problem. This is the problem. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Yes, pikelets. Mmm, <laughs> so vanilla-y. Delicious. Druid's the lowest percentage completed, so we're gonna start here. Let's see how we go. Mm. I forgot to turn the bot back on. I've been doing some uh, PC restarting and stuff and I forgot to turn the bot on so that's my bad apologies but we had dupe with the first attempt and then Zam with the first attempt and then Zam with a butts attempt um, and then a new from dupe appropriately so I feel like I made first you did get first dupe you did you did and Zam have an rage that's fine hello Landa with second or an attempt at second uh, and Grazzy with the raid, welcome on in, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I saw you were doing some Minecraft shenanigans. Wonderful and lovely. I hope you and the little one had a fantastic time. <laughs> Woo, indeed. You mentioned you didn't need... Shay, either you need self-control or you need to relax. Either or. Like... If you have enough disposable income to pay for your Dragon Age Inquisition stuff and things, then you are fine. And if you're literally sacrificing rent and food in order to play this game, then you you need some self-control and or therapy. So you're fine. Yeah, we can't we can't help with either of those things, unfortunately. Um 
I don't think fear is red. I was not. I was not to go do some more work. Oh, oops. I forgot there was still, still a chat up there. Let's turn that off. Good. <sighs> Look, I everything's fine. Everything's fine. Welcome on in to see her. Uh, oh, that is so sweet of you. Thank you, Kraz. Um, here we go. I mean, that is, that is most games. Like, most games have realized that, like, side quests are how to keep your people playing for even longer and how to give them their money's worth. Um, here we go. And Axiom, thank you so much for the biddies. Much appreciated. We could have just now for anyone else. I went to the kitchen to fill up my water bottle and my headset cuts out when I go that far, but I, I didn't think it affected stream. That's very strange. Very strange. Um, it, I don't think it's ever done that before because it does that almost every stream when I go out to the kitchen while things are kind of starting up. Every single stream it does that. So it's interesting that it carried through. Um, but hey, that's fun. And then Yori with the resub, much appreciated and well done on last. Something is different. Yeah, I oopsed. Didn't see Jazz properly, not in high vis yet. <laughs> it's almost like camouflage. All of the hydrates, good lord, X, good lord. Mm. Today is the last chance you have to contribute to the Mythic Bot Achievement Run uh, community challenge, BT dubs. I don't try to achieve. This is true. This is true. It's fun learning with a little louder. I had to call it to start taking a little longer. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Kraz. Thank you. <laughs> Camouflage. I have to hang some shelves. Enjoy. Enjoy. Do not stab your toe. Leave the room. Yeah, no, I didn't think. I, I feel I feel like people would have said something if it was. But I mean, hey, look, maybe something, maybe something in the settings has changed or that. Mm. Maybe with an update or something, something now does something it didn't do before. Enjoy your lurk, X. Thank you so much. I will see you soon, I'm sure. Yes, I want a mount chance. Let's get it done. Oh, the bod one. Right. It's just the mount from... Oh, no, and there's the Gmod as well, right? Mm, I've got Jaina's mount. Um. Because... Oh, actually, wait. Do I have, no, I think, is it, the water elemental was heroic, not mythic, right? Wait. Was it the storm something? Glacial tide storm. Yeah, I've got that one. Cause she was dropping two at a time. Um, and they did some nerfs that made her very, very easy. Um, so a lot of people got it back during BFA. Um, Hmm. Mm, I thought so. I thought so. Hmm. Um. Oh, my condolences, Bear. That's alright. Things happen. Life goes on. Every gen is not. It is mythic, yeah. Hmm. Hello, Jack. Okay. Here we go. I didn't get BFA raid. Mm. I did a little bit here and there and then um, was in with a pretty awesome group of folk who did mythic runs, um, especially once Jaina, cause she double drops. She drops two mounts. Um, well, she did, I don't know if she still does, but um, right. Okay, so I got defender. Oh, that's a druid one. Pauldrons of the, def of the fallen defender. <clears throat> so I think I just use it for half of them, but then I have to use it as currency for the other half. Yes, perfect. All right, cool. So I still need another one of those, but I can, and then that's the glads one. So I go in and, and exchange it because it's PVP equipped mint, but that's cool. One down. Several to go. Um, you under another muzzle tweak? Maybe I can have a look. Does not currently double drop. Okay, noted. Yeah, it's it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. Is it has it dropped down to a one percent jack, or has it dropped down to a two percent to like reference 
the fact that it double dropped. If we actually know, we may not have the info yet. And, uh... Um... And I got a defender, legs of the defender too. Fantastic. Now, is that? Yeah, I need both things from there too. Hey! Very pleased with that. Not a bad first run. Not a bad first run. Uh, 49 to go. <laughs> well, not necessarily 49. It depends on how, like, if I can clear it and get all the druid stuff on druid number two or five, then I'm not going to do the rest of the druids, obviously. But uh, we have up to 50 runs to do. Mm. If I manage to, to clock Gruul's Lair, it will be the first dungeon or raid that I have finished across all characters ever. How's that for a milestone? All right, while that's loading in, we do have map makeup today. And it's showing up a little bit strange on camera. Um, the stuff I have in my crease is actually green. It's a little bit of like a mossy sort of green, but it's most certainly like green. It's green, green. Uh, I've got purple on the outside corner here. And it's not, I mean, okay, it shows up a bit better from that angle, um, but it is, it's, it's, a, it's a purple purple. And then I have like a gold slash almost, almost a rosy kind of gold. It's kind of like borderline becoming a rose gold um, in the, in the middle bit there. Um, this is a mount that I own and it flies. It is a flying mount. So best of luck. Best wishes. Hopefully someone actually guesses it today. Oh, do I not have, no, I do not. Um, Rat Stallion, no, keyboard dive, and Jimmy's bullet in 939, came out as far as I get, it's not crap, oh, that's so good to hear, I'm so glad, see, look, um, stuff like that, you've got two things, right, either it's crap, right out of the box, but it lasts forever, like, it doesn't function very well, but it never breaks down, or, it functions surprisingly well, but it lasts six months. So now is the time to start like saving up for that replacement keyboard for when this one dies. <laughs> mm. If you want to get something that's cheap, that will last you, that that's like really quite good. And if you don't mind it not being a mechanical keyboard, like if you're okay with it just being a stock stand, like an office kind of keyboard, look into the Logitech stuff. And I'm not just saying this because I'm an affiliate, like I get no money from this, but they have a super, super, super cheap line of like office equipment that's designed for, you know, offices where people don't give a shit about RGB and stuff. It's not the G series. It's just like, just Logitech. And they have a whole lot of like ergonomical things and blah, 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 blah. But they have like dirt cheap stuff. And it, it lasts and it lasts and it lasts. It's just good quality stuff at like, like very little cash kind of thing. Um, definitely recommend. Um, you can often pick them up from places like Officeworks as well. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hello, B-Dub. Welcome back. I should say she does still drop two, but only for a full raid. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I guarantee two drop, no matter the raid size, like it was the end of BFA. Got you. Understood. So if it's a mythic and you take 20 people, you'll get two, but if you take 19... You probably, you, you might not, sort of thing. Hello, Sheba. How are you going? I was making a lot of four years. Brilliant. Awesome. But yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, if you're not, if you're not super fussed, I know some people are like, once they've gone mechanical, they cannot go back and all that kind of stuff. And that's totally fine. To each their own, you know, personal preference. But if you're not fussed about that, you've got a lot more leeway in terms of what you can get for a good price. Mm. Definitely check out the, the, like, the office line from Logitech. 
I used to buy the um, the wireless keyboard that had a touchpad, like a laptop touchpad on the side of it for hooking up to the TV. Because I used to have like an actual computer, like a, um, a tower connected and then used the piece, used the television as a screen for the desktop, uh, for the tower. And I'd stick in a wireless keyboard so I could sit back on the couch and move the mouse around and, and do typing to search for whatever um, video I was going to watch or whatever it happened to be. Mm. It was like super good stuff. And that was dirt cheap too. Dirt cheap. Honestly, mechanical is nice. Doesn't make anywhere near as much difference for gaming as a half decent mouse. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mice are... Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hello, Panda. Welcome back. Um, see how Kitten will do without being locked in room tonight. So far, he's annoying. <laughs> I mean, it's essentially an animal toddler, and toddlers are pretty pretty annoying. So makes sense. What about TT esports? Good for budget gaming. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry, Bita. I've I've genuinely not actually heard of that. Unless it's a typo or like an abbreviation of something, I I don't know what that is. So I I wouldn't be able to tell you. Sorry. I should have some of these hydrates. God, the water's so cold. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> you know when you have like when water's just like so cold and it makes it you your throat kind of go. <gasps> yep. Yeah. I was like, oh no. Oh no. Indeed, Zam. Indeed. PC gaming run. Yeah, okay. I've never heard of them. Sorry. Um, I would not. Uh, I would not vouch for a, a game brand that I've never heard of, let alone used. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I, I can't speak to them. Um, you're not a spudge. Indeed. Indeed. As Shiba is artiste and has provided with arts. Hmm. Malash, hello. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What is- oh no. There we go. What is- am I in resto? I absolutely am. Good. Alright. One moment, please. <laughs> Oops. I hope you are as well. I am indeed. I am indeed. There we go. Things actually going squeesh now. Oh, excuse me. This one, and this one, and this one. Oh my. I got a hero, which is not the one that I need. That's okay. And I also did not get the helm. Alrighty, so we've got three items still from Gruel as well. Oh, I didn't. I should have looted. Haha, -ha, what are we working on? Uh, Gruel's Lair. Gruel's Lair. So I'm farming transmog. And uh, the I've got a spreadsheet. It's magical and magnificent and... It's all thanks to Jack. Uh, and it's uh, basically tells me my lowest percentage completion of dungeons and raids across the 12 classes. And currently my lowest completion is Druid in Gruul's Lab. So I'm like, you know what? I reckon. Oh, oh, Defender. Okay, so I need to go back to chat to get the glad, the, the glad set, the glad ones. I need to go to Isle of Keldenas. Okay. Good question mark. All right, nothing else is a thing, but that's okay. If I 
put in Sha. Ah, oh, Axiom, thank you for the biddies. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Um, yes, so I've got 50 tunes. Um, they're evenly spread across all 12 classes, so four of everything, and then an extra druid and an extra mage. Um, so I'm wondering if I could throw all of them at Gruul's. Maybe I could finish it completely. That's it. Like, no more needing to do Gruul's ever on any race. Uh, sorry, on any, any class. That would be kind of funky. And it'd be my first dungeon or raid that I have completed 100% across everything. So... That's what I'm kind of thinking, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. I'm starting with the Druids because they're the lowest percentage. Not any more than not, but they are. They were. Uh, so yes, that's where we're going to go. I'm excited for the new expansion. Uh, yes. Uh, interested. I'm interested in the new expansion. We don't have enough information yet, I don't think. Um, I'm, I'm keen to see where they take it. Really, really keen to see where they take it. Um, but yeah, we're, we've got some very surface level info at this stage, so, uh, I'm, I'm keen, keen as a bean to see what, like, how the stuff that they've announced actually works and how it, it, like, how it feels when we interact with it and things like that. So yeah, I am, I'm very interested, excited for more information. Oh, the Fighting Transmog do a lot of Mount X Morgan pet runs. Oh, fantastic. We have Mount Farm Monday. Um, <laughs> and then Sundays are usually transmog farming, but lately we've had a couple of things that have sort of popped up that I've only been able to fit on Mondays or Sundays. So it's been fun. It's been fun. It's been, everything's a little bit mixed up at the moment, but that's okay. That's okay. We're still having a blast. But yeah, I'm very much a, a completionist, collectory type person, person. Uh, solution life's problems, just yeet a bunch of cats at it. Look, I mean, maybe. Uh, is five enough though? Is five cats enough to yeet? To be yoat? I'm hilarious. Uh, so she a bunch of cats I could yeet. Why is that sad? Why is that sad? Uh, I like held an ass. Yeah, but like where? <laughs> Corinna. Corinna. Where are you? Um, maybe this way. <clears throat> Most of the, oh no, up the way, this way. Most of the uh, PvP people tend to be in this sort of general area. Um, pretty much a weekend warrior. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that at all. We have 13, that's a few cats. Is that is that a problem? Because you said sadly, so I'm assuming there was there's like a problem a with having thirteen. Was that not the intent? Have you accidentally acquired um, thirteen cats? Uh, all right, dragon hide leg guards. Dragon hide leg guards. They should share an appearance. Fantastic! Amazing! Two druids down. Three to go. Justice. We are doing well. All right, I'm gonna log out here and I'll just have to deal with that later. Um, Is X enough cat? No, the answer is no, it'll never be enough. Heavy crazy cat lady from Simpsons vibes. Just throwing cats, by the way. Yep, never enough cats. Has the face shenanigans been guessed? No, it has not. No, I have a greater than any number of cats. I vehemently disagree. Um. 21 got good homes with some kittens. Yay! Wife does for a rescue. The ones we have are ones that can't be adopted, so they're ours. Little brats. Oh, alien, that's adorable. That's super cool, though. I imagine it can be quite rewarding, like, saving a creature's life, you know? Like, yep. Yeah, I don't know. I I wouldn't have it in me. Like, I, I, I do not have the time or the patience to deal with that many animals. But, uh... Hmm... I have one cat randomly ran into a house one night. Oh, beautiful. He chose you. You did not choose him. He chose you. Deal with it. <laughs> oh, dear. 
It can be these guys are far too smart for their own good. Love that. Love that. Oh dear. Something, something curiosity, right? <laughs> All right, we are on the Horde side now. He did, he chose us. Hello, Josh. Thug Life chose them. Yeah. Husband had just gotten rid of his cat and another ran in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, the universe hath spoken. Thou must have cat. Thou must have catto. If it was a rescue papa named Sao Fang. That's, I'm a cat person, so no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I don't dislike dogs. I've I've never dis. Well, I used to be terrified of dogs, but I don't I don't dislike them. I just prefer cats. So they're they're far 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 less maintenance. Like you don't have to constantly pay them attention and walk them and yeah nah yeah nah. Um, load her up. Uh, they've started streams and Google searches. You changed my YouTube docs I was listening to. Well, well done to them. Holy cow, that's hilarious. That's what I said too, yep. You fair, also have three dogs and one cat. Fair. Good afternoon, Kay. Welcome back. Yes, today is the last day to contribute to the Mythic Bod Achievement Run Community Challenge. Last day, it's, it's a bit, ooh, it's looking a bit sticky. 64%. We've got to get to 100 today or it doesn't happen. Oof. Oh, excuse me, we're also currently babysitting our neighbor's dog. Amazing. Wonderful. Gosh, sounds like a full house. Sounds like a full house. Uh, how are we all doing today? Yeah, look, I'm not doing too badly. I was, I had a, a fairly productive day. I've still got like a lot to do. Um, but I'm doing better than I was when I woke up today, like in terms of things that have been done. So I'm, I'm slightly less stressed than I was this morning, but, uh, definitely still getting there. Definitely still getting there. Hello, Tessie. Welcome back. Hello. You feel slightly less stressed? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a bit that way. It's, it's a bit that way. Just a bit. There's just, there's still just so much to do. So much to do. Uh, but that's all right. That's all right. It is what it is. Mm. But I'm also like, there have been a few things that have taken me hours and hours and hours to figure out and next month it'll be it, like I've got a procedure now so it'll just happen and it'll take a lot less time which is good but yeah it's uh it's it's been a bit of a time these last couple of days have been pretty full on um but that's all right it you know sometimes that happens sometimes it happens and I'm taking Wednesday off for those who hadn't heard just yet, this Wednesday there will be not a f no fear stream. Usually we stream uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, but this week there will be no Wednesday. Um, I'm taking a night off. Part of my whole resolution to take a day off every month to try to stay on top of things and things, and to just have a bit of a break because I work a lot. I have day job, I have the stream, and. Uh, I don't really get much time to not do anything at all. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's fun times. So yeah, taking Wednesday off. It'll be good. Looking forward to it. Um, how much do people think the family pets from their youth impact cat dog preferences at adult as adults? Um I had I had I didn't have pets. I had like fish and stuff. Well, I guess fish are pets, but it was like, you know. Um and then I had a dog before I ever had a cat. Uh, and I still wanted a cat when when mum was like, we'll get a pet. And I'm like, yeah, we get a kitten. And she goes, no, we're getting a dog. So yeah, um, like even then I still wanted a cat. So I, I don't think it, 
I don't think childhood, because there are a lot of people out there, keep in mind, who never had childhood pets because childhood pets are fucking expensive. And there is this thing known as the poverty line, uh, which, you know, a lot of people happen to live near or under and you need to be quite well off to have pets. You Like, legitimately, you need to be quite well off to be able to take care of a pet properly. Um, so many people didn't have pets and so probably, you know, there, there is no option there for them to be determined by the childhood pet because there wasn't one to determine it. Um, but yeah, I think... Like, I think maybe animals you spend time around and stuff, not necessarily pets, but, like, um, if if friends had pets and stuff like that, then maybe. Um, but I think it's also got a lot to do with personality and, and like, dogs are a much larger time investment than cats are. Um, I, like, I'm an introvert. I know it's weird. I stream. I have extroverted tendencies, definitely. But overall, like, I... I have my own thing. I'm incredibly independent and self everything and blah 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 blah. Um, so something that relies on me so desperately, constant attention, walk it every day, like etc. It's just it's just too much. It does not suit my lifestyle in any way, shape, or form. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, I think there are far more impactful things than having a childhood pet. Um, on your preference for animals. Uh, all right, so I got the helm. The the Malefic Mask of the Shadows. So that's done, that's crossed off. And I also got Pauldrons of the Fallen Defender. So I've got to take this one to Isle of Keldenas as well, which is awesome. I only have one. Oh, excuse me. Apparently I only have one thing left from Gruul as well, the Gron Stitched Girdle. So, uh... Let's go see if we can get that, because that would be awesome. That'd be gruel done on Druid. Good lord. So much easier than I thought. <clears throat> um, I haven't had any hints yet. I'm gonna jump in with Ponnettle. No, not Ponnettle. Uh, green, purple, gold. Own it, it flies. One thing at a time, it will get done indeed. Yeah, just gotta, gotta keep working. Gotta keep working. No Wednesday, you remove the whole day. Correct, it's just gonna go straight from Tuesday to Thursday. Screw you all. Ah, <laughs> uh, Robert, I think I had cats and dogs growing up and prefer dogs. I did not get the Grand Stitch girdle, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna head back to Isla Keldenas. You time to yourself, where's a cat? We had a dog once, I do prefer cats. Interesting, see, I would have thought childhood pets had a big influence on preferences at all. So, of course, like you say, there isn't always an option due to cost, lifestyle, etc. Yeah. A dog I adored as a youth, prefer cats as an adult. 100% a valid reason not to get pets. That's the reason I don't have any at the moment. The cost, I feel like if you're going to have a pet, never do it half hearted and only do it if do it only if you can afford it. I agree as well, wholeheartedly. This is a life. Just because it's not a human life doesn't make it any less valuable. You need to be able to be committed to, like, if, if, you know, if you have a child and it turns out that that child is, for example, celiac and needs a gluten-free diet, you need to be able to afford that. You need to be able to make adjustments and get medical treatment and, and all that kind of stuff to make sure that that child won't get sick. It's the same with a pet. If you just feed it whatever and it becomes malnourished and it suffers because you can't afford the more expensive diet that it as an individual creature needs to be healthier, that's cruelty. Like it's just, it's just cruel. Um, and, and people who don't engage with the animals in a way that fulfills them and like, like they're social animals and they require, they, there's all that kind of stuff that they need. If you don't have the time or money to provide all that or provide the potential for the kind of stuff that they might need if health issues and things pop up, then like that's, it's, it's cruelty. It's literally being cruel to the creature. Um, so yeah, it's definitely the irresponsible pet owner. Uh, Silver, Krazy, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit, and also welcome on in, Dill. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Right here next. Brilliant. Respectfully argue that dogs can be lower maintenance depending on the breed, then I'm not very knowledgeable of cats. Well, see, so cats, if you feed them and you make sure they have water in a bowl, that's pretty much it. Like, they might come up and cuddle you and stuff like that, and, and when they're younger they have a bit more energy and all that kind of thing, but it's... <laughs> yeah. 
they much prefer from from what I've I've read and been told and stuff like that. They much prefer their own company, as in like cat having a cat as a friend rather than being attached to a human. Um, dogs need to be walked every day, and and all that. It, it's it's dogs are far more. Dogs are what do they call them? Pack animals. I again, I don't know as much about. Like I haven't done research into having a dog as a pet because I'd be more interested in having a cat as a pet, but. They, they, you are, you're the, the leader of their pack. You need to give them direction. You need to, like, you know, you need to train a dog because they're these enormous fucking animals that get everywhere. Whereas a cat, you can very easily keep them out. <laughs> but, like, it's, yeah, it's, nah. Um, I, I firmly believe that dogs are far more work than cats are. Um, yeah. You also don't need to train cats to go in the right place, you know, bathroom in the right place and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, occasionally you need to groom them, but they mostly groom themselves and, and just all that kind of, yeah, it's... Mmm. Uh, place your units. Link in chat. Log in with a Twitch account. The dragon drop them to the battlefield. I have goldfish and they never hug me. I am not surprised by that at all, Shay. <laughs> um... I mean, dogs are a much more time-intensive pet. Live in a unit, easier to have a cat in a unit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dogs need space. Dogs need space. It Again, with the cruelty thing, keeping a larger breed of dog in an apartment is just cruel. Uh, unless you're, you know, taking them for walks three times a day, but even then, it's still, like... Yeah. Uh, healthy cats need only food, water, and cleaning up after healthy dogs take more but give more. Fair enough. Uh, I've never felt given to by a dog, um, personally. Like, <laughs> even the one we owned, just, nah. Uh, Viridian Netherwing Drake, no, 100% agree with your very valid points. Thank you, Dill, I appreciate it. To be clear, I'm not anti-pet at all in any way, shape, or form. Like, at all. I, I know that animals provide so, 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 so much to their owners and stuff like that. Like they're, they're an integral part of a lot of people's lives and that's fantastic and beautiful and great. As long as, you know, they're being well taken care of and all that kind of stuff. Like it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it really depends on the personality with cats though. Some cats need that close social interaction with their humans. I don't know, there's actually a trigger going walks. It's down to the individuals. Of course, of course, but they don't need, like they're not, it's not a health requirement for you to take them on a walk every day. You know, that's, whereas for dogs, they need that exercise. Cats can get more of that exercise just jumping around the home and sleeping most of the time. And yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, all right, dragon hide spoulders. Ta-da! All right, not quite done. We have one more, one more thing to get. And the, dru the druids will be done with gruels. Please let it drop. I've got two more druids to run. Ah, do string dread packs. Yeah, typically uh, both those type of tunes. I mean, you think that a cat does not want to be kept out and likes to help me. Like, wow, it is such a times. Of course, of course, but it's not a requirement to spend X number of hours a day with them on a lead, taking them for like, I do not have time. If I had to take care of an animal, I would have to, something would have to give, something would have to stop. I'd have to drop stream days or I'd have to drop social media platforms or, or time at work. Like they, I would have to stop doing something. I do not have time. They are time intensive. <laughs> like there are no two ways about that guys. Okay. Uh, extremely amazing. Some cats are extremely high maintenance. Uh, yeah, same with humans. Um, I mean, I everyone's gonna be at work. You need to be travel weeks at a time. Problem with a cat is that they're very territorial. Don't adjust that old new environments. So you cannot just take them to a friend's house to take care. No, you can't. However, depending on the age of the cat, you can literally have someone go around there, like babysit for an hour a day. Like I, I remember we had like one of my friends. Um, they, one of their family members had a cat in, in uh, like early high school, I think. And they would go traveling and they'd pay her to go over there for every day for, for half an hour to an hour, top up the food, give them some wet food, top up the, the water and all that kind of stuff and just kind of pet the cat for a bit. And that was it. 
the rest of the time the cat was perfectly content being by themselves. Not, okay, of course, not all cats, but like, just like with dogs, you can kennel them. So they have somebody there protecting them and, and taking care of them and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've not met a cat who doesn't love playing well. A lot of pets have been in our home space. Have you my puppy gets to exercise and simply now and then? She's me a pillow. Do you try to find a regular sound for me? The day all pets have died. I mean, is that exactly? Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you can't, if you are not capable of doing that, either with time or financially, then you need to reconsider having a creature be dependent on you because it's literally what it is. That creature will not survive unless you provide for it properly and uh, not taking care of it is cruelty. Um, all right, do I need to turn on? Yes, I do. Good. Uh, cat sitting is much easier than dog sitting, I am. Um, cat visibly misses me over for a few days. I'm interested in how she needs to be my six day trip in July. Yeah, yeah, neighbor's cat sitting, he was fine personally. I didn't think it was fair to him. Oh, fair enough. I mean, like, which, what would be more fair? Having somebody come in and drop in and say hello and feed and water and, and give some pets and all that kind of stuff, or putting them in a kennel or something. Like, do you know what I mean? It's every, again, every animal is going to be different. But you you couldn't do that with a dog. Like you you couldn't have someone come come over an hour a day to feed and pet when like you just can't do that, not with a dog. It is potentially something you could do with a cat, definitely not with a dog. I took the off place of the versus stream from my sister's boy. Time financially and mentally. Uh, if you really forget the last bit, yes, absolutely. Kitty Riker has a little separation anxiety we're working on. He's not quite a year old yet. Playing to oh yeah, he's a baby. He's a baby. Um, I'm going in the wrong direction, I believe. All right, yes, <laughs> very much the wrong direction. Good. Outland is large. It's fine. Whenever you're running a dungeon for ETT, no, he's never the one you need half the time. <laughs> Um, do you mean it drops? Like, the drops are never the one you need. Because if you're running a dungeon for ATT and it's not the one you need, then you've picked the wrong dungeon. <laughs> you can you can very easily remedy that by going to the correct dungeon. But if you're talking about drops, then yeah, that's that's the RNG gods. That's RNG Jesus. Having a having a play with your mind, it's fine. It's fine, but that's part of like that's part of the enjoyment. If everything, if you ran it once and everything you wanted just dropped immediately automatically, then that would be much less fun, in in my opinion, at least. Um, I'm going to learn how to open both my closet and my drawers. Oh no, okay. Oh no, confirming leather drops. I always get mail or plate. Yeah, so the drops. Yeah, you missed the word drop. You said uh, whenever you're running a dungeon for ATT, it always never the one you need. You need half the time. That I'm um, like, if it's not the dungeon you need, pick a different dungeon. That's why I was a bit confused. But yes, but that's okay. Like I said, if it if it dropped what you needed first time every time, guaranteed, then it would just be boring. Um, in my opinion. But look, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I guess better in a year or so, as used to be waiting for us by the door while we're at school or work. Aw, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. That's adorable. No, it, it's fine. I just wanted to clarify because I wanted to make sure. I, when When someone says something and it's not quite a complete sentence, I can assume that I know what they're saying. But then if it's not at all what they're saying, then it can cause some really awkward misunderstandings and stuff. And so it's always safer to not assume and to double check and ask. Uh, Jade Panther is it, Shiba. Well done. Number from you, please. Ah, he cries when I leave the house sometimes. He despises closed doors, much to my roomies annoyance. <sighs> well, I'm sure he will learn to understand that closed doors are sometimes a necessity. Uh, hello, Soler. How are you going? 34 for Shiba. Where are we? This one. 
Was it just letting doors over to start putting something in to block it from opening? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. My kingdom, why has the slave closed the door? Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's it. Alrighty. Okay. Here we go. Bushi Basu. You have one. Supraland. I don't know what that is at all. But I hope. It is cute and or fun and or enjoyable. Yay for winning! Congratulations. Uh, I first kept with my parents way too many years ago, learned how to open the sliding doors to my room. Yep. They're so clever, hey. Animals in general, like, are, are so much more clever than we give them credit for, I reckon. I don't actually need- Aha! Would you like the leather helm, says RN Jesus, after I have already given you one. Gives me three from one. You good lord. Good lord. It's always how it goes, eh? Okay, I'm just looking three. I'm not tired at all. It's been raining earlier. That's the the game. I mean, you can always rest. Instead of sleeping, like, um, I- Insomnia. Right, so, but I, I have two jobs, like I have to, I have to do shit. Um, so if I can't sleep, I rest. I lie down, I close my eyes, pop some earbuds in, listen to something, listen to Netflix, listen to Spotify or something, and I just, I rest. I'm not active, I'm not actively using energy by moving around and thinking hard and doing stuff, but I'm also not asleep, because I can't. Um, but yeah, definitely something I recommend. Um, <laughs> Perfect, maybe. Perfect. All right. One more druid. This is a leather. This is not a druid item, though. So, I mean, it could still drop on another leather wearer. <laughs> it would be very nice if it did. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I do have quite a few leather wearers. what that sounds like. I'm, I promise. It's actually, yeah, mm -hmm. very real. <laughs> okay. I am 100% complete on the mage, surprising exactly nobody. Um, so mage is done. That's five tunes I don't have to run. The rest of them... I think the most time I'm spending is just flying to Gruels. I think that's going to be like the what takes the most time out of all of these different things. <clears throat> Camel's just so heavily bonded to me. She's so sure cat keeps me obviously her best name. Heading to bed now. Nine in the morning. Oh my goodness, still. Nine in the morning. I you haven't slept up to fly. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Streaming brilliant. Rest well. We will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by. Off we go. It's looking good. 87.5%. Tasty and delicious. Is this belt gonna drop, guys? Not necessarily on this tune, but am I gonna get this goddamn belt to drop? Is it gonna drop? 
Borgrond rare. Interesting. Let me confer with my sources. No. Zam, that's not very nice of you. Of course, this will you. Even of course, see you later. Bye bye. So this only has one shared appearance in the entire game, and it's from a rare in Gorgrond. So this is a unique appearance for literally years and years. That's super funky. Come on, this belt is it can it's gonna drop. It's gonna drop. I mean, I have rogues and monks and demon hunters still to go. Like, if none of so what's that? Three classes. I've got 12 more tunes that can get that belt to drop. It bloody well better. <laughs> it it bloody well better. Make me very unhappy. <sighs> if you could wave a magic wand and have any dungeon or raid be 100% complete across all your tunes, like all your classes, what would it be? Either because you really love the designs and you really, like, you just want the whole set so you can use it across all your tunes, or something that you hate doing so much that you just want it crossed off the list without having to put in the effort. <clears throat> yeah, but you displeased Owen Jesus by stating you'd be 100% done. Look, I think what's going to happen, Meaty, is that it will drop on a tune that won't make it the 100%. So, like, it'll drop on a rogue while I'm still looking for shoulders. Does that make sense? So it won't actually make it 100%. Off the top of my head, Dragon Soul, because of the spine encounter or for different reasons? Bum, bum. Like ashes, because the up here is ridiculous. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. Tempest Keep the Eye. Just remember Super Red Drop, i.e. Tesla Manoroth. Yep, mounts in the time it takes. Fair, fair. You can shave... like 10 seconds or so off the RP with the heads of the dragon flights on top of the tower. Once you get up there, if you port straight back down again and then fly up, it'll unlock the portal 10 to 15 seconds before it's supposed to. I know it's not much, but it feels like a lot and it feels like you're doing something rather than just standing around as well. But yeah, it's uh. All the other encounters just they they're really really quick, but um spine still having to do the mechanics is is a little bit annoying. Annoying. Another three mounts so far. I was gonna say Super Shiny, I tried Dragon Soul for the first time yesterday and fail on oh, no. Dragon Soul is quite easy to do. It's just a matter of like knowing how like it's once you once you get it you get it you know what i mean like once you understand how it works you'll be you'll be totally fine um we'll be into dragon soul at some point in the future i'm sure but i'm just not sure how soon Twenty percent drop from gruel 61 percent from the gorgon rare interesting huh noted that 22% is a pretty big chunk, though. I mean, I guess it's because he drops so many pieces, hey? That's a nice. Thank you very much. Spine is okay. She's a bit of a pain. That's a... That's not a... That was a, a shared appearance. Okay. Druids completed. We've, we've run all the druids. That's okay. Ship is a bit of a pain. Ship. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. That takes a while. Uh, the first time I thought I understood the spine until I died and realized I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's... The spine was a very interesting fight. A, a lot of people hated it because, like, oh, why are we fighting the dragon's immune system? But in terms of, like, actual fight mechanics and all that kind of stuff, if it wasn't Deathwing, if it was any other character, 
I think people would have kind of at least somewhat enjoyed the fight, but because they were expecting a dragon boss and they didn't get a dragon boss, they were pissed. Um, I found it to be a very interesting, like so many super cool mechanics that work together in, in fun ways. And like, if you bugger something up, it was easy to kind of reset it without having to reset the whole fight and all that. It was actually like, it, it worked quite well uh, in my opinion, but it, yeah, it's, um, I get it. I get it. Okay, so Druid's up to 87.50 now. We're going to jump on to Rogues. <laughs> yep, so Rogue is the last one that's at 37.50, and then everyone else is at like 50% completion, I think. 71, 43, 66, 67, 50, 50, 71, 43, 50, 50, 60, 66, 67. So yeah, um, this will be the last one with 30, 50, and then I'll jump on to the two 50%s, which are Melissa and Lillianne, which are my monk and demon hunter. So I'll knock out all the, the leather wearers first. That works well. Perfect. I can imagine that finding Deathwing was a bit of a letdown during that time. Yeah, I can, I can understand why. Um, it is a cool fight in its own right, but the fact that it was labeled Deathwing, I think, was what made people not like it, <laughs> rather than the fight itself. I mean, the fight itself is also a bit fiddly. Um, people do seem to prefer big, angry, what's it that you have to smack, or council of maximum of five what's it's you have to smack. Ad fights tend to, like, like pure ad boss fights, like with the, like, Gate of Hellfire Citadel and and the gate in Sepulchre and all that kind of stuff. People seem to not enjoy those ones as much as they enjoy the the big baddie fights. But yeah. Why is it Lady V encounter annoying? Oh hell yeah, absolutely. I know. Um, yeah, I agree. It's one of those ones that has not aged well. Like we can't. It's not. It's really frustrating to do as a single person when we massively outgear the encounter. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Um, see if people would have wanted to fight Nothari in the Deathwing form. Um, I mean, how oh, when they made him so gigantic. Um, I don't think people wanted to fight Nelf. Um, I mean, we've done that a bunch of times. Um, and did we, did, did Deathwing actually have a canon human form. I don't think he did. I think once he had those metal plates on him, he was dragon. Permanently dragon. I don't think we ever saw him as a as a um humanoid again. Uh So I, I that wasn't it at all. They just they wanted an epic dragon fight. Dodge the head, dodge the tail. <laughs> like that kind of a yeah. And they didn't get that. Instead, they got um fight his immune system and then cut him off at the wrists and ankles. Like it wasn't, we didn't actually get to defeat him either. Um, really, we didn't get to kill him. Uh, cool. There was a lot of fan art with him with like a metal jawbone and all that kind of stuff, but I don't think he actually ever had that. Oh, there is. Um, I feel like council fights a lot. He still has metal jaw. I thought all that was, um. Like, fan art and stuff. I didn't... Is there one of those actually in the game? Hmm... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. I agree on Lady Bash. An in-game model, I don't know. Nothrian is an NTS, you assume had a humanoid form as the other aspects. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, once he became Deathwing, I don't think he hung out in his human form anymore. Um, there is a thing on Wowpedia. Um, I'm just trying to see if that's... Like someone who's fiddled with game files, or that's an actual genuine thingamajig. 
Because if I'm wrong, I want to correct myself, obviously. this is this oh this is just quotes that's not useful um where is this image that drew me here ah deathwing in his humanoid form but where did he actually appear in his human in his humanoid form Yeah, the only image I can find of him from, like, in-game looks like a character select screen type of thing. That's why I'm kind of like, where did this pop up in-game? Um, part of a question, Bell, for one to one piece of the Oh, so, right, that, that bloody, yeah, no, that doesn't count. <laughs> that absolutely does not count. I remember that one and you had to like the the fucking the goblin trike and you had to zoom 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 and then you had to like go stomping around and in the clouds to try to and you were stomping on a cloud to see if you could find Deathwing hiding in that cloud and then you had to go and disperse another one and no that no <laughs> that's not canon that was a fun little questy thing that's not canon good lord <laughs> surely okay does he appear anywhere else um no questions, beat me to it. Then it was pretty boss. No shows. Well done, Scarlet. Blazing Drake today. Brilliant. Oh, it does too. No, it doesn't. It counts. It was a legit model they put in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not canon as in this is the thing that Deathwing did. Like, it, no. <laughs> Yeah, I can. <laughs> Welcome in, Des. Hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, they're all tall tales. Exactly. They're all they're all uh, bullshit. I believe is the yeah. Yeah, that was that's not a thing that actually happened. Oh, should probably open this option I? Aha. Um, punch Deathwing in the face. Quest. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta go punch him in the face, and there's like an action button, and you go boomf. Yeah, no, that's not canon. <laughs> uh, alrighty. So, what are we looking for? Champion. I got double defender. That's okay. Trying to tell me punching Deathwing wasn't canon. I, yes, correct. That is exactly what I'm telling you. Another dwarf that punched a three in the face. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Trading the nice little bunk, whatever. Totally cannons. Also, question to our Highlands, where he apparently makes a human appearance. Okay, what? What quest is that? Wow. <sighs> Uh, Death Wing is later seen in the Twilight Highlands quest chain after beating back his dra Twilight Dragon minions player along with Alex Straza and her son Kaelin use a sanctified circle of life to lure Deathwing to their location so Alex Straza can destroy him once and for all. The plan quickly falls apart as Deathwing proves to be more powerful than they realize. After a quick dialogue, Deathwing and Alex Straza face each other above Grimbatol, shadowing the events of Day of the Dragon. After a long battle, Alex Straza and Deathwing spiral out of sight with Deathwing spitting a stream of magma. Alex Strauss is severely wounded, lands near the entrance and tells the player, along with Kaelin, that Deathwing was dead soon after. However, Deathwing rises above the hillside, wounded but not nearly as bad as Alex Strauss. player then flees with the near-dead Alex Strauss as Kaelin distracts Deathwing long enough for them to escape. Deathwing then leaves us. According to Kaelin, he was wounded more than he let on and needed time to heal. Um, but all the pictures of that are them in- they're both of them in dragon form. Um... So I don't have, like, yeah. Come and die. Woo! 
I told you, see, Gronstitch Girdle. As soon as it wasn't the 100% thing, it was gonna drop. Done. Uh, okay, for yes, I heard you. <laughs> did I get champion pants? I did get champion pants. I did get champion pants. Amazing. And then hero pants. Okay, out we hop. Um, you see him in the, that bit with the day Deathwing came questline in Badlands is human form is used in almost every quest there. Yes, that's the part. Um, yeah, so the main storyline quest of the Badlands in Cataclysm is centered around Rhea Straza and her research of the Black Dragon flight and of a way of purifying them. She has captured the Black Dragon Nixondra and forces her to lay eggs for the experiments. She feels pity for the Black Dragon but knows it for the greater good. After succeeding in creating a purified Black Dragon egg, constantly moves around to avoid being found by agents of the Black Dragon flight who want to destroy the egg. In the quest Rhea Straza's gift, she is killed by Deathwing who was after the egg. The egg he destroyed, however, was not the purified one, but Rhea Straza's own egg, the real egg, purified by a Titan device and adventurer acquires during the quest chain hatches into Rathian. There is also a minor quest chain, the day Deathwing came, involving Feldurin the Lost and his friends telling rather tall tales about how each of them defeated Deathwing. They're all lying sacks of shit and so you cannot trust that he was in humanoid form because none of the other details of, his, of their stories are factual. Therefore, it's not canon. Pretty straightforward. The day Deathwing came is the chain of them doing all that stuff. Yeah, it literally, there's a there's a little notation next to each of them defeated Deathwing. It says 45. You mouse over that, and it says 15 to 30, the day that Deathwing came, as in that's the uh, level range. Yeah, so that's, it's no. <laughs> Incorrect. Um, I only have one Rogue on Alliance side. I didn't know that. Okay. I did. Well, I'm not going to forget that as well. Anyway. Um, big boy from near a tree, if I remember correctly. Oh, normally defer fear, lose three, just as unfair hacks, still trap mine. Oh no, I definitely defer to Jas, but, um, like, when he's telling me, yeah, he appears as a human in this quest, and that quest is literally you listening to a bunch of drunk numpties telling you about how they punched Deathwing in the face, that doesn't count. My validity has been counted in this. Human form is also seen in one of Yogstron's visions during his encounter in Ulduar, although it's a complete different model. Interesting. Ah, oh, back in, back in Wrath, that's funky. Hmm. Deathwing made his first debut in World of Warcraft as a cameo appearance during the battle of, against the old god Yogg-Saron inside Ulduar. He appears in human form and under his original name of Neltharion, and is featured along with all the other aspects in a flashback, keyword here, flashback, that depicts the creation of the dragon soul 10,000 years earlier, which is prior to when he became Deathwing. And the entire conversation we're having started with the sentence, once he became Deathwing, he no longer assumed his human form. So that doesn't count either. I mean, it, it counts. Obviously we know he used to have a human form, but we are talking specifically about after he got all the metal bits and pieces and broke the world in a bit and, and went and destroyed a bunch of stuff. So that, though relevant, does not apply to this particular case. Um, this was Deathwing's first official appearance in the in a Warcraft game since Warcraft 2, Beyond the Dark Portal. Funky. All, all learning new things today, every single one of us. Uh, I'm guessing he was barely ever in human form. Look, back before all of the shit went down, I'm assuming he was probably in human form about as often as the other Dragonflights were. But um, then he got, he, then he became a big boy and, uh, and got covered in metal and stuff. And it's, yeah, the rest is fiery, fiery history. Also post armoring, he was only alive for like eight more months. So there's also that. Yeah, I mean, like, look, maybe he planned to at some point, but he didn't. And that is the point that I am making. We wouldn't have fought a Neltharian figure in Dragon Soul. We wouldn't have had a Neltharian phase followed by a Deathwing phase because he was no longer Neltharian. He was Deathwing. He he shed his prior stuff and things. He became a big, a beefy boy. He did, he did. He became a big boy and we became his back scratcher. <laughs> Literally. Just pry this plate off and kind of run around a bit with my, with my probably spiky shoes. And yeah, it's great. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
That's hilarious. Oh, it would be hilarious if you tried growing humanoid form after everyone went to the effort of, ex of fixing his elementium plates on. They just fell off and they had to go through the whole process again. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? And like, and like, and like, and like, and like, he's like dragon with metal-y stuff and then he's like human and just gets completely smushed by all the plates falling on his head. End of the cataclysm. <laughs> Look, it's fine. Ah. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. No matter. Oh, thank you. Appreciate. Look, we got all talky talky about very important things. <laughs> thank you, Sam. Mmm. Indeed, Zam. Indeed. Hello, Loza. Welcome back. How are you going? I'm glad to hear that you're well. Wonderful news. Oh, right. Shit. Blazing Drake. I forgot about that. My bad. Do, do, do. Here we go. That's done. So that'll change next time I mount up. Sorry. Um, do I start another joke last night? That sucks, crud. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope the papa heals up soon. This one's going to be a tight one. No, I'm just going to be my fan of Agro. Ah, oh, Scarlet. Yeah, I feel you. Fingers crossed. Best of luck, yeah? Best wishes. Five hours in the hospital. I'm sorry to hear that. That really sucks. Um... Any before completing it? Is that, it's always that last item, hey Scarlet. It, it just, oof. Like, mm, so close and yet so far. You'll get there, you'll get there. Persistence. Channel the inner, inner stubbornness. All I need now is tokens. I need two pauldrons and one leggings from rogues. Girls. Very stubborn. Yeah, people say I'm so patient to do all these farms. I'm like, nope, just stubborn. Silver, Krazy, Thor, Pudding, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Good job. Night two. Oh, meaty. Consider yourself influenced. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I'll let you make that call, but um, that makes me quite proud, honestly. Yep. Makes me quite proud. Uh, all right. Follow that link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Let's do this. It says five assists from tanking. Can I not, like this is, this is armored. Can that, let's see. Let's see if the paladin can get them or if I actually have to be a tank. Uh. Um, how do my DPS this morning? It's just finally coming along. Fantastic. I'm influenced good media. I'm so pleased. And I'm glad you feel that that is a positive thing. Because, I mean, you know, sometimes people can influence for evil, and we don't necessarily want to be doing that here, so. Standing cast shite. Yep. It's definitely a very different play style. Ah, uh, Defender, so no shoulders from that one. Mm 
<clears throat> mm, evil equals bad sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, I'm pretty sure from tanking is any while with a tank is specific. I would like to hope so. Like that's how I'd interpret it as well. But um, I know that I tend to get quite a few assists with my paladins. So fingers crossed, it'll show up. So, uh, raided board. Well, we need to need those contributions. Need those contributions and hero legs. So no, no. Um, what is it? Champion legs here either. Hawkeye, that's fine. On to the next one. On to the next one. Let's get all this stuff. I'm kind of tempted if I don't get them all to go and see if they share any appearances, like with those rares, and see. Mm, mm, look, maybe. We will. We will see. Just get it finished. It'd be nice. Just cross it off. Cross them off. Mmm. Oh, just stream goal. Yes, the community challenge in the uh, embers thing. Yas. If it is successful, we're going to be doing it on the 5th of June. Like this, like a week from today. If it is successful. It has to finish today. If we get 100% today, then we'll be doing it next week. Um, so that no one forgets that it's happening. Because uh, every time I try to plan things for the distant future, everyone forgets and stuff like that, and then it never happens. So, I'm trying to get this, yeah. Um, I'm wondering when in the history of human mind, dragons were no longer deadly beasts, but colourful, deadly wise folk. That's an interesting question, Koenig. I have no idea. I'm not very good at, like, history stuff. Um, that's a really interesting question. Welcome on in. Hope you're having an awesome day. But yeah, because there was, at one point, there were these exceptionally dangerous creatures that, you know, you don't want to go anywhere near, and then at some point along the way, we got a little less afraid of them. Maybe it's when we had, like, advances in weaponry. Maybe it, maybe it aligned with something where we thought, oh, well, we can probably f kill it now, so maybe it'll grant us its knowledge, because they lived for, for so long, so maybe that can kind of... Mm, I have no idea though, but it's a thought. It's a thought. But then we get, ah, there you go. I'll take it. What's the fuck is the answer the mail? The Europeans met the Eastern nations. There you go. Right, because Europeans were afraid of them, but the Eastern nations weren't so much, right? They were part of their, like, Theistical stuff, right? Is it the right word? Probably not, now that I've said it. <laughs> I figured Jas would know something similar to an answer. A uh, load of different dragon lore that coalesces into the modern interpretation. Yeah, that, that makes sense. We do have a habit of drawing on multitudes of sources when we come up with this stuff. European dragons are big, nasty, and scary. Eastern dragons tended to be linked with gods and such. Right, so... Like, they were worthy of being feared, but not in the same way as they're going to burn us to a crisp. It was more, they are very powerful and deserve our respect and that kind of fear, different sort of fear. So when, when we started exploring the planet and cultures started mixing and stuff, that's when we, yeah, that's really interesting. Makes sense. Um, Eastern dragons are revered, not feared. Yeah. Um, do you believe revered is spelled without an A? Of course I don't. There you go. Yes, revered. Horde expedition. Uh, South American legends of pure elemental force dragons that had some wise aspects was a cool. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, wow, does Eastern dragons pretty well, to be honest. Mm. Also snack dragons. Just just put it out there. Ah <laughs> oh dear. Still 
still working my way through these. It's fine. It's fine. Eastern dragons are other snake dragons. I know. I know they are. It's why we got them in bloody mists. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I, like, I loved mists so much is, um, I mean, I've told you guys a million times, but the person I was in a relationship with at the time, um, when mists was launched and while I was playing through it and stuff was, um, of Chinese descent and was coming back to terms with his whole ancestry and all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, like a lot of that, you know, we, we, we played, not necessarily, we didn't play it together cause he didn't play, but he would kind of sit with me while I was doing stuff and, and just kind of the way that they mirrored some of those childhood stories and things like that. Uh, they didn't, you know, recreate them directly, but they took heavy inspiration from a lot of that. Um, and it was, yeah, it really beautifully done. I, I enjoyed Mists quite a lot, um, if for nothing but the lore. Yeah. It was good fun. I mean, I was really linked to the enemy to bring to death, famine, and that, etc. I wish I'm killing you. Good thing about WoW is it's sort of the opposite way around, because Cloud Surfers are just beasts, with the exception of Yulon, who's like off brand wild god. Um, not off-brand wild god, no, they're, they're different types of gods. It's like the lower for the trolls, and then you've got the wild gods who, you know, interact with the druids and the elves and, and stuff through Ardenworld. You have different types of gods. It's not off-brand, it's just that it's a celestial being. It's different. Let's not diminish the, uh, the four celestials here. They served a really, really super important purpose for their people. Um, I'm dragon hunter pet drake. Maybe for the X pack. Take completion for Shadow Labyrinth. Hey, fantastic panda! Well done. Congratulations. Alrighty. Gruels. Let's do it. Was that you, matey? <laughs> I thought the wild, wild god celestials were all the same source, though. I'm probably misremembering, to be honest. Um, no, not really. Uh, as far as I'm aware, like, the lower were the gods that the trolls followed. And the wild gods are the gods that, like, you know, you go through Ardenwild and the elves followed, the druids followed, that kind of thing. And then the celestials were literally the gods of the Pandaren. It's, it's like different religions on Earth. You know, you have people who follow Jesus, you have people who follow Muhammad, you have people who follow, like, do you know what I mean? That's, it's, it's different sets of beings. Some people may believe that they all derive from the same place, but some don't. Um, and, you know, each individual is you know, entitled to their beliefs and that's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, they're, they're different gods for, for different peoples. Um, I just think she's naming, it's a race that revere them. Yeah, but they're also different creatures, just like they're, the, the big difference, of course, being that here on Earth we don't have, well, some people may believe that we do, but we don't tend to see our gods walking among us, whereas we can go to the Timeless Isle and literally bonk some Celestials on the noggin. We can go into a dungeon and interact with Bonzambi. We can, like, you know, we, we've killed a couple of lower. <laughs> Whether or not that's a good thing, we'll leave that for discussion. But, yeah, it's, uh, like... If they're all the same creatures, then how is it that we've killed different iterations of them in different loot? Like, how how does that work? Uh, crap, what is it? Champion. Still no champion. Good lord. So it looks like Rogue is going to be the one that just hates me today, but that's fine. They're so alike that Troll Druids in New England called the Wild Gods their lower. Is that not just them using their language for god is lower just trollish whatever the language is for god and so they're going to call any god a god even if it's not one of their specific lower like I, i'm i'm that's a genuine question like i i'm not sure Exactly what I said. Distinction is naming based on the race that revere them. 
yeah, yeah, okay. So that's fine. So, you know, one person calls them wild gods, another person calls them lower. But, and then, you know, another person calls them celestials. But Bwonsamdi's a lower. Is Bwonsamdi also a wild god and also a celestial? That's what I'm saying. You've got Chiji. Is Chiji also a lower? Also a wild god? Do, are there trolls who worship Chiji? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Moonfall is the same life cycle for lower and wild gods. I'm sure the celestials have fit into that, so we haven't probably bashed their heads in yet. One somebody's an interesting one. Um, we have bashed their heads in. I mean, we haven't killed them, but they we have fought against them physically on the Timeless Isle, all four of them. Um, they were the the world boss type dealy. So like that's that's what I'm saying. never call a wild god or a lower a celestial then they are different that's what i'm saying are they like would a troll call chiji a lower that's yeah okay ignore one somebody then if one somebody is a special case then that's not the problem that's not the point um i mean we haven't beat the heads into the point we send them to the r and r oh gotcha that makes more <laughs> thank you for clarifying Des. yes i agree we haven't done that yet Hopefully we don't. Um, <laughs> we need to stop killing gods. Let's look, look, guys. Look. Um, I'm sure we're causing issues somewhere. Really, just maybe higher or lower in regard. Uh, I, with all due respect to Sarah, I don't think you have quite enough knowledge in this area to. Um, yeah. Because, um, like, Loa is the one that we're talking about being interchangeable with wild gods. Um, the one we're talking about being separate is Celestials. Like, that's, yeah. Uh, I don't believe the troll Druid would call Celestials a Loa or a wild god. They're the only troll that we know that has had contact with the Celestials is Vol'jin. Well, and all the player trolls. Like, <laughs> literally all of them. Unless they, you know, were, the tune was created post mists, then maybe not. But yeah, so it's just especially in some ways probably due to the fact that they've been isolated and fucked around with by the Mogu. Yeah, well, that's because that's the thing. Like, I mean, because Ysera is a wild god, right? Or am I getting that? No, Ysera is a fucking. Oh my god, there are too many bloody factions and crap. This game is old and there's so much information. Ysera is not the one I'm talking about. Um, we had people like uh, Ursok, who was a wild god. But Ursok is not represented in the panel of Loa. Do you know what I mean? Like, they may call him a Loa because it's the closest thing that they have in their language to describe a wild god, in their native language. They've learned the words wild god, but maybe they still default to Loa, but that doesn't make Ursok a Loa. It also doesn't make Herik a wild god. Like, that's that's kind of, are they canonically both things or are they, do they just call them interchangeable stuff because of the language barriers and things like that? But yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. That's why I went to say it and I'm like, no, bad example, because she's a fucking Durgan. Um, <laughs> so let's see what they told me to believe, so we're going for that one. They're only just changed what many means. Think the origins of the beings was from the same batch. All wild gods are called lower by the trolls, but not all lower are wild gods. The lower spirits, such as Bonsamdi and other various lower assembling spirits, the trolls have no connection to the wild gods or the Emerald Dream. In fact, ancient powerful troll ancestors live in the Shadowlands. Yeah, that's what Jas was saying about Vol'jin and, and Bon. I know, right, Meaty? Isn't it kind of funky and cool? It also makes the conversation really bloody difficult when you're talking via text and there's a delay, but that's fine. The same wild god is just an animal with godlike powers. Wild god, lower, and august celestial are interchangeable when referring to great spirits aligned with nature destined to art and wield. From the wild god's wowhead page, it's from Shadowlands Lobel class year, which isn't dead on because of Vulcan was empty exceptions. Of course, of course. Hey, a seeker. Hello. And even August Celestial is interchangeable. That, that's weird. That's weird. 
Which is the lower, the troll name for the often lesser wild gods, yeah. Just double check when that kind of stuff was updated though and like where, if it's sourced as well, like what is the source for, for that specific thing? Because people can write whatever the bloody hell they want on a wiki if it's not well moderated. This is why they say, you know, don't use Wikipedia as a research source for your schooling and stuff. Use the sources that wiki, like use Wikipedia for the source list at the bottom, but not for the actual information. Um, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. In theory, if we made Kentucky Fried Chi Chi so as they couldn't eat the Grimoire, we'd get them back in X amount of years. I don't think they've ever. Have we been told that the Celestials have died at any point? I'm not sure that they have. I don't think that the Mogu were like empowered enough until we got there <laughs> to to like actually do anything. Interesting. We already know Yulan has reincarnated. Oh, we do. God, I don't remember anything, hey? Shit. I'm sure it was probably in a storyline quest somewhere. <sighs> Way back in Jade Forest or some, you know, some sort of what's it. This whole world is a mess. Like, there's just so much to know. No wonder new players get overwhelmed, honestly. No wonder. Ah, huh. I didn't, I clearly obviously didn't read that properly, or I just don't remember it. We all know my memory is shit. Um, I know we blew up a statue. I didn't know what it, I knew it was a Durgan. I knew it was probably Yulon, but maybe they just like Yulon a lot and made a statue. Like, doesn't have to necessarily be a reforming of, you know, fair enough. Uh, maybe, yeah. Asian could have finished off soon, didn't want to because he just wanted to rub it in a bit more. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, so much. So much info. Okay. This is my final rogue. It's the final counter. Anyway. Uh, there is still a chance I can finish it off in this run. But we'll see. Nada. So that's a unique appearance, but I can get it through an ensemble with Marks of Honor. That's a unique appearance, but then it has... Oh, it's a gear set. Okay, I see. All right, so yeah, we, we can't finish this off. Oh well, that sucks. So no confidence I was gonna kill that time. Maybe that's true for you. No worries at all, Des. We'll see you let we'll see you either later or next time. Whichever comes first. Enjoy yourself and be safe. No champion. <laughs> uh dear. I've won on, on a druid. That does not help me at all, but that's fine. <sighs> oh well. Why can't I use my oh right, okay, I get it. It's just half the Delph now. I did kill Tindy. Um Um, 
And for some spoiler, I'm not sure what developers are trying to create in the future. Advanced use of magic is bringing imagination into reality in any form designed by the mage. We should have then at some point possibility to create your own creature from the scratch using, for example, Blender. The issue with that, Koenig, if you're trying to do that in a Momorpaga, like literally making that thing and then uploading it into the game and then having that distributed to millions of people without Blizzard having oversight as to what you've created, you'd have a million and one penis monsters running around and like that's not what they want in their game. So th there is a very good reason that game developers, when do it, dealing with games like this, allow you to create characters and things like to you, but they have set predetermined like these are the hairstyles you can use these are the skin tones you've got these are the uh ear shapes you have and blah blah like they've got quite a bit of uh customization but not to that level for a very good reason um people only play one main or a couple are trying to play catch up it's really hard to remember and sometimes even see all storyline now we can make the choice to do these main quest lines as you say overwhelming for new returning players yeah oh, absolutely absolutely it's uh <laughs> there's there's a lot of info this is a this is a, it's an old game it's an old game. Okay, so we're looking at a little bit healthier there. We're at 75%. Still not great, but 75 is better than the 37.5 it was on. I'm very quickly going to drop back onto the druid just to update the fact that she's now at 100%. Um, but officially the dream of 100% clocking gruel has been killed. Uh, we have no more rogues to run and I still have a few pieces left. But that's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> Seeker, what's the Instagram follow goal for tonight? We're at 1046 currently. Hello, Barry. Welcome back. Hope you are having a wonderful evening. Ah, I got it. That's why I said advanced basically means at 10 millions of mages, for example, just six could do it as a mage. You got to have great reason to do that, which kind of makes you wise of the dragon itself. Fair. Absolutely fair. Oh, dear. It would be kind of funky to be able to create our own minions and stuff like that. I think if they were going to let us, they'd have kind of a character creation deal, you know, where you're, um, if you're, if you're creating a, a demon for a warlock, you can choose it's, I mean, you re you summon demons from the nether, you don't necessarily get to create one, but like for an, a mage, summoning an elemental, you know, does it have pointies? Is it rounded? Does it drip? Does it have a, 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 you know, a thick kind of, does it have like legs instead of a tail or like how does it move around, that kind of stuff. You could technically like pick a couple of, you know, have a few different options you could work with and then go from there. Um, that would be kind of funky. But uh, yeah, it's, um, I haven't seen anything like that suggested just yet. Although they have, they're talking about with Dragonflight, a massive re a revamp coming for the uh, profession system. So who knows, maybe the next step will be some other kind of, why does this say? Oh, for goodness sake, is it doing this silly thing again? It's doing the thing again where it doesn't think I've actually got the items. <laughs> Bugger it then. I'll update everything after stream. Ugh. All right, so we're going to do monks next. Actually, no, we've got all the leather bits and pieces, don't we? Let's do death knights because they're the next on my list. Mm. Yay, Sheba. 10.50 night would be swell. I agree. Four more followers on Instagram. Can we do that? Is there anyone out there who hasn't followed me on Insta? I'm trying to move towards full-time content creation and to do that I need to grow my social reach uh, so that I'm more impressive on paper to companies who might want to sponsor me. Uh, and if, an easy free way you can help me do that is by following me on the socials. Fliz and thank you. 
Okay. So, makeup queen. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Look, I'm I'm doing all right. Doing pretty okay. A bit kind of drained, I think. A bit drained, but like overall pretty, pretty okay. Thank you for asking. Where you got this? Yep, yep. Look, the 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 amount of luggage that gets lost compared to the sheer amount of luggage that is handled every day by these professionals, it is such a low failure rate. Like, good lord. Statistics are just, yep, yeah, they're fun. Ah, uh, make fees numbers bigger. Yes, yes. Liz and thank. Liz and thank. I'm pushing a commitment service shirt while outside SLA because long we can. Oh, bugger. Bugger. Um, are they still, they're not having a technician. Did they have the technician come out or? I'm confused. You'll be fine. Yeah. No time. Enjoy. Enjoy. Mm, things in case, but to me, the same case will come out on a carousel. Eat. Using all my important shit, carrying a backpack. Me, my sister, and important travel badge. And then tell me where you're a little. If you find it, like I should go right through the Kelly. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Like I said, the percentage of failure is ridiculously small. These are these people are professionals. This is their jobs. This is what they do. It's yeah. You'll be fine. Alrighty. Ah, oh, gosh. So close. So close to being done. How are we looking here? I'm not going to have any... There won't be any class specific for, um... Yeah, no. Nah, it's just plate. And potentially weapons. Yeah, just two pieces of plate. Perfect. The same, I assume, for demon hunters and monks as well. Because those classes didn't exist in Burning Crusade. <laughs> so they don't have any set pieces. Oh, yeah, go to the ship to install on Friday morning. Unfortunately, I didn't call to book in time shot on Friday. Excuse for Tuesday. For sure, I'm excited, I'm nervous. My book time is sick for the best. She delayed luggage right in front of the business city. Yeah, it was delayed, not lost. Like, yeah. Like, the only thing Shiva needs to know here, like, he doesn't need to know about times that things were delayed or lost or anything like that. The only thing that Shiva really needs to know here is that it is such a tiny, 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 tiny chance. Anything else is just going to, you know, confuse a message and potentially aggravate anxiety. Zero reason to do it. Wednesday, Arvo. Oof, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. They might have had like an unusual spike in calls and stuff as well. You know, it always happens. Time, time. Uh, hello, Ithris. Welcome on in. What's your current objective? Uh, Gruul. Never having to see Gruul ever again, but uh, we've failed that. But that's fine. We're going to do as best we can. Uh, so, Zan, Silver, and Pudding, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, I'm running Gruul's Lair on... I've got 50 characters spread evenly across 12 classes. I've got so four of everything, and then I've got an extra druid and an extra mage, and um, I'm trying to get all of the transmog from Gruul's Lair. All of the transmog, everything, every last piece. Um, so so far we're doing okay. So far we're doing okay. 
Uh, link is in chat for the battle, guys. Uh, click the link. Log in with your Twitch account. Drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Join us. Build up that loyalty so that uh, once we get to those special chests, you will have more of a chance of getting something shiny. Um... Yeah, we're doing all right. So mage is done. Mage was done. Mage has been done for forever. I'm main a mage, so that explains that. Uh, Druid is now done. Rogue, I still need three tokens. Two, sh uh, yeah, two shoulders and a leg token, um, but I can't get them today because I've run out of rogues to run. Uh, but that's all right. It happens. Um, and now I'm on my Death Knight, which doesn't have any tokens because, of course, Death Knights didn't exist in Burning Crusade, so they don't have any tier sets, but there are still plate pieces that they can get. So I'm gonna try to get those. Oh, excuse me. That is exceptionally rude. Oh, for God's sake. Immune to grip my butt. That was a duplicate appearance. The Hammer of the Naru, that's, yeah, shared appearance. Uh, so not what we're looking for, but that's okay. That is kind of grueling task. I'll show myself out. Hello, Claw. Welcome back. <sighs> but yeah, look, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Grip my butt. When I come back to you, um, immune to grip my butt. As in, like, how dare you be immune to grip, or as if you are immune to grip. Level 45, so I've never had anything this place, including international rights of domestic. This one's the intro, that's not me. I have looted 1,000 gold. Oh, I'm chasing sex on the plane, yep. No gauntlets of martial perfection either, but that's okay. Brilliant. Death Knight. Much shorter Death Knight. Goodness gracious. Stretch. Crunch. Hmm. I love my spreadsheets. Boogie down. Well, it's one Death Knight down, three to go, to get two pieces of plate. You should play Eve? Ah, uh, no, I'm not interested. Thanks, anyway. The spreadsheet that I love is a very specific one. I mean, lots of specific ones, but I'm I'm not interested in spaceships and stuff like that. I, I have spreadsheets to augment my experience in, in World of Warcraft. Uh, it's not a necessary part of it. And uh, yeah, I can use the spreadsheets to make myself more efficient. It's not use it or die. But I, yeah, not interested in Eve at all. Um, what are saying? Someone playing for me? I was wondering, you told us about that and it was hilarious. <laughs> and it was hilarious. Oh, other way. Uh, just checking the spreadsheets. Yeah, I... Eh. Look, I, I have that many people who come in here and go, you should play game. I'm like, no thank you. I've... You, you, I mean, I would say you probably wouldn't believe, but I mean, honestly, at this point, most of you probably would believe the amount of just genuine vitriol that comes out of people when you tell them you don't want to play their favorite game. Um, yeah, it's, uh, 
it's one of those questions I've taken to answering as carefully as I possibly can to not like, cause you never, you never know, hey, you never know how someone's gonna react, hey. But no, I'm, uh, I'm a fan of my spreadsheets. It makes things a lot easier to track cross characters and all that kind of stuff. There's not a whole ton of stuff in game. I mean, there are plenty of add-ons that'll do most of the work, but not, not quite all of it. It's like the best thing. Should we room please? The best was my flight was delayed. Yeah, I had an eight hour flight, like Singapore to um, Sydney. It was an eight hour flight and it was delayed by eight hours. And we specifically chose a 1 a.m. flight so that we could sleep on the plane. It didn't take off till nine. Yeah, it was a time. It was a time. But, you know, stuff happens. Things go wrong and I would much rather have a delay than be on an unsafe plane or with extremely tired staff who have worked more hours than they're supposed to by regulations or like, yeah. There, is, there are so many worse things that could happen than having a flight delayed. So yeah, that's <laughs> safety first. Safety first. Let's move first to the spreadsheets in space. Ah. Uh, Nico, you got this. Yes, I was flying to the UK and flight entertainment wasn't working. Ooh, rough. Rough. Movies. Do you have any other game that you like? Yeah, I have a bunch, Ballsy. Um, welcome on in, by the way. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I'm a big fan of puzzle games. Like, I love me a good puzzle. Uh, also, what is that? Paper. Um, uh, things that are like, so they're puzzle games. Uh, management sims. So, like, I used to play a whole lot of City Skylines, and uh, I've got, uh, I play CK3 a bunch with Jazz. Um, and I have things like Big Pharma and so like, yeah, management sims. Um, and yeah, they're uh, Pokemon, obviously. I'm, I like collecting, so a lot of stuff, uh, that involves like completing a bunch of, like, you're able to clock the game, like there's actual tasks to do to, to complete or collect stuff, um, is a good thing. Uh, adventure games that have a good story, like a good, a good story in a game will suck me in big time. Um, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of time outside of stream to play games these days though. Um, I have a day job. This is, I, I call streaming my night job and then I have a day job as well that pays my bills and my essentials, you know, rent, food, all that kind of thing. Um, so between streaming and day job and running the stream back end, like I'm trying to grow my, I'm trying to grow my stream and to do so I'm super active on social media and stuff. Uh, and so doing all of that takes time, creating content, posting it, like all that kind of stuff, responding to comments and things. Um, so I, I don't really have much time to do anything else these days, unfortunately, but luckily I enjoy what I play on stream. And that's a big part of what matters, hey. How about yourself, Ball? What kind of games do you love? What are your favourites? They don't need to be current games either, like even like childhood favourites and stuff are good too. Mm, second one, dude. Pharmacology. Um... Final Fantasy fourteen. I did play Final Fantasy XIV uh, last Monday, and I'm going to be playing it again next Monday. It was a sponsored stream with Square Enix. I'm very happy. Very, very much looking forward to continuing the story there, too. Actually, another clock. Battle.net launcher. Fantastic ball. Wonderful news. I'm so glad it's still introducing new people to, to our community. It's been fantastic. We've met so many awesome folk. It's been really lovely. Um, alright. No, nothing new. Alright, that's okay. Let's head back to the garrison. Uh, 
Things that I want to get, yeah. The other characters uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, I mean, I I haven't really been thinking too deeply into it now. I've literally played for six hours. Um, but no, it, like I've been enjoying it as I've been going through. You know what my memory's like. I'm not going to be able to give you an in-depth explanation, but no, I'm I, I'm enjoying playing. I'm enjoying playing. Um, all right, out we hop. Beauty when I get be rising, you take him to antique up on the collection. Fantastic! I uh, feel my childhood many times. Ruined by the remake. I'm pretty. Didn't I see it? I'm fairly sure I saw it. Maybe not. I don't remember. But you know, then again, what can I remember these days? Um. Satisfactory is a pretty good game. Satisfactory is one of those kind of ones that I can't quite like. I get into it for a, for the first few hours, but then it gets super complex, and you've got to build these machines in a very particular way to make things run efficiently enough for the game to run properly. And that's where my brain kind of gives up. Um, not that I, it's not that I'm bad at gaming or that I'm I'm bad at that kind of. It, it just. It's, it's kind of like oxygen not included is a, like I love I love Oni I it's so much fun um, but once I get past the first kind of little bit it's like my brain can't put together the more complex stuff to like have the greenhouse that somehow condenses water out of it and does all like it, it just it just can't build that so I don't have an engine I think it's the engineer part like I just my brain doesn't do engineering in no way shape or form I I, I just can't it won't click it just won't click which is a real pity because I love the early game uh, and then once I get to mid game everything just goes to hell uh, but you know what can you do that's uh that's the way my brain works my brain does phenomenally well with other types of stuff like unimaginably well. I'm really, 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 really good at some things. Like, fantastically good at some things. Uh, and I am not good at others. And that's... Welcome to being human, you know? It's, yeah. Uh, it's a pity, because I feel like I would really enjoy them, like, a lot in the later game and stuff, but... Oh well. Not much I can really do about it. I don't have, again, as mentioned before, I don't really have the time to invest into it to try to teach myself, so... That's okay. I'll stick with the stuff that I'm good at. Yes, follow on the socials. Yes, extra exposure. More opportunities for sponsored streams. Yes. It took me some time to push through. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all right. I'm, uh, there are other games that I'm far better at and don't require time and effort to push through. So uh, I'll have to, I think I'll just have to stick with those uh, for the foreseeable future. But that's okay. Look, maybe one day I'll have a, a chance to do something a little more involved, but not for now. Well, satisfactory. Oh, I mean, satisfactory is kind of a three D, but a lot of those other ones, like especially um, Oni, is very two D. It's completely one hundred percent two D. It's a side scroller, essential side and up and down scroller, but it's yeah, one hundred percent a two D space. Um, sounds like nice to me. Awesome plant puzzle game you played last week. Yes, yeah, strange horticulture. That kind of happens to me with Graveyard Keeper playing short bursts now. Yeah, it, it, there's there are a lot of games out there that like they're really they introduce things really really well and then it starts getting quite big and unwieldy and then it's like crap. <laughs> not as in not the game is crap. It's like I am like oh crap. Yeah, <laughs> but that's all right. Look, 
Some uh, games, not all games are meant for everyone, and that's totally okay. Rules clear except for a quest. Is it really complete? No, you gotta do the quest. At least that's how my brain is. You are, of course, more than free to disagree. Moving on, right, listen, grab a map. What was the game you played a few months back? We had to run the city, schools, and hospitals, sentry towers, and radiation. Ooh, yeah! It was the post apocalyptic stuff. Something zero? No. Um. Oh god. Hang on. Do you remember what month it was? Because it'll be on the schedule. I think. Should be. I keep all my schedules because they're teeny tiny files and it's fine. Uh, it was before April. Oh god, it might have been last year. Holy cow, it was last year. Oh. My lord. Ah, crap. I've got it listed as humble choice, I think. Yeah, I absolutely do. That means that it was either November or December. Okay, so then we can go to humble. <sighs> End zone, a world apart. Yeah, that would have been it. That would have been it. Yep, yeah, it is. It's right. It's a December game. End zone of world. But we played that in December. December last year. Like six, nearly six months ago. What the hell? What the hell? Did you ever go back and finish that? No. No, I didn't. Because then we kind of went balls to the wall. World of Warcraft. Do the thing. <laughs> uh, very, very yes! One for you playing Bill Frank Dice Monster. Correct! Currently using my makeup a few weeks ago. You did! That is correct. That is exactly what you won. Wow, go 49 Warrior! Ah, oh, fantastic! Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself. So they had no book at my desk. Yes. If I disagreed, I wouldn't have asked. Look, I, I get it, but like, still. I know, but I, you know, when I say stuff with certainty like that, I want to make sure that other people are, you know, like, you can disagree, it's okay. You know what I'm like. You know. You know. Dyson Super Program is more chewy. She can take me out for that. Skills of actress needed. She wasn't much. She seems to know it was in December. Hey! I got the braces! Yay! Let me try to visualize, try to think of where I need to plan a place, everything. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've no, like, spreadsheets. <laughs> Having things you can move and place in different layers, especially if it's a grid-based thing. Being able to, like, plot things out. Um, I used to use a spreadsheet to plot out my Stardew Valley farm. Because it was all in a grid. Fear yeah. has a shiny. Fear has a shiny. Fear got the shiny! Fear did get the shiny. Yeah, it was it was intense, but it was yeah we were we were having some fun and it was very guided as well. Like it wasn't just like have fun. It was you had to complete specific tasks, and I really enjoy that kind of gameplay. I do not like sandbox crap. Not that it was going to be difficult, but Gruels is complete on the death knight. That's it. Done. Finish. Priest is up next. Uh, maybe when I Fantastic. It was a while ago. It was. Why the toxic? I haven't watched any. Um, it was fantastic. Something I feel like easiest universe ever created. <laughs> Okay, empower radiation, toxic waste, toxic avenger, it does not equal avengers. Shiny! So just going back indeed. 
Streaming, we can figure out a complete 10 year old quest. <laughs> wow, head. <laughs> wow, head. Uh, what is it? It does not equal. Does not equal, Seeker. Uh, not equal to. Thank you for the grats. Much appreciated. You see them finding the that symbol correct. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I agree wholeheartedly with that, Esther. <laughs> yes. There's another thing I follow. Yes, correct. They are two separate things. You are coming close, one step closer, Seeker, to knowing all the things. <laughs> I have seen neither. I've seen the Avengers, but I have not heard of Toxic Avenger until now. Um, also means not equal. Yeah, but not many people. I think more people will know like the slash through part than the exclamation part. It's very, uh, it's a mathematical argument, right? Hmm. I see, I see the, the slash thing far more often than I see the exclamation thing. Am I going through it? Yeah. Happy brain juice noises! Da -da 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 -da. Programmers use that one. Cool. I feel like most programming is math with words. Like, I do, full disclosure, I do not know any programming languages. But from what I have seen and not understood, it kind of just looks like math with words. Okay, back to gruels. We are on a priest. We're getting there. Should it equals make sense to me? No, from programming, you use that in math and primary school. Ah, cool. Interesting. Interesting. I feel most primary school kids are better at math than me. Oh dear. Oh, golly gosh. Ah. Excuse me. I've been teaching programming, so I'm not sure if they use it there yet. Fair, fair. Hello, Chad. Doing well, thank you. How about yourself? They changed math? I mean, yeah. There's this whole new method of teaching math that, like, apparently is more logical or something. It's tough. Already forgotten. Brain does not remember the non words on non human things. I've seen a set of brackets on Reddit do. We can't even get all the countries to agree on math. And then, Fukum is the most chicken chips. Fantastic. Wonderful. Oh, Jas, what are we having for dinner tonight? That reminds me. I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be steak. Because it's usually steak food. Look. Look, you. Sneaky. He'd also be wrong. Ooh! Chicken. It's chicken. Envious of how much steak you have. I mean, why? You can also just go have steak. Like. <laughs> um. It's no wrong. I know, but like, he knows I wanted more specificity. And he denied me that specificity. But Jas is giving you food. Me too. Me too. Freddie whipped up a spreadsheet, conditional formatting, changed person's name red if they had an X in any of four columns. And green based on a fifth. Wonderful. And to tell you who was missing information and stuff. <clears throat> Subway for dinner. I asked what pounds on my side. I'm going to get black pepper. Just get the stuff out. Should you serve the new name? Just nice to put it with a gift card. Oh dear. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, being able to speak up and correct 
especially food service people, is a really important skill to develop. Because, I mean, it might be a boo-boo. They might have misheard you or whatever, but that those kind of boo-boos can kill people. Um, with what with allergies and stuff like that, like yeah, it's it's super important to be able to learn how to speak up. Um, people are like, wow, well, did you learn to do that? I googled it that afternoon. My Google foo is strong. Google and Excel are friends. They are. They are. Okay. I'd like someone who's better at specialist me than help do some statue calculations. Uh, this is Reddit. Every spreadsheet I ever used for statue came from Reddit. Go on the- you don't have to ask, you don't have to talk, you just have to search. Reddit. Done. What is this, Sam? Is this for like an extended ATT? Like, <laughs> I'm assuming you're gonna send me a DM. Hey, Chaotic. Um. Listen, man. Use the subway. I some put fresh gloves on. Use a fresh knife. Yep. And like, that's part of their jobs. I know, like, they may be irritated with you or whatever, but it's like food safety is is extremely important and I mean like I mean obviously putting the wrong thing on a sandwich is not a necessarily a food safety issue but it can become one real quick um defender I didn't get any defender that's okay I already sent it amazing hello Kylan welcome on in hope you're having a wonderful day do you got it fantastic that's gonna be fun gonna be fun. Who's saying? Who's just done? Yes, that's what Dupe was mentioning. Come and die. Am I in? I am absolutely in holy. That's why nothing is dying properly. That's fine. It's dead now. And no defender token. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I have a bit more fear. Oh, it's me making the okay good. Me imitating the voice line. Noted. Uh, loud. Like something the guy in front of me has jalapenos and the gloves is still stopping what with the juice. Yeah, I can I can imagine that. Uh hello Ian. Hey today. Yeah, not too bad. Yourself? Baby to baby to Absolutely. Baby to Baby to baby to There's a whole army of them now, hey. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Gosh, I am uh Surprising exactly nobody, I am sleeping. Trifecta indeed. Goodish, fantastic. <laughs> oh lord, yes. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Who does baby mod? That seeker. We only have one female mod on staff. And that Seeker. Seeker. Yep. Correct. <laughs> oh. Battle time. Let's push that button. Ah, uh, so he has a very soothing voice, singing voice. I agree. I agree.
I don't know that, no, that, no, you do indeed. That's why I said it. <laughs> Mum voice is horrific when it needs to be. <laughs> I'm sure that's supposed to be a compliment. I'm sure that that's intended as a compliment. Later with judgment and disappointment. Defo. Oh dear. Na 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 na. Bam. Doop. Pudding. Mick and Thor. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Good job. Last chance to build that loyalty. The battle after this one is our token chest. Come on, Mons, Fumamod, and Ashiba. Can we get battle plans, please? You can. No, I refuse. Yes, of course you can. Ugh. It said assists from tanking. And neither my tank nor my paladin actually gave. Mm -mm. But I did get kills. Let's just try doing this and again and see how that goes. Um, uh, one big family. One big family. Translates over chat. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh dear. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've been mostly fine all day. Where the hell has this come from? <laughs> Where has this exhaustion come from? Probably the fact that I've been working my ass off a weekend. <laughs> I actually ended up passing out yesterday. Um, I was feeling a little bit wobbly. And so I lay down and then the next thing I knew it was a couple of hours later. <laughs> um, so I feel like I'm just, I'm just drained and I'm just, my body's taking what it needs from me. <sighs> All better, no sleep. Yeah, insomniac life. Ain't it wonderful? Sphere, something, something. Go crazy. Oh dear. Don't mind if I do. You're flying through here. Uh, yeah, this is this is Burning Crusade is the expansion. Uh, Outland is the continent. This is Blades Edge. Um, so I'm I'm in spiky Blades Edge mountains at the moment. Um, you also do a little bit of flying over Zangar Marsh. You come from here and then you head up this way. So you skim over the edge of Zangar Marsh and then into Blades Edge, which is where Gruul's Lair is. I just did that reference. So did I, and that is a rarity. I love Zangar. Afternoon, Jazz. Hello, welcome back. Good to see ya. Heaps of ogre mages. It did. It does. Um, these these folk, and then um, there's the uh, ogrela up in the areas you needed to have flying to get to. So once you had, like once you once you went and purchased flying, you could go up and uh, and do ogrela stuff. Let's switch to Shadow, shall we? Um, Lady's Edge used to be called cool, cool Ground. Um, what's the end for making me the last night? I know. If I have a Sunday day off, oof, that's rough. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I, I missed that reference, but that's okay, Nano. Um, this Marge, and don't mind if I do his home at Yep. Yep. Excuse me. All of this is quite rude. No tokens at all. That's unfortunate. 
It's okay. for a rare enchanting recipe. We didn't do food for today. No, we didn't. No, we didn't because we were doing socials because we didn't do socials last weekend when we were meant to. Um, but I'm, I'm, I can very easily do uh, breakfast and uh, snacky bits. Which are us in like an hour or so. Okay, we got leggings of the fallen defender. Finally, I got a defender token. Brilliant. Just need one more now. <laughs> I've got two priests to go. It's been decades. Is that what we're reading? Holds on to. Do you guys have Monday public holiday? No. Yeah, none till August up here. Yes. ACT is the only one who does, yeah. Yep. Um. But that's okay. Like me making up breakfast and ah. Uh, the e oh no! Look, technically we could put the eggs on and then I can make the breakfast while they're cooking. That doesn't, like, that should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to work there. Hey, a crumb. Hey, I had a busy day. I had a mostly productive day, I think. But yeah, not doing too badly. Not doing too badly. Hope you can say the same. Hey Vikings, welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely day. Okay. <laughs> How's your day going? Uh, yeah, productive. Um, I'm tired. That's, yeah, basically it. <laughs> basically it. Um. Um. Onward we go to Gruels on priest number three. Shola. The plans tonight are uh, trying to complete Gruul's Lair. Trying to get all of the transmog that Gruul's Lair has to offer across all 12 classes. Um, we're doing pretty well so far, but there are there is one class where I know I cannot complete it because I need tokens. I need like tier tokens and they didn't drop. But that's okay. We're gonna get real bloody close, that's for sure. Real bloody close. What is up with frame rate? Uh, that might be your connection, Galifin. Welcome on in, by the way. I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I'm on 6,000. Like, my bitrate is up at 6k, uh, and I'm fine here. I've got no drop frames running at, running perfectly fine. Everything is where it should be. Um, so it might be something to do with your connection. Um, if you have a less than stellar connection... Uh, a bitrate of 6k might be too high for your connection to handle. If it keeps buffering, if that's what the issue is, uh, then you might need to drop the quality a bit. Um, rather than using source, you might want to pop it to auto or, or even set something a little bit lower, um, personally. Um, but yeah, everything on my end, everything looks golden. Uh, 
Mm. If you're tired, Shay, you need to rest. Uh, kibips is the tech. Yeah, I usually call it kibips, but I, you know, considering that they're new to chat, I thought maybe I should actually use correct terminology so they don't get too confused by my weird. Yep. It's fine for me watching. Remarks you get as the next six pack will be worth it. Uh, yeah, I've seen that, but like, yeah, I'll just get them again. Grey items drop like candy. That's why they're grey, so <laughs> it'll be fine. Um, uh, I'm I'm not filling up bags upon bags upon bags with trash quality items that I'll get just by running another dungeon once it happens. Um, if you're having issues, I'm glad to hear you guys aren't having issues. That's good. Um, that's good. I've got to learn sometime. No, I know, I know. But maybe after they've been a little more uh, indoctrinated, might work a little better. Oh, my neck's been really sore lately. <clears throat> Sniffly fear. Yeah. to indoctrinated too. Yep, look, it's... <sighs> it's definitely not a cult, I promise. we were though. <laughs> oh dear. If we were, maybe I'd be making enough money that I could send everybody a hoodie and a bubble tea cup. <laughs> Can mine be green? Sure. Why not? So what's a kibibs? 1,000 or 1024 bibs, I assume. So what's a bibs? I don't know. I don't know, but it's KB slash S. It's kilobytes per second. So if you were to pronounce that, it's kibibs. It's fine. I'm just slot a P in there. It's fine. Ah, oh, just going to answer the car. Why did no one tell me I have to go to car to complete this group quest? Cries, chest pieces. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kara's not too bad, but it's like at least the whole ass. There's a massive long Kara quest chain, and every single step along the way gives another piece of gear, but it's all rings. So it's much like at least that's, you know. It could be worse. Oh no, wait. Is it champion? Oh no, wrong one. God! Damn it. Wrong shoulders. What am I looking for? Defender. Okay. <clears throat> Khabibs. An hoodie and a bubble tea cup. I want to join the. No, a hoodie. Hoodie. Not an hoodie, a hoodie, a hooded sweat uh, sweatshirt, whatever you want to, yep, jumper thing. Oh, it's a few days ago. Oh, it was fun, so I think we're doing SQL or sequels. Bips is totally build billions of instructions per second, they go. Oh, oh, I got the defended pants. I got, good. Okay, so we have to go to Keldenars. Wonderful. Onward. Wrong level! If I one of those were old blankets. Udi! I've got one. Do you see the pink thing? Just here. In the camera. That's my Udi. It's a Tweety Bird one. I had a uh, an opportunity with them. They sent me one in return for wearing it on stream for an hour. And then they reached out again and they sponsored. They, they paid me to wear it on stream again and to also put out a tweet. So yeah, it was uh, kind of awesome. Kinda awesome. Maybe now that it's cooling down, 
Obviously, they're not going to offer a sponsorship for an Udi to a Brisbaneite in summer. Um, but look, maybe once now that it's cooling down again, uh, we might be able to swing something else. In not sequels. Mips I've heard of, Kabips I've heard of, Bips feels like an odd child of the two. Bruno goes the G stands for graphics, so it's a hard G. Um, it's going to be Christmas, cooling down, alright, Dan wins, meant for here tomorrow. It's been quite chilly. It is, it is definitely cooling down. Hey, Lexi. Welcome back. Found out that Udi's are not for me. Totally fair. They will not be for everyone. In GIF. GIF or GIF. Look, apparently the creator said it was GIF, but, like, if it's pronounced GIF, maybe spell it GIF. Um, poor body is the side present COVID symptoms again. I slept most of the day. Have to get water, back to bed. Oof. Ooh, Seeker, I hope you're okay. I hope you will be okay soon. Um, I think you're north of me. I'm in Queensland, Vikings. Um, sometimes creators are wrong. Um, hey, Daz. Jeff. But I mean, it is also short, like it's an abbreviation. So if you spelt it with a J, a J it'd be graphics rather than graph. So, you know, it's, yeah, that whole thing. Okay, moon cloth leggings. Death to all who oppose us. Perfect. All right. We go. One priest to go, and I just need shoulders. Just need shoulders. Anyone who needs to close this size of weather warning, almost the entire state. Holy cow. Remember three weeks now, Mike Moon Lovers tomorrow, by chance. Let's go stand. Um, I'm here as well, three hours to present border. We're piloting to wrong instance. No. Yes, using the token. Yep. Because that's what I needed to cross things off for girls. Um, you need to make the language of the graphics, which already had a pronunciation correct. It's an excuse to get a laptop, though. Absolutely. Look, honestly, I can... For everything that I've been using mine for, it has been working an absolute treat. Like, it is just... Ah, oh, it's so good. So good. So who's wrong, TLDR? Yeah. Nobody calls it JitHub. <laughs> oh, but if they did, Jack... But if they did, I'm not working a second bed, need laptop for wow, yeah. Well, laptop for wow is going to be a little more pricey than my my baby, but that's okay. Yet, what transform do you priests have? Uh, they all have the same thing. It's the Venthyr cosmetic set that can be applied to literally any armor type. Uh, black and red thing, I don't remember what it was called. Going to the Great Fudgy. Not the Drave, are you sure? Are you sure, Jack? Um, hey Nello, how are you going? This is very very, very, very entertaining. Like, yep, absolutely. <clears throat> Stay a while. How are you? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going all right. Bit tired, bit uh, just kind of drained. But like, I've had a productive day, so I'm I'm figuring that I've just like done lots of stuff, and that's fine. <laughs> uh, and moderating, of course, of course, of course. Well, it's safe to use soft G if it's followed by a vowel, hard G if it's followed by a consonant. Um, yeah, but we're talking about GIFs, Lexi, um, and how the creator of the the format is wrong, that it's not a GIF, it's a GIF. Yeah. <laughs> you should have been the ATT. Does that mean that we're going to have to refund the character that shared with? No. Um... Have you had to read through all of the instructions and stuff, Panda? Like, have you read the tooltips and things like that? If you mouse over options? I would highly recommend, like, ATT is a big add-on. It is enormous. I highly recommend going through, like, all of the options and just reading everything really thoroughly. Because um, it it's actually really good at explaining itself and, and how it all works and things. And then beyond that... Um, 
most questions are best directed to their Discord server. Um, they've got a, a really super helpful Discord, and Kreev, the creator of the add-on, is very active in there. Um, so if you have, like, I, I've posted bugs and they've been solved, like, in under 24 hours and things like that. Or I've been given instructions on how, what I need to do with my game to make it work properly. And yeah, it's, it's, yeah, they're really good. They're really good. Um, productivity equals awesome. Yes, productivity rules. Sometimes it also drains me, like, a lot. The big goof, Sergeant Christian, and that already done gruels. Oh no, Beatty. Oh no. Oh no. Giant is a soft G dupe. Yeah. <laughs> English follows its own rules so badly. English is not a language. English is three languages in a trench coat, pretending to be a language. GIF is a cleaning product. Kind of is the only thing that's confusing me. Uh, it's an acronym. It's a, a GIF. No, I know, I know, but the creator specifically stated that it was intended to be pronounced GIF, and everyone told him they were, that he was wrong. Uh, <laughs> yep. I've got ATT. Yes, GIF is also Peter Brother Brand. It's the appearance from one item, it won't make you refund items that share the same look but not name, if that makes sense. Hey, Shania. I'm having a very basic cleaning product on a sandwich. Ooh, yeah, no, probably not good. Probably not good. I've noticed that the Cow King event is still listed in ATT. Uh, yeah, there are, again, reading the options in ATT, um, you'll find that there are some there are some checkboxes, like things that are no longer available. You have to actually yourself deselect those. Um, yeah. Otherwise, it assumes you want to collect absolutely everything, including things that you may not be able to get your hands on. Um, yeah, I can't remember where I read it, but it was ages ago and it's brilliant. Um, Gil, Gul, Go, Get, Gap, etc. Yeah, there's, there's lots. There's lots. It's a trench coat thing when teaching spelling. Oh, for sure. Go for it. It's not mine. Like, again, I, I read it somewhere on the internet many moons ago, like probably over a decade ago at this point, and it just really stuck with me. So there you go. I'm learning English still lots of words from other languages. Oh yeah, absolutely. You are correct, 100%. Study everywhere. You'd think that'd make it easier to learn for people who speak other languages, but no. Why would that be a thing? Ah, uh, French is such a pretty language. Fair enough. Ah, oh, the you just told me doesn't apply to this other word. Yep. Yeah, there's, uh, look. <laughs> I may not have been here, but I've changed your instrument. Oh, fantastic, Nello. I'm so pleased to hear that. Thank you. I've been working hard. I've been, I've been doing my best to kind of make them a thing. So I'm glad that, I'm glad you're enjoying them. To see any stuff recently. It shows, yeah, I'm... Yeah, working my ass off, but like, in a good way. I'm trying to work towards that full-time content creator -dom. Uh In case people missed it on Friday as well, I know there were a few people who weren't here because it wasn't a WoW stream, and that's totally okay. Um, but I have been asked to pick up another day at my day job. Um, it won't affect the, the number one thing that I said. Um, when I accepted, like, and said, okay, I'll do it, the the big thing was it will not change my stream schedule. Like, not happening. Um, so you won't notice it in terms of times that I'm streaming and stuff like that, but um, in terms of back-end stuff, some things are going to slip because I, I don't have time to work another day a week. I, I just I just don't have time. Um, so something's going to have to give and it's going to have to be back end stream stuff. Um, obviously, Jas is helping me as much as I can, uh, as much as he can rather. But, you know, he also has a full time job. So it's kind of, yeah, it's it's a thing, um, which is it was a really difficult decision. But essentially, if I had said no, there was a very good chance that it would have still been a business need. 
And so my contract, which is renewed at the end of each year, may not have been renewed at the end of this year. Um, which would mean that I would lose my day job uh, and streaming is not enough to support me yet, uh, which would mean that I'd have to find another job and there's not any guarantee that another job would fit around my stream schedule like my current job does. So it's just, it, yeah, um, the, the least risk was involved in saying yes to the extra day. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but I'm still aiming for full-time content creatorness, hopefully, at somewhere in the future. Uh, and the only way to do that is to grow my reach. Uh, and so if you haven't already, I would love a follow on Instagram. It is free, it is quick, it is easy, and it genuinely does make a difference. Genuinely makes a difference. I before you accept have to see, that's weird. Yep, yep. Thank you, Seeker, for dropping the socials link. Much appreciated. I think it was streaming again another relaxing. Brilliant. Um, also a great way to advertise streams. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Get there one day. Yeah, look, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's just um, a little frustrating when the world keeps throwing. Like, you know, I finally found my groove and I'm like, this is what I need to be doing. And then it's like, well, you now got to do it with 7.6 fewer hours each week. Well, more than that, because now I'm also going to be working in the office part of my week as well. Not always from home. So I've got travel time to factor into um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm losing a lot of content creator time, um, each week, like a lot, um, which there's no way that that's not going to show, you know, there's just, there's just no way. Um, but I'm going to keep trying and, uh, and keep shameless or shamefully begging all of you to follow me and to engage with my content and all that kind of stuff. Cause that's the big thing, you know, you, you tell a company you have this many followers and they go okay awesome and then they dig deeper and they go what's your engagement rate and you say this many percent um and there's a there's a standard like there's there's a point they want you to be reaching um but yeah uh, i just gotta keep trying my best three more to get 10 nice shamelessfully yeah correct shamelessfully <laughs> Shamelessfully. Um, how am I actually looking on Monk? I should probably check this before I start heading all the way to Gruels and then realizing I don't actually need anything on the character, which, yeah, I don't. Cool. So we're going to skip Monks because I don't, I think that means we're also going to be skipping, uh, I think we're going to be skipping, um, what's it's to? That's really weird. Why is it? Oh, okay. It's because it's the end of the thing. Um, I think we might be skipping demon hunters as well because they're leather and don't have tear. But let me just check. Hmm. Are you going to rest, seeker? Oh dear. Go, go, follow, 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 in bed, on phone, as close to resting as I do. Oh, Seeker, same. <gasps> same. My god. My god. Um... The carriage. Can't rest. Don't your phone on head. Do not recommend. Yeah, no, that 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 hurts. <laughs> it dip smack. It dip smack. Mm -hmm.
sorry. Um, okay. Oops. Uh, drop on kids, yeah. Uh, cool, no rules for this one either. Brilliant. So it's on to the warlocks. Do I really not have? I don't, okay. Uh, drop my phone on my kids when feeding them as babies. Yep. I said feeling, but I read feeding. Yeah, context told me it should have been feeding, but, you know, typos. We never know. We never know. I always wondered on running my DK3 Mountain Core, I don't think there's tier stuff for them. No, there's not. If the class didn't exist during that expansion, there's no tier things for them. Um, but they can still get other plate that drops because they're a plate wearer. Same thing with monks and demon hunters and leather. They won't. There's no tier, but they'll still get leather. Um, just like there's no demon hunter tier in Mists of Pandaria, but there's the other two. Why create stuff for something for a class that doesn't exist at the time? Makes no sense. Mm, I really hate me never getting the drops I need. I beg to differ, Panda. I reckon you do sometimes, but that's just this how the dice rolls work. Sometimes you get really lucky and sometimes you don't. Are you feeding friends to babies? Because the point autocorrect type is not helping. Uh, how often are you playing Final Fantasy XIV? Hey, Nemea, welcome back. Um, at this point, I've got another stream next, not this Monday, like not tomorrow, but next week. Um, and I have a, uh, I think I'm ch having a chat with them tomorrow about potential for future stuff. Um, but yeah, not 100% sure just yet. Yeah. More than food these days. An apple a day keeps the torture. Oh no. Oh no. Big weekend indeed. Dun, 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 dun. The true and I did bad to you both. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie me. approach the showcase Final Fantasy XIV streamers in a similar way. Uh, potentially. Who knows? Depends on their business plan, hey. Um, alrighty. Uh, Aileen, Krazy, and Pudding, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. It is the token chest time. Make sure you place those units if you want some bonus tokens towards your battle passes. Unlock those extra tiers. And if you have quests... For getting tokens, this is the way to get them too. This is the way. Dragonflight to happen already. Patience, patience. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not ready for Dragonflight. Definitely not ready. Not yet. Okay. Here we go. And these twelve months. Nah, I. I don't think it'll be twelve. I don't think it'll be twelve. I think it'll be like April next year. Um, like late March somewhere in April. I think they'll give themselves to the end of May, but um, like, you know, it'll be on or before 31st May, 2023, but I don't think it'll take that long. I think they'll shave a bit off that. There's absolutely nothing whatsoever. Not ready for it yet. I want to get curved first. Totally fair. Alrighty, so we just need Tyr for the Warlocks, and I've got four of them to run. So fingers crossed. And I know ATV complained about Oahu having 
tear pieces in her bags but I think they weren't quite bound yet or something so I need to go and refresh that um, so I can see where we're supposed to be at next. Maybe we see it after March unless there's an unforeseen delay. Hmm. Fair enough. And I mean, look, anything's possible, hey? I think they'd be smart to give themselves the time to put that delay in, um, in case it happens, you know? Uh, so much marathon, end of August, never run more than 10k in one sitting in my life. Well, look, you've signed up to a marathon. You didn't sign up to run every last centimeter of it. Like, do your absolute best. If you need to walk for a bit, then do it and then pick it up again. Like, just completing it is going to be awesome. It's going to be a huge milestone. Completing your first ever marathon, regardless of how quickly you do it, that's huge. How do you run 10k while you're sitting? <sighs> oh, easy guys. I just want to complete it. Exactly. Exactly right. You'll smash it, Kraz. You'll do so well. You'll do so well. And I mean, you're doing better than me. I've never, I've never done a 10k either. Like, I mean, you've done a 10k. I've never done a 10k. So, all about it on your journey, yas. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, excuse me. Your cardio training starts tomorrow on top of normal training. Oof. Fun, fun. Get me a daily running to get steps in. You should get ready for it. Sounds like it. Yeah. Sounds like it. Five months ago, three K mile. I just started wishing the barbell would appear. <laughs> well, if it did, you would have been even more concerned though, Kraz, because like hallucinations are a thing. Ah, oh dear. Okay. Here we go. What are we looking for? Hero. Fallen hero. Tree man of shooting peaks on this area for an hour and a week. Oof. Okay. I don't even hear to back. Good point. I want to consider hallucinations. Yeah, look, I mean, it can all get worse. Another weakling falls. Oh! Pauldrons of the fallen hero. One down, one more pauldron and two legs to go. Hey, is there anything Arclight like Rumble found a script to play on bus two from work? Oh, fantastic. It's not yet available on uh, iOS. It's still just Android people who are able to test it. So if money walks again, really that my asthma last year, so get breathing difficulties. Yeah. I think that's a good idea, Seeker. And I mean, exercise in general is just so good for so many things as well. So many things. Hey! Hero legs! Amazing. Amazing. Uh, we go down that moment. 
Ah, I can't wait for it. Anyways, plus AirPods, audio books, time for scripts, every week makes holiday feel more peaceful. Actually, leaves me feeling like I have a longer day. Yeah, absolutely. The more you get done, the longer the day feels, for sure. Can agree. When I'm in fitness, you're ready to get an extra fitness. Can possibly to start the day, even just ten minutes outside. Yep. Yep. For sure. Arte, warlock, warlock. Actually, while I'm here, I might jump onto Oahu and try to force that um, piece of gear to be learned, so that when I go back to the druid and refresh it, it'll work. And it's in the morning. It used to be a frost in the morning. See, everyone has a puffer jacket. Yep. And you'll be moving as well. It'll encourage you to move faster. Warm up. Hey, a blaster doing really well. Really, really well. We've crossed a few tunes off the list for gruels. We've completed them. No more tra- Excuse me. No more transmog for that class. So that's fun. Feels good. That's not as before 33 days a week to coach and train. Yeah, I mean, look, that's- They say exercise helps with mental health issues. I'm not gonna comment on your situation, cuz. <laughs> nah, you look, hey, if that was if that's what feels good for you, then bloody oath do it. Like for real. I I cannot. I cannot. Um I like it honest to god just hurts and makes me feel really ill. Like if I if I wake up that early, even if I get up and start doing stuff, I I feel physically nauseous by like halfway through the day. Um I'm just not built to withstand that, I guess. Um which, you know, that's, it is what it is. Uh, was it this bit that, yeah, soulbound leather, I need to, it's still saying no. All right, let me refresh ATT a couple times. I think that may, maybe it will stick. This is usually what I need to do. Yeah, now it has stuck, that's good, okay. And then, Why is that? Did I not buy? That can't be right. Victory lies ahead. Use dragon hide leg guards. I could have sworn I did that. Be ready for anything. <laughs> I guess not. How? You should cross girls off entirely. Yeah. All right. That's okay. Um. Oh, actually, no. I can half back to the garrison now because the cooldown's off. <clears throat> See, I'm struggling at the moment. I've just moved my wake up alarm to seven rather than 7.30. And I'm, I'm struggling hardcore with that. My body needs like a lot of, a lot of, I, I mean, granted I have like, I have specific chronic illnesses and stuff like that. And maybe that affects it in, in, in stuff. I also have like, there's a chronic illness, then there's the insomnia, then there's the blah, blah, blah. Like there's a whole lot of stuff and who knows how, all the side effects of treatments and stuff work with each other, but like I am struggling hardcore with actually getting out of bed at seven. Even at seven thirty, I would still probably not actually get out of bed until eight. I just can't. Like, yeah, I'm broken, but I'm working on it. I'm I'm trying, especially considering now that I'm gonna be working in the office. I have to get like I have to leave the house at like eight. So yeah, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a time. If me not gonna lie, it does make rest of week feel easy. Fair, fair. Not a morning owl, whatever they call them. Yeah. I meant, yeah, night owl, early bird, night owl. I think, yeah. We can't eat breakfast till 11, Vom City, otherwise, oof. Oh, thanks, Blaster. Um, you bed before 10 those nights. It took some doing, it's always like being up late. At some point, hair needs a wash, but that's okay. We'll get there. Snickers every night, I'm gonna get my team to walk down for coffee together. 
Not everyone has coffee. Good to encourage the team to have a quick social connection. Morning. Yeah, you don't have to actually drink anything, but like, even if it's you, you could have hot chocolate, you could have chai, you could have tea, whatever you whatever your poison is. But like, you also don't need to spend the money on the drink either. Um, six six thirty and seven is my alarms. I have over an hour on the bus usually. And I have by seven to get to work on eight thirty. Yeah. Some of our nutritionists, one takeaway I took from her was to stop taking coffee before food and training that early in the morning. Took me weeks to adjust. Yeah. Yep. I can imagine. Caffeine is an addiction. Like, legit, it's a thing. Uh, 4.30 wake up to get to work for 5.45. Just feel awake a little bit, get my son to school, I have to get up at 6.30 to leave by 8. I will have different sounds, and as I'm up at 7, get kids dressed and eating breakfast, shower out by 7.30. At work by eight. Get up at four. Yeah. Everyone is very, very different. I just, I just can't. I just can't. Um. But that's okay. Each of us are different. We all have different routines, different lives, different bodies, different needs. And the important thing is finding something that works for us and allows us to have full and productive lives. Um, quick to get ready. Oh yeah, I can I can be very quick to get ready. Toss on some clothes, do the thingamajig. I tend to shower at night. Um, showering in the morning, I just, it takes so long. Like the water puts me back to sleep kind of thing. It's just, it doesn't, <laughs> me no function. Um, so I shower at night and it helps me rebalance my temperature, like my body temperature as well. If I can get the water temp where it should be, it'll help put my body to the temperature it should be to facilitate sleep as much as possible. Cause your body temperature drops a few degrees before you actually get to sleep. At least that's what I remember being told. I may rem be remembering that wrong, but I know that your body temperature shifts before you go to, like before you're able to sleep. And so being able to do the shower and help have that water help shift my body temperature. Um, um, it, yeah, it doesn't necessarily help me get to sleep. I am an insomniac after all, but uh, it puts me in the best physical place I can possibly be to be able to sleep. Um, so morning, if my hair looks like shit, stick it in a messy bun, throw on some clothes, leave the house. <laughs> Meal prep helps with that because I can just grab the bucket of food. It's not a bucket, it's like a separated, separated container thing with partitions or whatever, but um, I can just kind of grab that and go if I have to as well. Eat when I get to work. Don't buy clothes that require ironing, never have hair or makeup sorted. Yep. Yep. You just, you could just like makeup tattoos. You can get eyeliner like tattooed on and then get Lash, like tinted lashes. You don't even need extensions. Just like get your lashes tinted and your eyebrows tinted. You're good to go. Pop on a lip gloss and you're fine. A tinted lip balm. I would. Oh no, I can't. I can't. No. Mm. Um. Shower is you know. Morning shower helps us be regen. Yeah, absolutely. I had to just by sharing in the morning, and that's time I could be sleeping. Often lay back down in bed after shower because it makes me sleepy. So I get up at 7 p.m., eat breakfast, go to work at 11 p.m. Wow. Since I've no chance of sleeping out of a shower, I'm energized. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. It's a it's a sleepy routine thing, definitely. It's like a it's like a liquid blanket, and then I get out and wrap myself in an actual blanket. We're all good. We're all good. I'm going to stuff your mascara and the lipstick in the back. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you're getting good use out of it. That's fantastic to hear. Um, I'd love to do night work, but I am female. I mean, I used to do night work and I am female. What has that got to do with anything? I'm, that's a genuine like confusion and question. Ah, uh, yes, Mellow Affiliate. They've got, like, their lipsticks are super good, too. Like, so lovely. They're, they're like, their matte liquid lipstick as well. Ah, oh, just doesn't budge. It's amazing. So good. When I expect it to look great at 5 a.m. Or when I get into the brewery. Yeah. That's the thing, though. Once you get there, you, you're fine. But then, like, it, when it gets to the afternoon, you've had all day to, yeah. 
Yep. Besides, like, makeup for me is fun as well. It's not so much a societal expectation. Like, eh, don't care. Uh, there are absolutely days that I'll just toss my hair up in a bun and leave. I don't care. But um, I, I do enjoy playing with it, so sometimes it's nice to have the time to do it. Hard to feel safe. Um, so it's a safety issue, no criticism, just shows. Yeah. There's no security work. Hard to feel safe doing work like that. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I used to do, like, my night work was always call center stuff. Um, yeah. Locked away in a building. No one ever calls it, you know, very, very few calls at night. So taking my cross stitch and stitch while waiting for calls to come in. Be great. Uh, he's like, beer anyway. Um, but now time with finding some delay. Functional hobby, yep. Why is my That's not true, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Hero! Yay, alright, so we're going to Keldenas to get my gladiator shoulders. I don't know. I often wish mine could so much more productive later in the day. Absolutely. I mean, I always already stream in the evening if I could also like work in the evening too. Um, I mean, most of what I do can technically be done any time of the day, but the banks, especially like payroll, if you get your payroll files in to the bank later, they'll be paid later. Like it's, yeah. It's really silly. It It's electronic. It should, there shouldn't be a cutoff anymore for banking. That is just so silly. It's just so silly. Somewhere from home at night, as you manage other humans, manage them while they were sleeping. Yep. Yep. Oh, and uh, level a new character. No. I can't level any new characters. My, my account is full. I'm running Gruul's Lair. It's a raid. Uh, doing transport hunting. Okay, so we're gonna go to Keldenas to grab the PvP shoulders. I still need a pair of legs though. Um, work in security, I work with 10 colleagues. Looks to be missing a lot of warlock spells. Uh, I don't have them on my bars, it doesn't mean I don't have them. This is a level 51 character. Uh, excuse me. I moved to gigs. And demo. Yeah, all my locks are demo. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, all my locks are demonology. I had to remind myself what it was short for for a second there because I don't play them very often. Yep, just farming transmog. All I need now is one more leg token from Gruul on the Warlock, and I'll be done. Did you try to play Warlock? I play one button macros, so it doesn't make any difference to me. <laughs> like, legitimately zero difference. Uh, for your next week cross faction, I know. The vast majority of what I do is single player anyway, so it does not really affect me. Not too much. And honestly, most of the people who play with us who are US uh, like NA, OCE, most of them seem to be Horde. It's the EU play, EU people we can't play with that is kind of the big thing. Um, exciting kind of stuff for me. My school trip when it comes. Oh, you'll be fine. Like, it's not going anywhere. It'll be here when you get back. <laughs> It'll be here when you get back. Uh, okay, Dreadweave Mantle. This one. Ta-da! All right. Good. Now we hop on to the next one. Um, nothing to hold you. Fantastic. Where you go here feels left out. Hey, Key. Welcome on in. Hope you're having an awesome day. I mean, like, obviously EU gets to play cross-faction as well, but yeah, it's, um, we do have a big chunk of our community who are EU region players. And I would love to be able to play, like, love to be able to include everyone. Uh, but it's 
We're not quite there yet. Not quite there. Uh, any NA server can play with any other server. Any other NA slash Oceanic server, yes. All within the region. All within the region. Uh, Battle of Desire Law next week, for example, will be one of the raids that is not available cross-faction because there are specific faction experiences in the raid. Um, so next week we'll still only be, like, we'll still have the same pool of players to play with for that particular um, run that we're intending to do if we reach the community goal. Can I ask why so many warlocks? I have four of them. I also have four priests and four demon hunters and four uh, paladins and four shaman and four hunters. I have five mages and five druids. I have a full account, 50 tunes, four of everything with an extra mage and an extra druid. Yes. Yes. I only play demon hunter, monk, tank, survivor, hunter, brilliant. Um, Six or seven that won't be available. Yeah, any any dungeon or raid that involves like a specific faction experience. So ICC with the the boats, uh, bod with its whole ass thing. Um, yeah, anything that has specific faction experience is weird no go. Um, alliance as well. Um, what in Sam Hill? What? I told you I have a full account. What part of that did you misunderstand? This has been, like, it's literally been more than six months that I've had all these tunes. This is not a new thing. Please don't yell at me. How the fuck do you have 50 characters without having multiple of the same class, Chris? Tell me that. <laughs> it's a literal impossibility. How do you have 50 characters? All separate classes when there are 12 classes. Riddle me that. <laughs> um, is that for transmog farming? Uh, yeah, originally the 50, the 50 tunes, it was the fear, Fears 50 50s challenge. Uh, and it was because of the Heartbreaker mount from Lovers in the Air. You need to be level 50 to, have, to be able to have a chance for it to drop. And 50 characters is the maximum you can have on one single account. Uh, so having 50 characters all at level 50 meant that I had the maximum chance of being able to get the mount, the, the Heartbreaker, uh, in February. It didn't drop, but I got there, I got all my tunes to 50, and I did every single attempt every single day, and I'm really goddamn proud that I got them done. Like, that is a huge achievement, a huge accomplishment. Um, and I'll hopefully not have to do all of it again next year. Hopefully it'll drop day one or two, but we'll see how we go. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, don't have 50, but I want to. Problem? <laughs> Three of like the same class. Ah, oh, nice, Jack. Well done. Miss Fear the Riddler. I have two of the same classes. It's for Horde and Alliance. Trial of Crusader is also the same as Faction Alliance. Yep. As I said, literally any dungeon or raid that has faction-related elements will not be cross-factionable. That covers... that's a blanket statement. <laughs> um, there are people who fill entire accounts with one class, people play WoW in many different ways. Correct! People also have eight accounts on one Battle.net account, therefore have 400 characters. 50 by 8. Just because you don't play that way doesn't mean it's weird or wrong or, or bad. This is how I have fun. Twenty five DKs, twenty five warlocks. I mean, you could. No reason you can't. I don't believe DKs aren't. They're not limited anymore, are they? I know they used to be because they're hero class and stuff, but I don't think they're limited anymore. Yes, it's impressive. Struggle to do it every day on only like three tunes. Yep, three hours a day, fifteen days. Day fifteen was a three hour window to get them all done. And it was from one till 4 a.m. <laughs> Reset happened at 1 a.m. and then the event finished at 4 a.m. <laughs> we got it done. We got it done. I had some amazing community members who jumped in with me. We got instant cues pretty much the whole time. It was great. 
That's great. I wonder if they will look at faction dependent instances in the future now. Um, yeah, well, that's the thing. Who knows? Like, they might throw one in per per expansion just for for shits and giggles, or they might completely obliterate the idea of even having it so that they can make sure everything's cross factionable. But yeah, it's uh, only one way to find out, right? And that's to either ask them. Actually, two ways to uh, ask them, uh, but they might not know the answer at this point, uh, and just wait and see. You know, they may have a design philosophy right now of, nope, every single thing's going to be cross-faction, but then later on down the track, they have a really, really, really great plan for something that would render it non-cross-factionable. But they decide, you know, the, the design choice is more important at this point, at uh, this particular point. But we won't know till we get there. Um, what does it we say? Don't yuck someone else's yum. Correct. Correct. Uh, DK and Demon Hunter aren't limited. Brilliant. They, I know they used to be, but I'm, I, pr I was sure that they'd removed the limit uh, by now. So thank you for confirming. Appreciate it. Uh, no, they're not. How dare you have fun in a game? Hey, Rel. How are you going? Welcome back. Something that would be interesting is a dungeon that requires cross faction. Doubt they'd do it though. Yeah, I also doubt that. But, I mean, look, never say never, right? There was a point that they said they wouldn't do cross-faction, so... Anything is possible. But it's a matter of whether or not, you know, would this... be fun? Would this be fun? Right, so I just need legs and we're good. Fourth World players write Blizzard an email every day telling him to add spit emote back so I can spit it. Well, that's not very nice, Fourth. Are you saying that you don't like me? Is that... Are you offended by my... By my horde tunes? Uh, I've been away from WoW well for a long time and I left level cap was 120, come back, level cap has changed. You know why this is? Yeah, there's a level squish. Where instead of making it 130 for Shadowlands, they, they reduced the level cap and they scaled any character that was already at some point on the leveling, they scaled it down so it would be at an appropriate level, like a, a respective kind of, you know, if you were halfway to 120, you'd be halfway to 50, uh, and then you had the, the extra 10 levels. I was forcing you to, you're part of the problem. Yeah, look a little bit. This point everyone is tired of the same old Horde vs. Alliance storyline, it's too outdated. I would not say everyone, because I'm not. Like, there are very good reasons why the, the factions still hate each other. Um, but I am interested to see where they take it in future. Uh, how they made the story, they can't say no cross-faction anymore, really. They can. They absolutely can. Um, but they've decided not to, and that's great for everyone who wants to play cross-faction. They can do whatever the hell they want to with their game, to be honest. Uh, but I'm glad they're opening it up to allow more people to play with each other. I'm into the record they hyped up well. Liz felt that leveling past 120 was unnecessary. There wasn't enough class content to make those small levels feel good to obtain, so they squished it. Thank you, Jack. Much more reasonable answer than mine was. Brilliant. Uh, let's press that button. Uh, I wish the Brawler's Guild would come back even if it was in time walking. That'd be interesting. That'd be really interesting. What's your favorite race? Ah, uh, Blood Elves. Out of my 50 tunes, seven of them are Blood Elves. And then I forced, like when I created the, the 26 extras, because I had 24 at some kind of, and then I made the new the, the other 26 to make it the 50. Uh, I refused to let myself make any more Blood Elves because I wanted to spread it as evenly as I could amongst the races and the classes and everything. Um, but yeah, Blood Elves. <laughs> okay, what's on the plate today? Uh, Gruul's Lair. Trying to finish it across 12 classes. Just get all the transmog. We're going alright. We've crossed a few off. And using the drone cross factions, dying player base, Lamar, nothing to do with story. Why are you watching a game you clearly don't enjoy, Forth? Like. The player base isn't, okay, the player base has been dying since Burning Crusade, if you listen to everyone who's been saying it. Let's just put it out there. Literally, since the very first expansion was launched, people on the internet have said that WoW is a dying game. So we can immediately write that one off. 
The reason they instituted cross-faction play is because people want to play with their friends. If they make a, like, the game has been around for 17 and a half years at this point. For the, for the first good chunk of the game, often you introduced somebody to the game. Someone said, oh, what are you playing? And you said World of Warcraft and you encouraged them to join your faction, your server, etc., etc. Nowadays, you are far more likely to randomly encounter someone who already also plays. And if you want to play with this newfound friend, you're shit out of luck if they're the opposite faction. That's why they're instituting cross-faction to allow those random connections and to, to start playing that way. Uh, Krazy Pudding, Mick, Meaty, Izzy, and Unforgiven, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Yeah, that's, that's the key here. They want people to be able to play together with as few resistances as possible. The game has been dying since Burning Crusade, if you listen to the internet. Like... <laughs> ah, they gutted the storyline and lore's cross-faction. What do you mean they gutted the storyline and lore? Are you kidding? Like, are you, like, seriously? We literally, for the first two hours of stream, we were, we were discussing in depth all of the lore and storyline because there was so much of it that I was having trouble keeping it straight, for God's sake. How have they gutted it? I honestly feel like so much of this stuff that comes out of these conversations is, oh, I saw this random person on the internet say it, so it must be true, and I'm going to regurgitate it to sound like I'm involved in the... Do you know? Like, it just... Like, you get one or two of the bigger names who say things, and then everyone else just kind of regurgitates it because that's how they're cool. It, it, I don't know. If you don't... Like, genuinely, it all boils down to... If you're not enjoying WoW anymore, if you genuinely think the game is no longer good because of lore reasons or because of a player base reason or any of that kind of stuff, then don't play it anymore. Genuinely. I mean that with all of my heart and soul. If you're not having fun, I want you to be able to find a game that you enjoy playing. Wholeheartedly. If you think it's shit, find something that's not shit. Please. Life is too short to spend on something you don't enjoy. So for cross faction, give me a first take with Beaver during the raid team, despite staying alive. It's fantastic. Uh, I still feel Shadowlands story is more coherent than BC by a mile. I mean, look, 15 years of practice doing storytelling and stuff, kind of, you, yeah, you get there. So many of my characters, Blood Elf or Void Elf. Brilliant. Great to express personal opinions. Just really important. We keep it respectful and positive in chat. Not pointing at anyone in particular. Just a reminder for all. Uh, not sure eating the gruel is a healthy choice. Look. Look you. Working through Surma trying to unlock Nightborn, taking ages. Surma is a beauty, beautiful storyline as well, though. Goodness gracious. Um, also a gorgeous zone. Like, far out. Um, right. Love trolls for Horde, Night Elves for Alliance. Perfect. Don't go by the whole dead game talk. I don't believe it. I mean, the game feels pretty damn alive to me, but that's just my own personal feelings. If Again, if you don't like it, don't play it. Uh, obviously not talking to you specifically there, truly, like, but yeah. I'm so clearly the best race. Ah, uh, good evening, how are you going tonight? Very well, thank you, Dunno. A bit tired, but, you know, that's... When am I not? So <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Uh, one of the biggest problems with dungeons, we got ridiculous on a single realm, cross realm. Resolve this issue as well. Um... Oh, yeah, cross realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I always want to play Horde, majority of OCE raids, Alliance, Ross one. I think Cross Faction's really neat. Awesome, Shania. I know it was a weird story twist, it was a funny expansion. It was, I really enjoyed Mists. I, I, like, Moppers, yeah, it's definitely up there. I enjoyed it a lot. And welcome to chat, Unforgiven. Welcome on in. Check out how barely touched on the scope of lore. I think we touched on one particular point, no, two particular points, sorry. Uh, quest to pump little creatures, etc. Yeah, it was good fun. It's good fun. Been ever the fanatic in the way universe and all the retconning has made me so sad. It's not been retconned. Look, people misuse the word retconning all the fucking time and it's really starting to irk me. Um, so retconning is literally going back and changing points of storyline, right? What a lot of Blizzard, like I'm sure there's been one or two points of retconning here or there, but what Blizzard have mostly done is if you look back at the storyline when it happened, there was stuff that we assumed but didn't know 
we, we, we factually did not know, or there is always a chance that a character has lied to us. For example, such and such absolutely knows we're doing this, it's on their orders, when in actual fact what we didn't see was that it was not on their orders. They had no idea that it was happening. Or we genuinely had no idea, all of a sudden these things have showed up, and now 12 expansions later, I know we're not that far in, but regardless, you know, 12 expansions later, we find out what was happening with those people before they arrived. It's not retconning when it's filling in gaps. It's retconning when it actually changes the details of what happened. It's retconning when they say, oh no, no, that person wasn't wearing plate, actually they were wearing cloth. And no, 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 they weren't stabbed, they were actually shot by an arrow. That's retconning. That person actually lied to you and told you they had orders when in actual fact they were going rogue and didn't have orders? That's not retconning. That's filling in missing information that we as the players and, and the readers didn't have at the time. It, there's a very big difference. Very big difference. And I feel like a lot of the old storyline, like a lot of the old books and stuff, they had a lot of gaps. So they've got a lot of, a lot of leeway to fill that kind of shit in. Um... AI Fortnite, huh? I'm sorry, Vikings, I'm not sure what that's in reference to. Um, so you stop playing NPC then. Also wish they would do with long-term bugs, such as Cockless and Stranglethorn. Do the water and disappear under the ground, collision issue. Yeah, but I mean, the amount of time it would take, so let's, see, let's assume that they even know why that's happening. Chances are they don't know why it's happening, because if they did know why, it'd be a quicker fix. The man hours it would spend going back to figure out what's going on there and why, isolating the issue and then taking the time to write the patches to fix it and stuff like that, it's man hours that are better spent on newer content that more that affect more players. If you've got 10 man hours to spend, would you spend that on something that affects 0.0000002% of the player base or something that affects 5% of the player base? It's, they're a company. Time is money. It's That's literally all it is. It's not worth it to go back and fix that kind of shit because it just doesn't involve, it doesn't affect that much of the player base. I understand that it's frustrating. There are so many of those kind of bugs that affect me and my, my quest for transmog and all that kind of shit, but I understand why it's not being fixed. Um, I'm sorry, community enjoys. I'm not sure it's fine. People here, I guess we do enjoy that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stop playing a void, gave up fully in Shadowlands. Wish me luck, last to try and Ash's best of luck, was Affliction luck to be a crackhead elf. God. Oh no. Um, you probably don't remember me. Oh, 16 hour working and getting. My covenant. Hey, Slayer. Welcome back. Welcome back. Just like right now. Yes. Thought I would hate Mop, but I had a blast. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Stevie. Nothing worse than something like failing your expectations, but something far exceeding them is just a beauty to behold. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. That's wonderful to hear. And welcome on in, by the way. Hope you're having a great day. You can remember. You remember, Seeker. I have trouble remembering. But... <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're having fun, though, Slayer. It's fantastic news. I play through BC with the biggest actual retcons in the game. Uh, if you just have a lot of people coming to chat for this day, yes, for sure. Um, you said if you don't like a play, you play a little as in Fortnite. Well, there are definitely people out there who still really, truly enjoy Fortnite. So, like, I mean, I've never even played it myself. Um, Battle Royale is not a genre that appeals to me, but it's definitely still there for a lot of people. And that's okay. Um,. Just because I don't enjoy it doesn't mean I'm going to say that those people are stupid or like that the game sucks or anything like that. It's just not for me. It was not made for me and, and that's okay. There are plenty of other games out here that have been made for me. And I'll spend my time playing them. I did not get to the Pantaloons and this is my last Warlock, which makes me sad. But that's okay. Time for Warriors. Time for Warriors. Easy to write conquest with using powers into their backstory. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Sorry, I had itchy either. Um, here's the next question so we can make it easier to get renown. Guess I got good timing. Um, 
I don't know about that, but that's fine. I'm sure it is. I don't tend to pay much attention to patch notes these days. Um, still here, you guys are great. Oh yeah, we're, we'll be here for quite a while, Koenig. We do six hour streams. And we're about three and a half hours in, so we will be here for quite some time. Um, hello, Shu. Greetings to Bosnia. Hope you're having a lovely day. Proclisks for my noble mage class. <laughs> oh lord, we get a bed, go get tea, get heavy damage lifting. You better have a good stream. Thank you so much, Nia. I hope you have a fantastic day and be careful with the heavy lifting. You bend those knees, yup, absolutely. Uh, there's no build mode. I think people like Fortnite more. I don't know what that means and I don't think I care, but hey, I hope people have fun. Do you do many high mythic plus keys? No. I'm not that kind of streamer, Joe. Welcome on in though. Hope you're having an awesome day. It's okay to be sad. It's a normal thing. You do get to Wait, you unfair. <laughs> Keep on trying. I am. Well, I can't because it's a weekly lockout, but that's fine. Uh, like the fear said, we do six hour streams when she's the one doing all the work. No, I disagree. I mean, yeah, okay, maybe. But like, if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. Like, if it weren't for you guys, I, I wouldn't have had the success that I've had and all that kind of extra, like, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a big deal. We, the community, are here for six hours. Maybe we don't stream, but we are here. How's that? Better? Technically? Alrighty, where's the button? There's the button! Let's go! Ooh, an item that isn't tier. How unusual. When the live is about to finish. Uh, as I said, Koenig, we stream for six hours and we've been live for three and a half. So I don't know when in your time zone, but we've got about two and a half hours to go. You'll need to do the math yourself, unfortunately. <laughs> so soothing. Hopefully it doesn't pop you to sleep, dude. Was it for us to be the same person not running ATT? I mean, yes, but also like what would my life, I don't even want to think what my life would look like if it weren't for stream. No, thank you. I'm good. Ooh, a hydrate. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. 7.30, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna let me sleep right now, fair. Fair. How are we looking for the Ember Goal? Ooh, 76. I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. I don't think we're gonna have a bot achievement run. How are we looking on the... Okay, 10.47 on Instagram. Three followers away from 10.50. So close. So close. Um, feel like a chair stream too. Big. I've got one in queue already um, from when X spammed me with hydrates in case I need to go uh, uh, dehydrate <laughs> as politely as possible. Uh, how do you decide what community goals you put up for you? Uh, so sometimes I'll jump into, we've got a sub only Discord channel in Discord where if you are subscribed to the channel and you link your Discord and Twitch accounts, uh, then it automatically grants you access to the sub chat channels. There's one chat and one voice channel that we very rarely use, but it's we use it occasionally. Um, but yeah, I'll drop a question in there and ask people if there's anything that they'd like to see me do uh, next stream. I've also got a spreadsheet. Um, <laughs> where I keep a log of ideas because occasionally I'll have like a random idea pop in my head and my memory is trash so I'll put it in a spreadsheet so that the, the computer can remember for me. Um, so I jump in there and I have a look at what I've done the previous couple of months because I don't like to like super double up. Sometimes I've got a really popular one that'll pop up a few months in a row uh, but I try not to run them like too repeatedly. And then once I actually, if, if something's successful and then I do the stream, I also take note of like average viewers and other stats like that to see if it might be worth doing it again uh, or if it's something that like really hurts my, my viewer number. So like we're sitting on 110 viewers at the moment, right? Um, 
But if I have a stream that averages, let's say 20, then I know that that's probably gonna, if I try doing that again repeatedly in the future, it's probably gonna damage my stats enough that it'll affect it for sponsorships. So maybe not a super great idea. Um, but there are like a lot of the ones that pop up that are really kind of easy ones for me to go for are things like Shah Farm because that takes two whole ass streams to get through all 50 tunes. Um, usually like my, my weekly look is like Sunday is ATT, Monday is Mount Farming, Wednesday is Xerath Mortis Collections and, uh, and Raid, and then Friday is kind of a a wild card type of deal. If it's like, if it's a time walking week, we'll do time walking. If it's da, 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 da. So, um, that's kind of anything outside of that. So like pets or toys or secret hunting or those kind of things, um, that are also aimed. They're still wow. It's still collecting, but it's something that isn't in the regular schedule. So that's something that I can grab and chuck in as a, as a, a thing as well. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm still sort of experimenting. I'm trying not to do too many non I'm trying not to do too many non WoW streams a month because they do seriously affect my stats, which you know, you'd think it wouldn't matter so much, but it does. Uh, unfortunately, and not just for my whole like not my like ego or whatever. It's very much like a when I give my average my like average viewers uh, numbers to a potential sponsor along with my rate if I have a bunch of 100s and then a 20 and it pulls it down, that could potentially have to lower my rate because they don't feel that it'd be worth it at the lower number. So it's, yeah, like it can directly affect my income. So I, I try not to do too many non-WOW streams a month just because it affects that. But um, it's, it is an art. <laughs> it's, it's an art, let me tell you. Um, my skids are up and out of bed a lot right now. Rat bags. Oh no. Oh no. How could they? How could they? Oh good then. Yeah, shortly, I'm sure, Pet. Shortly. Um, however, feel free to, uh, I've still got water left in my bottle. If anyone wants to, uh, help me rehydrate. The Sanctum. Definitely not the Sanctum. Thank you very much. Did I get Defender? I did get a Defender one. I heard Jas laughing from the kitchen. Bye, break. Yep, the Sanctum. Secret awkwardly drops in on conversations. Not the Sanctum. Definitely not the Sanctum. The sub channel. How did I manage that? Magic. If your sub dropped for a little while. Another hydrate. Um, like, if, for whatever reason, and that's totally okay. Like, this is absolutely not me shaving. Like... God, it's fine. I get it. Um, but if your sub dropped for a little while and Discord refreshed and saw you weren't subbed and then it hasn't refreshed since to like to re to re add your like that might have happened or you could have disconnected your your accounts. So that's another thing. No ashes this week. That's OK, Loz. Next week. You know, the big boo boo you're making here, Loz, is that you're not doing it on Mount Farm Monday. Uh, okay, did not get anything we needed from Gruul, but that's okay. We got three warriors to go. Thank you there, Chris. You had a TikTok go viewer wise. Uh, yes. So let me double check. Um, when was that? <laughs> 20th. Okay. Stream summary. Friday, May 20. 50. Negative 57 from the stream prior. To give you an idea. 50. Uh, and to give you an idea, usually I go, what is it, 60 days? There's 60. So my 60 day average is 93. Some people do quarterly, like when they're doing their pitch decks and stuff, it's like a 90 day window. Um, so if I do 90 days, I'm looking at 90 average viewers. So 90 average viewers for 90 days, 93 if I'm looking at 60, but if I'm looking at 30, it's a hundred. Bang on a hundred, one, zero, zero. 
for the month of May, just May, so 29 days, is, uh, is 100 as well. Sorry, I'm, I'm, numbers do things to my brain. Um, I get lost in data. Like, it's not as in, it doesn't break my brain. I'm quite happy with numbers. Um, but it just kind of, when I start seeing data, I start analyzing and sometimes I have to kind of snap myself out of it. So my apologies. Uh, speaking of time walking, Fortress is still broken as time walking. I thought they fixed it last season. Oh, no. Is that like it's not dropping the um, item at the end? Is that? Mm, sure, thank you. Do you like the setup there? Which setup? Um, compared to the previous Friday. Yeah, I can. Okay, give me a second. Um, so this Friday just gone, which was the makeup stream, was 46. TikTok was 50. May the 13th was pets, we had 100. May 6th was BC time walking, we had 98. So yeah, anything that isn't wow. <laughs> yep. The few that Tim Timber chat can hurt that much. I imagine there are pros and cons to each. Well, this is the thing. Um, I don't necessarily. So, the problem, the where it becomes a problem is a streamer has been playing one game. They've built their community around one game. They play one game. They get bored of one game. They want to play a different game. They branch out. The numbers crash. Um, luckily for me. I'm not bored of one game because <laughs> one game, this one game is like 20 different games to me. There are so many different things in WoW that I can do. They all feel like different games. I'm just playing it with the same account. Um, kind of like Roblox, but no, it's <laughs> so yeah. It, do you know what I mean? It's kind of, I don't see it as a problem. I don't see it as a problem. I, I do, I, I very occasionally feel the itch to play something different. But it's not because I want to get away from WoW. It's because I see something and go, ooh. A lot of it, it happens roughly once a month when the Humble Monthly games arrive. And I'm like, I want to play that one, but I don't have time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a it's an interesting, it's a it's an interesting thing. Uh, not dropping the item at the end. Yeah, that sucks. Um, go find those posts on the forums and start adding them to them again to let them know that they're st it's still broken. That's for sure. Like, do the thing. Remind them. Especially if you're adding to a post that is from last round, like four months ago when it was broken, pushing it back up again uh, lets them know that whatever they did didn't work. Uh, if they did anything, it didn't work. Um, and it gives them that full, that, the more full history. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Seeker. I am indeed a humble affiliate. Um, but yeah, like occasionally there'll be like a, a pack of games, like when they had the Jurassic World pack bundle as well. And I was like, but I just, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Definitely not. It was perfect. Flawless dupe. Flawless. Oh my god, we're banging through this. We're at Warrior. We've only got three classes to go after Warrior. Anyone new to stream, Humble don't just do games. I bought a bundle of AWS classes recently that are heaps of things. Oh yeah, far out. They do comic bundles, they do D&D bundles, they do Pathfinder, but like, so like any of those kind of tabletop gaming books, they do bundles for those. Um, they do software bundles, uh, like the classes and stuff was a bundle, uh, a class does a software bundle, but um, they also do like, if you're a game dev, 
like a, like if you're learning game dev or you're doing it solo or even if you have like a, a handful of you doing it they do game dev software and sound packs and gra- like uh image packs and all this kind of stuff that are like free to use in your game dev um they do uh video editing photo editing music editing for like professionals those kind of bundles um i recently bought a book of cosplay books uh in a bundle because i'm working on a cosplay I've never used EVA foam before and I'm going to attempt it and it's going to be terrible, but hey, first attempts. Um, like, they they do so much stuff. And if, um, like, it, it'd be worth creating an account, but I also post in the affiliate specials channel of the Discord. I get an email every time a new bundle's released. Um, sometimes I'm a few days late on it. Uh, because I don't check my emails. I used to check my emails every single day, but I'm just, I'm falling so far behind on everything that I'm kind of dropping it down to kind of every couple of days. Um, except like I get notifications on my phone. So if something important comes through, I obviously action it, but, um, yeah. And then, uh, I post what the bundle is roughly in that affiliate specials channel. And I also, uh, link my affiliate link. So the way that the way um Humble works with the affiliate program, if you buy anything from the store, excuse me, uh that is a set price, I get 5% of your purchase price if you've used my affiliate link. If you purchase uh if you sign up for Humble Monthly on not the lowest tier, but I think the next two tiers up or maybe only the top, I can't remember exactly. Uh, the, the higher paid tiers, I get a $10 US dollar, like 10 US dollar bonus for signing you on if you use my affiliate link and then nothing for the rest of forever, just, just a signing bonus. Uh, and if you use my link for a bundle, the bundles are quite special in that they do uh, Defender. So I have one I've of those. <gasps> Oh, thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. So generous of you. Hope you're having an awesome day. Um, the bundles have sliders. There's a humble slider, there's a charity slider, and there's a game dev or like a publisher slider. Using my affiliate link for the bundles adds a Fiamma slider. So you can adjust what I get versus the charity versus everything. So you can you can adjust that however you so desire. Even if you slide me all the way down to zero, I have a stat in my dashboard that shows what the charity is at. Even if I'm at zero, it still shows how much we as a community have don- donated to charity, which I think is cool. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's how Humble works. Because a lot of affiliate programs is like, use my code, get this much. But Humble's a little bit wonky because they have so many very different offerings. So I thought I would explain. Thought I would explain. Um, Amazon Web Services, cool. Cloud stuff, yeah, whoosh, that's fine. Hey, if it works for you, that's what matters because you're the one who got the bundle. So, <laughs> hello, Infinite. Hello, followed. fantastic to go out, watch your show. Not a worry, nice to meet you too, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Morning, I am um, doing quite well. Not super comfortable with being called goddess though, but, um. Thank you for the sentiment. Uh, <laughs> hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, I just woke up an hour ago. Brenda's not engaged yet. Totally fair. Totally fair. Uh, please don't slide fear to zero or try to divide. Yeah, do not divide by do not divide fear by zero. Stream will not go so well if we try doing. It. Maybe that's why I had those issues with the stream on Friday. I wonder if Jas maybe accidentally div- divided by zero somewhere. <laughs> all good tour. All good. It's um yeah. Look, there's. Occasionally, it's kind of difficult to tell, especially like over over text and stuff when there's not like, it can just, it can make, it can be super uncomfortable um, being like over the top flattering and, and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like, what do you want from me? <laughs> especially as a, a female presenting person on the internet, it can, yeah, I, I mean no offense by it, but it, yeah. That's all. I very much appreciate the understanding. Um, the number of times I have asked people to not use words like that and they have uh, exploded at me with all sorts of lovely sentiments and 
expletives uh, has been too darn high. So I very much appreciate you uh, taking it on board. Thank you. Uh, you can imagine I see who the charity work. Talk, talk soon, of course. Talk soon. No, just why you're trying to divide people with your eye. Oh, I know. Like, why would he do that? It's like he doesn't like me or something. Let's wait for him to hear what we're talking about. Um. Divided by zero, answer 42, yeah? <laughs> Sometimes it comes across as true. It, it can. It definitely, yeah, it can. Remember, thank you, Tor. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, see, also telling people to smile. Yeah, look. Look, we, uh... <sighs> Life is fun. Life is fun. Look, the vast majority of my encounters with people, with other humans, the vast majority have been positive or neutral. Mostly positive though. It's just occasionally stuff happens and it's, um, yeah. And unfortunately those negative interactions can also color future potentially positive interactions. It, it sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, battle, good, thank you for changing the topic. Good job, yay, well we win. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, toxicness is a part of life. We just need to surround ourselves with positive, uh, bleh, positive people. Absolutely, fourth. Uh, it's a uh, the whole um, like being able to curate your social media feeds and, and unfollow people. You don't, like all that kind of stuff. It, it is true that we will encounter negativity in life, and that it is a great skill to develop to be able to to deal with that and to like not internalize it in a way that hurts us. Kind of you know deal with it and hold it externally and and that kind of yeah. Uh, and surrounding yourself with positive people is I absolutely a good thing. Tussie, oh my goodness, with the resub, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Hope you've been enjoying your time with us. Uh, Krazy, Silver, Meaty, Absolute, Pudding, Mick, Zam, and Izzy, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Good job. Note though that there is a difference between surrounding yourself with positive people and surrounding yourself with yes people, like people who will always just tell you yes no matter what and will agree with you. Like obviously, like sometimes it is good to have your viewpoints challenged in order to broaden your perspective and all that kind of thing. It's it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, people who can do it in a positive, respectful way is very important. Why am I not getting any system tanking? I am not happy with this. Why? I'm just gonna keep placing this freaking paladin then um uh it does suck so time to change the subject far too much shredded cheese in the fridge uh, is there such thing is there su what are you complaining about just <laughs> stop it is there such a thing as too much shredded cheese i understand that i've been through a lot of that kind of mindset too and I'm totally uh... positive to it, yeah it really can hate or and it, it sucks Especially when you know that the person you're now interacting with, you know that's a positive connection, and yet you can't, like, separate that negative. Yeah, it mm, really sucks. Really sucks. Hey, Botanic. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a brilliant day. Do you know any add-ons that help navigating through old content and areas for mounts, transmog, etc.? Yes. What do <laughs> I do? I would like to help you with this. I would like some more information if possible. So obviously mounts, transmogs, all that kind of thing, sure. What exactly do you mean by navigating? Do you mean something that literally has an arrow that tells you where to go, like this one? Or do you mean something that gives you a, wait for it, list of things to get so that you can pinpoint something you're missing and then go and find how to get it yourself? Which kind of, where are we leaning? Too much need right context. Now. Did you divide me by zero last Friday and that's why stream crashed? Why would I do that? Because apparently you don't like me very much. Also, that's dripping like everywhere. Oh shit. No, 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 it's, it's fine. It's okay. No, no, no. I just wipe with tissue. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't bring you food. Yeah, that's fair. So, so there you go. Just did not divide fear by zero. Well, Thank so you, you forgot a meat when you were playing. Guess what's for dinner? Pork. Yeah, but we were talking about chicken before, that's why I th Cause you were holding the dripping plate, so your hands are dripping. It's fine. 
Jas has perpetually damp hands. This is Jas, by the way, for anyone who's... Damp hands. Oh, she's got a knife. Good thing it's blown. Damp hands. Oh, that's a little bit fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for dinner, Jas. Looks and smells amazing. Mmm. Mmm. I go on and do some cheese in a fry pan. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. I like the sound of that. See you go. Just fry up a whole bunch of cheese. I think they're lurkers. That's okay, Dazzy. Look, lurkers, lurkers are everything. Mmm. Nom indeed. We love our lurkers here. Uh, toxic positivity is just as dangerous. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Funnily enough, toxicity is toxic. <laughs> Um, your best guess in the pack, someone open pack. Wow, okay, that is a fair bit, but I still don't think that's too much. I think it's, like, enough. You do need to, like, eat it before it goes bad, though. And I can see why that would be potentially problematic. So what am I looking for? Defender, which I didn't get. That's okay. Uh, I mean, it also freezes. Yeah, cheese does freeze really well. There's a cheese, good point, might do that. Yes, I think it's a good idea. Go to cheese packs, just anti-caking, be able to frozen let out in bits, limit it to the why you're nice to me. What do you want from me? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and usually on the internet, most of the time the answer to that is nudes. And the answer is no. So yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> Jas and wet plates, correct. Last me a fortnight or so. I I yeah, look, I like cheese. I like cheese. More knowing which blip to catch to where, which portal to go through, etc. Maybe the arrow one. Yeah, that's... I, I think you're right there. I think that the one that you're looking for is the arrow one. I use Zygor. Um, Zygor is super, super helpful with figuring out how to get where either comfort-wise, as in, like, you can stick yourself on something and walk away, or speed-wise, like, you have to be active, but it gets you there super quick. Um, the only... Okay, that's Defender, so we need to get to, we need to go to Keldenas. The um, only issues, there are two issues that I would say with Zygor. Uh, firstly, is they do have a free version, but it has limited guides in it, and it doesn't have a lot of collectibles guides in it, in the free version. So you'd have to pay extra for the guides to insert into the, the free add-on. Um, the, those extra guides do come from Zygor, so that's all, that, that's ice cubes you can hear, by the way. It's all good. Um, the other option, the other thing is that, um, though Zygor does have a ton of, like, um, pet and mount, like, drop, like, tons and tons and tons of guides on a lot of different mounts, it doesn't have all of them. It also doesn't have transmog guides but it does have dungeon for so for example here i've got this is the gruel's lair guide that i've got active at the moment and that helped me navigate to gruel's lair i don't need help doing it i overpower i'm massively over leveled but it helped me navigate to get there using witch portals and stuff like that um but it doesn't have everything it doesn't have every mount and every pet it does have every dungeon and raid but not every mountain pet and stuff like that so those are the only two drawbacks that i would put there is that you'd have to pay for all of the, the guides, um, to, to get the extra guides, um, and it doesn't have quite everything, but I've been using it for over a decade. I'm an affiliate, uh, which means that, well, I have a refer a friend link, which means that if you use it and you end up paying for it, that I get a dollar off my sub every month. It is a subscription service. Um, but that is genuinely, like, I would not recommend spending money if I did not 100% believe in the product ever. Like, it's just, it's, it's how I operate. I'm never going to try to sell something to you guys that I don't believe in myself. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Hopefully that helps. Hmm. Someone on the internet said it, Jess, so it must be true. That's a bold faced lie. <laughs> What's for dinner is pork and um, salad. Greens. With tea. Strawberry. No. Yes. Strawberry milk tea. Delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm. 
She's just in the game. She chat. Mm, look at him, everything. Mm, toxicity is toxic. I know, right? Who to thunk it? Who to thunk it? All right. Best cheese recipes. When I was younger, when I was younger, I used to make a quadruple decker sandwich that literally had bread, cheese, lemon pepper, bread, cheese, lemon pepper, bread, etc. As high as you wanted it. Um, and then you'd microwave it. You couldn't pick it up because the bread would go all soggy and it'd burn you and all this. You had to eat it with a knife and fork. But by golly, it was delicious. The creaminess and the, the like the, the oiliness of the cheese and then the lemon, like the sour and the, the kick of the lemon pepper. Perfection. Disgusting, but perfection. Yeah, dupe. Welcome into chat, Akka. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Oh, mount it again. Only do you have an EU account? I can join the guild. This auto join spam getting is a bit much. Um, you can turn off guild invites in your settings somewhere. It gets in so under the social tab, maybe. Um, you can block incoming guild invites. Super easy. Uh, I cannot afford to pay for a second account, um, so I can't afford to get an EU account. Um, Jesus life, I appear to be lactose intolerant. Oh my God, I die with a cheesy grin on my face. Brilliant. Please take care of yourself though, please. Tablets, tablets help with lactose intolerance. I recommend you look into them. State your business. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the Gladiator's Plate Legards. These ones. Keep your wits about Excuse you. me. And off we hop. No squids, she suggested, suggested lactate. Use cycle 2, 95% useful. The glitches though, it doesn't notice you completed a task during Zandalar. Pathfinder list just now. Ah, right. Um, their forums are super interactive. Like the, the people, the actual developers, if you post, if you post with enough information, like you say, this is the exact name with no typos of the guide. This is the character I'm playing, race, class, level, all that kind of stuff. And then you say step number this thing when i do this it should complete it doesn't like if you actually do proper qa like proper problem like step by step thingy they fix it so goddamn quick unless it's actually a bug with the api in which case they can't do a whole lot but they're they're really responsive they'll let you know and or ask questions if they need it that kind of stuff you're so welcome botanic not a problem at all glad i could help <clears throat> Um, mature cheese causes less problems due to no lactose. I tried lactose and lacto free. No jazz sounds emote. I do you know from Patient Blizzard Client Show Life. I know. How awesome is it, me? How awesome is it? I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity. It's been so good. We've met so many new friends. It's just been super wonderful. Super wonderful. To each other. Never tried them. Let me get them here. Mm. Choose on the difference understood people who random invite to guilds. Um, so there is a reason for it now. Um, there are certain tasks that if they are completed by somebody in a guild, it puts gold in the guild bank. Yep. Mm-hmm. Anything we buy it. Mm-hmm. cheese came home with me someone from hr asked me to sign up for the company for 1k i don't think i can run that far <laughs> oh dear posture check why do i need a posture check i'm fine look at all those emotes so pretty <laughs> Seeker. Them hydrates though. So many cutes. So many cutes.
<laughs> oh, um. <clears throat> Did I update? It was Velithis, wasn't it? Who dinged? Amazing. Uh, do you have any recommendations on banging out garrison resources? I've been trying to get my HM Tor and Transmog up. Need the war mill for it. Um, garrison resources, there are a couple of rares you can kill in Tanan and in Nagrand that drop them, but beyond that, nah, you just gotta wait. Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. Such cute emotes. Yeah, buyers only age 20 grand each. Screw that. Yeah. Yep, yep. And that's why, because they're like, it's not something that you can farm up. You can't farm up that item. Um, It only comes by every so often or whatever it is, but yeah. That's why it's so expensive, because there's not many of them. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's like six or seven rares, and uh, and then the box you just gotta wait for. Every three days, you'll get 500 out of the box. Roughly. Just one per. Um, yeah, the the garrison, um, the resources container. It accrues. It's like the natural way to get garrison resources. Um, you've got to quest up to a certain point to unlock it, and then yeah, it just accrues over time. And every th roughly every three days, you'll get about five hundred out of it. Caps out it. <laughs> yep, passively builds up. Yep, that's the one. That's it. Um, at Exalted Arakoa rep, I think it is. You can buy an item that ups the cap on that from 500 to 1,000, but it doesn't increase the rate at which it accrues. It just means you can check it every six days instead of three. Um, and the rares are once a day, as with most rares in the game. Pop of shoes on the bread. Mm, wonderful. Where's been slapping me? Mm. Yeah. Um, you want to be overleveled a bit, honestly. If you're trying to do anything garrison related, you want to be around level 50 ish. <clears throat> Heirlooms work in terms of gear, though. Hmm, battle plans, yeah, sure. Sorry, yeah, of course you can. <clears throat> Andre, self heal is awful. If you're like level 50, you should only need to like bonk them once or twice and they'll fall over. Um, and getting from like 40 to 50 is not a big deal at all. Like at all. Super, super quick. Ah! <clears throat> oh, I got defender shoulders. Fantastic. We're gonna go back to Ireland.
bugger. I didn't get the, uh, I think it's a shield. Yeah, it's a shield. Although I do still have paladins on the list. So maybe the pally can get the shield. Or sh shaman can use shields as well, right? Mm, maybe leveling new teams just spam cataclysm dungeons. This is quite quick. Fair enough. Fair enough. I prefer leveling via questing. Just that's just a personal preference. There's no like nothing's better or worse than another, unless you really hate doing a particular task, of course. But um, yeah, I just I love being able to just zone out and do my own thing and bam bang bang get the levels. Hmm. Hmm. Shaman's can you shield. Perfect. I still got eight more chances of that shield then. I'm just gonna lay it down for whatever. Fair. Fair, yeah. I'm um I'm a big fan of uh like solo leveling is my jam because I can't hold anyone back. They can't hold me back. I can I I don't have to wait for people to be online or wait for a group to form up or I can just go and do it. Um, but I'm quite, like, that's just kind of me in general. I'm quite an independent person. Uh, I tend to shy away from stuff that needs other people to complete. Uh, unless, you know, I have a group of people and we're like, let's do something together. How about that? Then that's kind of a bit different. But yeah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> big fan of solo stuff. I, I play even, like, I play WoW mostly as a as a single player game. Uh, mostly. Not always, but, uh, yeah. It's amazing how many different ways there are to play this game. Like, there genuinely is something for almost everyone. It's beautiful. Glory to the sky. Okay. So I'm looking for the shoulders, plate shoulders. Thank ya. <clears throat> Do that so that it can't be refunded. There we go, just the shield to go, but I have no more warriors. So we're gonna jump on to the paladins. There was a room, there was rumor in the inn. The time will change for everyone. Gamers made a challenge to universe, so the universe made challenge for gamers. I don't know what that means. I'm so confused just slapping these dresses. I haven't leveled yesterday. They were killing me a lot. Wow, what even is your scaling? A group of kids who leveled to 70 by killing boars. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Um, What level are you, Ni? Nee? Forty-five. Are you in chromie time? <clears throat> South Park intensifies, yeah. I believe so, it might have been it though, it might have been in Kata. If you're in Chromie time, they will knock you around, and then at the moment you are out of Chromie time, you'll be fine. Because of where Wad sits. Wad sits at about level 40, I think it is. So Wad rares at 45 will be nothing. But if you're in Chromie time, they'll scale up to you. So they'll bash you around. Another new thing learned. Yes. I'm good for that. The whole teacher eatering thing. Here's the game is no longer must be inside the virtual reality, which is obviously growing into another infinity. Um, yeah, that still doesn't make any sense, Gronig. Is this supposed to be, like, is this the plot of a game or something? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, just finished the gym quest. Does mean streamer allow me to continue? <laughs> you may. <laughs> you may, meaty. Good lord. Learning less and less as I go. Becoming big brain IQ 69 argument. In order to learn one new thing, must remember, must forget five old things. I swear to God, that's what my brain feels like sometimes. Let it restart on a different tune. Oof, matey. Uh, you mentioned you were doing it on a tune that had already done girls.
Jokes on you, brain. I write things down. I put things in spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a thing. <clears throat> oh wow! Of course. Okay, it's because paladin. Three different classes, so three different sets of everything. Oh, yeah. Done well. Good lord. Ah, neck. Tier one sub. Twenty months. Thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're having an awesome day. So it was either wait till tomorrow or did it another tune? Nah, impatience. Do it now. Change tune. Yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly with that, uh, with that meaty. That's what I would have done. People in San Bano Code, this you do not. First joke, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, meaty. I love that. Fantastic. <laughs> Wednesday doesn't exist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. throat. Oh, that sucks, Nick. Do not have honey straight from the bottle. Um, would be my advice to you. <laughs> I hope you feel better soon. I hope you feel better soon. Using the exact drops. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, good stuff. Fix is awesome. So many years of sinus assistance. <clears throat> Look, I'm not going to be finishing off gruels completely today, but goddamn, we're close. We're so close. Probably about, what, what are we at? Almost half the classes are finished. How do you rest your body hands? Is it paracetamol? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Oh, excuse me. for the resub tier one 16 months amazing welcome back i hope you're doing really well oh we got two minutes 20 to trigger a hype train fun times hope you're having a lovely day and don't take medical advice from the interwebs yeah look that also that also oh my god dang that's hilarious all right so this is the palaladin she is now 51 <clears throat> That's really, really funny. Uh, Rose and I are frustrated. She broke the big way we have to fade. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Your name back. Fucker. Ah, brilliant! Fantastic! Anybody ready for a choo choo? I mean, if you've got a resub button sitting there, then by all means. We've got like, what, a minute 30 left to trigger a hype train? Get those adorable little emotes. And do the thing, indeed. Indeed. I do not got an OnlyFans. Do you, Diz? I hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome to chat. Hey, Welsh, welcome back. How are you today? You'd pay? You'd pay for what though? I don't have anything that like, I, I like all the tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff that people ask me about on stream, I just kind of give for free. It'd feel weird to take that away and make people pay for it. Which King Cosway, oh good lord, I do not have the skills for that, let me tell you. I am, I'm working on like my first ever EVA cosplay thing. I haven't even gotten to the point where I bought the goddamn foam yet. I'm still working with the paper templates trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. But like, look, I'm gonna try and it will be terrible, but I will have done it. 
And that's what matters. That's what matters. Only fans you uploaded pictures of fans I would subscribe. I'd bet like... I'd just have to like Google them. I only have like... I've got a ceiling fan and I have a pedestal fan, but that's it. Like I'd have to randomly find unrelated pictures of fans. I don't know. Hey, John does. Fantastic. Is Lich King going? Uh, not a Lich King cosplay. Definitely, that's entirely way too much effort for me at the moment. This is a very, very, like, the one I'm working on is, like, super basic bitch. Very, like, no, no overlapping plate bits of armor or anything like that. It's going to be super basic, but look, got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. I'm not helping, am I? You are not. What are we? Oh, I got the shield. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay. Uh, that's the button I need for that. Okay. Good. Okay. So what did I need? Uh, champion. I have a good, so I can do that. Defender. Champion. Okay. So we got to go to aisle. And then I didn't get any legs, but I got the shield, so that's fine. So we're gonna go to Keldenas. Yes. Okay. This one. The Alliance of Lodrace. Welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um. There we go. Vernier for a thing get. Yes, two thing gets. About to get a third. About to get the third, it's gonna be awesome. Ooh, battle. Long times. In before, I know it. Every time. But that's fine. <clears throat> One rare drop, 71 garrison resources, that's my warmer belt. Now never touch garrisons again! Fantastic, mate. Well done. I'm glad it helped. That's really good. Oh, excuse me. Oh, is it a free-for-all? I can do that. Hello! Hello, Rel! Welcome back, how are you? Uh, Krazzy, Dono, Dino, Draz, Fade, Mick, and Silver, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Good job. Good job. Let's go this way. Hmm. I finally got assists from tanking. Okay. We're not going to rules, we're going to uh Kavanaugh. This way. <clears throat> and grants on the smoker, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. What business have you? Lamella shoulders. Amazing. Run. Where did they go? There. All right. Done. Uh, next one. That's only the first paladin. I've only got two legs to get, and I'm done. We're doing well. We're getting, we're going good. Got two skins? Ah, oh, well done, Zam. Nice work. Sitting by my letterbox waiting for the invite. Amazing. Good. The class, oh, level next. Pick a number. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Those are two numbers. Seven. 
seven. I want an invite to the first few attempts. <laughs> uh, look, different sets of taste buds provide different sets of feedback. You've chosen Brewmaster Monk. Good! I am pleased with my decision. You may continue. Not that I had any say in it to begin with. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh man, why am I so tired? It's only the point where my head's hurting. Like, good lord, what is what? What? <sighs> Leo Castle is too much choice for me. I just like go down the list. We're fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Burn is a highly sought after in America, even if you burn it, probs a win. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. What do we have in here? Good. Grills. And et to two. Not classic. Grills. This is so exciting. Not perfect, the previous ones were, yep. Yeah. That's, yep. Yeah. For your management, mattress protection sheets on, took 20 minutes, ran out of energy, sitting on bed for rest. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know what is going on with me lately. I'm, I've just got no, no energy. I think it's just like the stress of the last month and everything's just sort of catching up with me. And I don't, I don't have time to, to rest and let it be. I like, you know, the stress of the last month has been trying to make this decision about work. And now that the decision's made, now I have to fulfill my decision, which is going to take even more energy. So it, yeah, look, it's a time. It's a time. It's a time. <clears throat> Perfect is how you enjoy it. Absolutely. Three days last week. Get well soon. Thanks, Kel. Yeah, it's a bit kind of... I miss playing where I have a lot of study. That's fair, Brute. I mean, look, study now so you got more time to play well later. Like, if you if you study well and, and knuckle down and get it done, you won't have to repeat it. So you'll get to play more WoW again sooner. I feel like I think it's something we can remember in everyday life. Metro State is finished. It's like the final boss of the day. Yep. Oh yes, I snorted. <laughs> well done, Zika. Good job. Good job. All right, I'm gonna take just a quick step away from the keyboard, uh, but I will be back in a short line. Run away, little girl. Run away.
Yeah, pretend. Did that. We did that. We did that. And we do this. Whoa. It was a raid. Everybody raid now. <laughs> Yeah, the Duna and Pillows. Ah, uh, no. No. I could never do that stuff at night. I'd have to, like, strip the bed, put stuff in the wash, put clean ones back on that I've already washed, like, a while back. Like, yeah, no. I, I cannot wait until the evening to put that stuff on. It just won't happen. It won't happen. Ah, well done, Krazy and Rel. Look at you go. I'd very much like Gruul to give me leg tokens. Double token would be awesome. Double champion token. I mean, I'd like that a lot. I just left everything today, but Let I don't want to. With my oh, no. Go cash and well stretch no. effort. Yeah. I can imagine, but I mean, like... If you don't do that today, chances are you'd have to do it another day and it's kind of like, eh. Might as well get it done. So most of the day is usually done Saturday morning. I was out with mum. Fair. Fair enough. It's not very nice of you, Sam, to keep telling me no like that. <clears throat> Hopefully R and Jesus will have something different and better to say. I guess we didn't have a video get the work. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can really comment on that, to be honest. Okay, you there. Uh, right, Rel, praying to Iron Jesus. Well, what I need comes from Gruul, so this first boss will just give me whatever, and that's fine. Do a stretch. Oh. Neck has been really sore lately. Just everything's falling apart. <laughs> the squeeze. It got squeezed to do. I mean, I definitely can. I can definitely do that. Uh, did that display as text or the emote? The emote is an Iron Jesus with glasses on. So if that was what your intent was, then it shows. Uh, you know, any add ons that add treasure chests and rest? The map handy notes. Uh, good night, Gita. Okay. Ah, uh, that's it. You're very welcome. Mm, this is a text for Peladon. I don't know. Yes. I, I chop and change them sometimes if I need certain things or stuff, but uh, I never remember what I actually leave them as, because I'm good at that. <sighs> very, very good at that. Alrighty. To the next Paladin. Oh, yep, okay, I can do that. Junk. There you go. Enjoy. Ooh, 
Oh. Maurice's Prickly Pally Horde side. Well, they're working on it. Um, they're like they are. They've specifically said that they're working on removing as many of those ba uh, barriers as possible. Uh, in Dragonflight, priests, mages, and rogues are going to be available in every class, um, every race. Sorry, available in every race. But there are some classes that require more work than others. So obviously, priest, mage, and rogue are really easy. They don't have you know race specific bits and pieces, but a, a paladin. They're going to need, like, Divine Steed needs to be race aligned on every single race. So that's going to take him a little bit of work to just figure that out. Um, and Druids are going to need all of the forms specialized to every race. And so there's, there are some like that where it's kind of a bit stickier than others to sort of figure it out. But they have said that that's what they're working towards. Um, yeah. Um, Christ and Druid, currently Alexander Larry Belf and Torin. Um, uh, it's been very late for you. It's 11.41 here in the UK. Uh, 8.42pm. In Brisbane. 2.41. Jack the Druid. Like, in its animal forms. Uh, no. It won't. Drakthir are evokers. Evokers are Drakthir. Um, they did not mention the Drakthir or the evokers being more widespread. No, yeah. Drakthir are evokers and evokers are Drakthir. It's a class-race combo that's locked to that. And they said that in the announcement. Uh, alright. Grew. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, there is no flexibility there. People saying a lot of things. How you track what isn't and what isn't isn't. Um, see, I have no idea how much people are saying because I haven't read any of it. Because the only things that actually matter are what comes out of bl blue posts and Blizzard folks' mouths. Everyone else's miscommunications and, and misunderstandings and none of that matters. It, that's, yeah. <laughs> the only information I've received are the launch thing, like the full on, like the whole chatty chatty stuff, all that. Um, and then any interviews that have been shared via Wowhead, that's it. I haven't looked at anything else. Because it will be rife with errors, miscommunications, misunderstandings, all that kind of crap. It's just not worth it. Waste of time. Um, that was from Blizzard, yeah. This was, not not only was it an announcement from Blizzard, it was in the expansion announcement. That, that whole one hour thing that they did at 3am my time, that is when they said that Drakthir are evokers and evokers are Drakthir. Monkskin, yay Draz, well done! Fantastic news. But yeah, there's a, uh, you are right that there is a lot of info out there, uh, and uh, yeah, unless it's coming from a blue poster, it's speculation or just straight up wrong. Um, best way to wade through that crap is to not go anywhere near it <laughs> and just just get it straight from Liz. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. I think I have plant life stuck in my teeth. Hmm, <clears throat> you be adding notes yourself manually, encryption curse forge. Nope. No, they they do. The handy notes is handy notes does exactly what I told you it does. All of those little markers, the blue skulls and the grey chests, that's handy notes. You hover over it, tells you what's in it, what you need, what it can drop. That's handy notes. Did you think I did that myself? Hell no. I don't have time for any of that shit. Make sure you're getting the right expansions. There's a lot of handy notes lists, uh, like a lot of handy notes add-ons. Um, because they're so fucking big because of all the data. 
you go in and you download the specific um, expansions you need or patches. Sometimes it's broken down into patches. <clears throat> um, I can be the nice because refuse to sleep. Oh no! Oh no! Hey CTK, welcome on in. A bunch of plugins behind us as well. Yep. Yeah. Download the individual ones. Yes. Um, it's just fucking trees. Ah, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're making time for no faulty carrot. Correct. Hey, Shadow Cat, welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Oh my god, I swear to god, I've spent two quarters, two quarters? Two thirds of this stream flying to Gruul's Lair. It's fine. It's fine. After and Gruul, Xmog, and achieve something else. Ah, uh, all the transmog, Jericho. All of the transmog across all 12 classes. Everything that drops. Every last piece. Uh, why am I seeing you on Battle.net homepage? Uh, well, hello, first of all. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day, Toaster. Um, uh, Blizzard, a while back, like over a year ago, uh, asked if I would like to be on there, if I'd like to be featured. And so on and off over that time... <laughs> Thanks, Apathy. Um, over that time, on and off, I've been featured there. Um, one of the big things is that we've got a really positive community. Uh, another thing is that I'm super, super consistent. Uh, like, I go live at the same time, same days each week. Like, my schedule's set well in advance. Like, I plan a month of streams at a time rather than, like, day to day or week to week. Um, so they know when I'm going to be live, so they, it makes it easier for them to program things. And uh, our working relationship has been really great over the just over a year I've been working with them. So uh, I guess they're happy to keep featuring me. Um, I also showcase a bit of a different side to WoW than a lot of WoW streamers do. There are there are a lot of stream and nothing wrong with this, of course. Like, God, play what you want and play how you want. Um, but there are a lot of streamers who do keys or, or raid or that kind of like high end end game high skill level content, uh, whereas my streams are far more chill and kind of more beginner friendly. They're not, um, like, like anyone can start up a character and do what I do. It doesn't require a ton Stay of skill. A and listen. Um, so yeah, I guess they liked having someone there who could showcase that side of it as well. Um, but I, that's all speculation on my part. I haven't been told any of that directly. It's just kind of what I've pieced together from um, conversations I've had. Yeah. I hope that helps. Oh dear, you don't need to do as well. Yeah. Have been for months now. It's been a while. Hmm. Oh, mm. More machine to fast travel there. Ah oh dear. None. Not a single token of any kind. That's okay. Oh, excuse me. Uh, you're very welcome, Toaster. Not a worry at all. Not a worry at all. Alright, next tune. I do believe this- yep, it is. My last Paladin. You're doing different from 925. No. Why would I? <laughs> nope. Uh, apathy, it's still spelt like Paladin. Start ally or hold alts. Oh, Jericho, my account is full. I have 50 characters. I, I cannot create an alt. Um, <laughs> exclusive class perks. Yeah, no, I, I have a full account. Yeah. Yeah, just clicked. Yeah. <laughs> I think I should cover it. I am indeed. I am indeed. Alrighty. Off we go.
Menü. Die T. Are you spelling that funny, Dibster, to try to get around any... Th like, have you encountered streamers who have the word shout out banned so you're trying to spell it that way to get around filters? Because that's a really shitty thing to do. So, no, what you can have instead is a timeout because trying to promote yourself on other streams is really frowned upon on in Twitch. Like, in the community, it's very much a shit thing to do so like don't don't do that um that's kind of gross um yeah uh they mentioned raising the 50 limit new expansion will have a new race uh no they haven't and they've also introduced new classes and new races every couple of expansions for the entire 17 and a half years that the game has existed and they've never upped the 50 never They've upped, they had a limit on how many tunes you could have per server. They upped that, upped it again, and then got rid of it completely. But they have never changed the character cap per account. And I don't think that they would, considering how many accounts there are and how much data storage it would take to guarantee that every single one of those accounts could have an extra 10 tunes. I know that not everyone would use them, but that's not how business works. You have to make sure they can if they want to, and that's a crap load of data. So I I don't see them doing it. If they haven't done it for the last 17 and a half years, why would they do it now? Yeah, nah, I don't think so. Uh, an accent only for one word. Um, it's like going to someone's shop, giving out flowers or pamphlets through your own shop. Yeah, exactly. Or um, the one thing, like when I started streaming, the the one that went around that I quite liked was like going into a house party and being like, hey guys, I'm having a party next door. You should all come to my party next door. And it's like, no, we're here. We're here for a reason. Like, it's just it's just a really gross way to, and like, especially given how like incestuous the Twitch community is, like, Everyone is, everyone interacts with everyone in, like, word travels fast. Word travels really fast. And if people know that you're the kind of person, like, if people know you're trying to grow by st stealing other people's viewers, they're not going to want to interact with you. They're not going to want to raid you, host you, share stuff with you. They're not going to want to help you in any way, shape, or form. And that's a really quick way to get yourself, like, nowhere. <laughs> like, oh boy. You just just don't don't do it. There are so many better if you are a if you are a streamer who is starting out and you are looking to grow, don't be gross, don't be a dick, don't be an asshole, right? Project the kind of vibe you want for your community. If you want to have salty ass mofos and nothing but in your community, then be a salty ass mofo. If you want to have a community that chats a lot, that is super welcoming and really nice to each other, you're going to have to do that. Like that is that vibe attracts your tribe. Step one. Uh, the next thing you can do is that there are a lot of things like stream teams out there. Team OCE is a particular one. Like that's one I helped found that. I'm not uh, in the leadership team anymore, but I'm still a part of the team. Uh, and they they do have an entrance requirement but they have a discord that's open to literally anybody including people who want to eventually become part of the team you can make friends with people who are on the team if they know that you're a streamer and you can interact with them and you make a connection with them a friendship a college like be colleagues with them don't ask them for handouts good lord um, but if you make that kind of connection with them you build a rapport with them you fucking network <laughs> then there is a good chance that if they like your vibe and they like your content, then they will start to rage you. Other members of the team might rage you. You might get to the point where you do meet the requirements to join the team and then it's all everyone raiding each other and just sharing sharing communities and, and growing as a team. That's the kind of thing you want to do. I never, not once, have I ever requested anybody to raid me, host me, tweet about me, shout me out, nothing. Not once, ever. People have done this for me and it has been entirely because they wanted to, because they enjoyed our companionship, our, our rapport, our whatever it happened to be. And I've been doing this 
for just over six years now, I would consider myself to be a pretty successful streamer. You do not ask for fucking shoutouts. It's just gross. Just don't do it. Also, it won't work. Because if the person shouting you out has exactly zero idea who you are, what you do, how you do it, all that kind of... It's not going to mean anything. It's not going to mean anything to their viewers. Nothing. Like... Anyway. Yeah, at least be known in said stream. Ex yeah. Build that rapport and say, hey man, can you help a brother out? Help a sister out? Help a, help a sibling out? Like, seriously. Like, Good lord. Coming in as the first and and spelling it strange to make sure you get around any filters I might have. Oh hell no. Hell no. Nah. Get out of here with that shit. Put it in energy works. Many people switch their paycheck. Don't mess with that. Oh absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. Alright, that is the final paladin. I did get the last tier, but that's okay. Uh, like if you're not in says stream, you likely won't even need to ask. Correct. Absolutely. But still, they have a reason unless they are trolls. The reason they're asking Koenig is because potentially, what I'm assuming is that they're a new streamer and they're trying to get views and they go, oh, she's got lots of views. If she tells her viewers to go watch me, then I'll get lots of views too. That's the purpose. That's that's the reason. It's just a really shitty reason. It's a bad reason. It doesn't work like that. Exactly, yeah. Asking, get, yeah. Shows everyone chat they are a streamer even if they don't get the shout out. Exactly. Uh, might I recommend that none of you go and watch and have a look at them because uh, you don't want to encourage that behavior. This, the moment it works, they'll keep doing it. Um, uh, God, it's so um, how would you build an audience? Uh, the way I've been explaining for the last 10 minutes, Emily, uh, genuinely, welcome on in. Hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, like, stream, obviously, consistency matters. Like, it, it genuinely matters. If you're live at the same time, on the same days each week, like, my viewers know if they rock up here at 4 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, I'll be here most of the time. I'm taking Wednesday off. That's a separate. They know that is when I start. That is when they'll be here. And I have people who sit in chat waiting for me to go live 15, 20 minutes before I'm due to start because they know I'm, there. I'm, I'm about to start. That's like step one. It's like a TV show. If you know it's going to be airing, you'll turn on the TV. Um, if you are the, if you're in a kind of job where you don't have that kind of like consistency and you have to be super flexible, you can make it work. It's just a fuckload more work, like a lot more work. Um, the other thing I said, the, the other thing that I said was networking, um, finding other streamers and connecting with them and building rapport with them, friendships, big colleagues, all that kind of stuff. And joining a community and becoming a part of that community and like having those kind of conversations about this kind of, you know, but any advice for, for beginning streamers and stuff like that. Um, you can, you can help kind of, that's how you start to sort of grow. But like the, the big way is if you're, if you, if you build that kind of rapport with someone who's also a streamer and you're live when they're finishing up, they can raid. If you're there live when you're finishing up, you can raid them and it just kind of goes back and forth, round in circles and everyone grows together. Like it's it's just that the bigger network you have, the more likely you are to get those kind of raids and the the more, you know, the, all that does is introduce somebody to your stream, you've got to hold on to them. You can like, there are, there are a million and one ways to attract somebody to your stream. Once they're there, you've got about 10 seconds. If in those 10 seconds, they're like, uh, nah, this isn't entertaining me, then they'll leave and find somewhere else to go. So you can attract people by, you know, doing those and being live at the same times, uh, the consistency with your schedule, networking with people, that kind of stuff. And then obviously improving your content as well will help you retain those viewers once you've attracted them. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, Izzy, Mick, Ali, Silver, Little, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus Well done. Good job. Boss fight. Yes. Yes. Let us jump on in. Um. Ah, I finally get my assists from tanking. Thank you, vampire unit. Brilliant. Oh, and I can level something too. This one. Good. Humpagan. Spite. Uh, I don't need this anymore, but I'm leveling. So I'm going to pop down this one. And I'm assuming Zam still needs battle plants. So there you go. Okay. Um, is it really, she's doing just nervous so much. I'm really enjoying this stream. So for me, no, 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 it's okay. One, one other thing. <laughs> Advice for beginner streamers. Prepare yourself to say the same fucking thing 12 million times in the space of 20 minutes. <laughs> because, because of the way, like if you were, if you were speaking in a lecture hall, and someone comes in late, that's their problem, right? But when you're doing a stream and someone drops in, they discover you all of a sudden, and like, there is no way for them to know what you, so you are going to have to repeat yourself. Um, get good at summarizing. <laughs> get good at summarizing the previous 10, 20 minutes of your thoughts. Uh, so you can kind of spit it out when when a new person arrives like yourself. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's totally fine. I am, uh, I've been doing this for just over six years. I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, the number of times I've had to tell, like, you know, I've had a, a health issue or something and I've had to sit here repeating myself for six hours every seven minutes telling somebody new about a health issue and it's just, it's exhausting. It's so goddamn draining, um, especially when two thirds of those people will say, oh, but have you tried blah, blah, blah? Uh, and it's like, you are not my doctor. Please kindly fuck off. Um, but do you know what I mean? It's, it's those kind of... There are parts of streaming that are bloody draining like that, but then there are parts that are just so goddamn rewarding. Super, super awesome. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you learn, you learn real quick. And if you don't, well, not a, it, streaming is not for everyone. It's, it is simply not. Anyone can stream, not everyone should stream. Uh, there, it's definitely, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I can confirm we're here before stream starts. Awesome info. Thanks. You're very welcome, CTK. Not a worry. I'm going to stick around see plenty of these fear talks. Yeah, we um we call them fear talks because they're like TED talks, except I'm fear and it still has three letters. So, yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's wonderful. Accidents on Twitch one time. By accident before. Fantastic. Awesome, consistency is king's be hard, least rewarding job you've ever done for at least 12 months, unless something super special. Yeah, um, it's like, you don't necessarily want to go viral because virality only really lasts until the next thing goes viral. Um, so you want something that sets you apart, but that is something that can be maintained and that isn't just like a flash in the pan. Like, you know, you in someone invents a TikTok dance and they explode. But then that's it, because then somebody else invents a new TikTok dance and then they explode and everyone goes to them. Like, it's just, yeah, it's, uh, you don't necessarily want to go viral. Um, slow, steady growth is not only, uh, longer term, but it's also healthier to deal with from a mental perspective. If you go from having three people watching that you chat with to having 3,000 in your chat, and chats just dunk, 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 dunk. Do you have the time? To, like those three people you were talking to, maybe they'll be okay being moderators and helping you out with that. But that's three versus 3,000 people. That That's not enough. That's not enough. Not only that, but not all of them are going to be able to show up for every stream from start to finish. And it's just, it's too much. Um, so having that slow, steady growth means that as you kind of notice that something's like, oh, this is getting a bit tricky to handle. I need to get somebody on before this becomes a problem. That kind of thing. It's uh, just so much more sustainable. So much more sustainable. Um, I got partner June last year and that was at my five and a half year mark. 
of streaming. Five and a half years it took me to get partner. And uh, uh, partner anniversary is coming up next month. Hope you'll join me for the celebration. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been one hell of a ride. Uh, it's been pretty awesome. But yeah, consistency is is definitely king. Um, I like to to put it in perspective. Um, only a short while ago, like it wasn't that long ago, uh, I was streaming four p.m. like four till four till ten is what I stream in my time zone. Uh, four till ten Sunday, when uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, right? Only a short while ago, that Sunday was two hours earlier. So it was four p four till ten Monday, Wednesday, Friday, two till eight on Sunday, right? Um, my Sunday numbers consistently were a good thwack lower than my weekday numbers, which seems a bit strange. It's a weekend, right? It should be when all the people are online and doing stuff and things. Um, what I found was happening almost every single week. I had regulars coming in to stream at about quarter past four on a Sunday and saying, what, you've been live for two hours already? I thought you'd go live at four. Yeah, during the week, but on the weekends I start at two. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Every single weekend I had those comments, every single weekend. Uh, and then I changed my Sunday stream to four to match with everything else. My viewers jumped by 20, 20 average viewers. That doesn't sound like a whole lot, right? But considering that I'm currently sitting at 100 average viewers, that's one fifth of a jump. I was on 80, now I'm on 100. Consistency is fucking king. Nothing else changed. My content didn't change. I didn't like get a camera. I didn't like nothing else changed just that one day on the schedule. Yep. Am I? I am. Why is it not go bonk? Go bonk! Why you not go bonk? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna be this one blizzard. That I've been to a game! Ah, fantastic! I'm so glad you found us. Kang to seems to be knowledgeable and wow, whatever it asks you advice something play myself and get cute from dungeons and groups a lot. The bath writers can't keep up with them, often accused of being a leech. Any suggestions? Can be difficult at times. Um, perky pugs. Uh, I would recommend um, instead of jumping in the queue, like the group finder, um, to make your own groups. Um, everyone in the group finder is there for a different reason. Uh, some people want to do a quick thing, you know, maybe they've got work, they have to leave for work in 25 minutes, so they want to knock something out in 20. Not everyone has the time that maybe you do to sit there that particular session and go through. They're looking for something quick and easy. Um, what I would recommend is joining the Perky Pugs Discord, where it's like they have a lot of requirements around um, what you can and cannot ask for in terms of requirements for people to join your group and stuff like that and they're gonna be a much friendlier bunch of people. So there's a chance that you might be able to, for example, go in there and say, hey guys, um, thanks for, you know, thanks for the group. Uh, just to let you know, I have some medical issues with my hands, so I might be a bit slow, but I promise I'm doing my best to keep up. And likely they'll understand and roll with it. Um, Uh, hey Chaos, doing well. I hope you can. I hope you are too. You keep with macro keys makes a lot of difference to my RSI. Uh, similar as an accident or not, or we just been deceived by Blizz. Huh? Um, and that helps with the rotations. I do, but you still you still have to press keys because Blizzard's rules around botting is that one button press must equal one action. Any more than that, if you press a button and it does the game for you, then you are botting. And that's bannable offense. 
Regarding numbers, isn't it so that if you have more than five to 10 viewers, you're in the 99% of Twitch? I have no idea, Karg, sorry. Um, welcome on in, by the way. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I, I don't know those numbers. Uh, what you can do is look at something like Twitch Tracker. If you, uh, there's a website called Twitch Tracker, like obviously one word, cause it's a goddamn website. Um, but if you put like a name of a straight, like a username in there, it can tell you that person's stats uh, and what percentage of Twitch they are in. Um, it's not gonna give you that kind of generalized statistic because I don't think that it can because numbers fluctuate like constantly, especially when you're talking about literally millions of streamers, those kind of statistics, the moment you finish the sentence, you'll be wrong. Um, so what I can tell you is that according to my Twitch tracker at the moment, I am rank 20,644 on Twitch. Um, I have got 122 viewers watching, so it's a little bit behind, but that's okay. 0.01% um, of all English viewers, 0.49% of World of Warcraft viewers currently on Twitch are here. So half a percent are in this stream right now. Um, and I am in the top 0.27% of Twitch um, with 101 average viewers. Um, yep. Yeah. So that's... But the, the, the percentage thing isn't just viewers. The percentage thing and the rank on Twitch Tracker is more than just your average number of viewers. It's got, it It does a whole lot of stuff with your followers and your your hours streamed and all this kind of stuff as well. Like it's a far more complicated calculation uh, than the one that you're trying to uh, talk about. But yeah, that's it's impossible to nail that number down. I'm sorry. Uh, like literally, like a legitimately impossible feat. Uh, <laughs> but Twitch Tracker will get you the glow. Like Twitch Tracker can give you individuals statistics. Um, so that's, about as useful as it can get, I think. Uh, GSC gnome sequence are enhanced. Yes, but it is still one button press equals one action. Uh, where is using Logitech because when I'm used to have one key spams, one through six, if I hold it down, another group, the same key spams, two constantly, for example. Uh, yeah, just be careful with those is all I'll say. Um, obviously, like, I, I'm not a lawyer and I can't interpret the terms of use or the end user license agreement for anybody because I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but just be really careful with that. Why are everybody going to be supports people with disabilities? It would be really nice. For sure. Shift to 4pm Sunday has made it much easier. That was a great move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yep. That's great. Awesome. Sun well. Mid, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. I hope you're having an awesome day. 14 months, holy cow. Why are you on Blizzard app and you only have 120 viewers that don't really talk? Um, uh, <laughs> are, is that, are you trolling? I don't. Okay, so first of all, um, not everyone uses the launcher to actually launch the game. Um, a lot of people, like the vast majority of, of players will just launch it via the, the exe, the executable file. Um, next, not like a very small portion of the player base actually clicks things that are on the launcher. Next, I'm not on every launcher all around the planet. <laughs> you just so happened to see me. Next. 120 viewers is bloody good and I'm sure look I'm, I'm sure if you're doing better than that then that's that's awesome and I'm very very happy for you but I'm quite happy with my community at the size it is uh like I would much rather have 120 really awesome genuine people than 120,000 shitbags <laughs> like honestly um our community is quite a few of them are lurkers, yes, and it's because I do chill kind of content that isn't lots of yelling and screaming and, and oh my god and all that kind of stuff. And so a lot of people tend to like listen in to the conversations that we have Hi, the in the background while ah oh, Bib Swells, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Thank you for the support. So kind of you. Um what was I saying? Right, so they lurk because they're like, they're listening in to, cause we like, I talk a lot, right? And so we have these things that we call fear talks where I just, you know, someone prompts and I, I start talking. And so people listen into that. They don't necessarily always interact. Sometimes they do, but um, actually where's my, where's my stream summary? Cause I'm, doesn't it have like an active, 
Chatter. One moment, please. Unique chatters, 102. So far this stream, we've had 102 different people chatting. That's such a cool number. Like, stats are awesome. Anyway, so yeah, like, if you're trying to like, embarrass me about my statistics or something, you it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Like, I'm really happy with what I've accomplished and achieved and all that kind of thing. So if you're not happy with what I've done, then that's okay. You don't have to be here. But uh, I hope that you can find uh, someone to watch that you really enjoy their content. Or uh, if you don't want to watch something, if you want to play a game or something like that, I, I instead of watching Twitch, um, then I hope that you find something that, you know, makes you happy. Because life's too short to waste on shit you don't enjoy. So best of luck to you. Um, should I be like listening? Three viewers, top 10%, five viewers, 5%. Really, Zayn? Where's that number coming from, though? I'm s like, that's got to change, like, every day. Oh, gosh, we're, um, we've got a hype train close. I just noticed. Uh, there's no time to know his expression. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a copium overdose. For whom, Bo? Is that me? Or is that Swabby? Or is what's going on? What have I got? I don't have them on. Um, excellent day. Hope you're doing well too. Yay, mid! I am doing well, thank you. I'm having a good day. Oh, many of you play and look absolutely Joe. they they definitely do you're very right they'll be playing and just listening in the background and stuff not everyone feels the need to type in twitch chat and that's okay totally fine with that hey a kaz lurking for the win indeed <coughs> i still at the same time enjoy listening as well show me now and then yes uh, agreed really interesting look at all these first time chatters my god welcome on in bell thank you for thank you for stopping by and i'm glad that you find i'm glad you find it interesting like that's really awesome that's awesome. Passive listening or doing things important part of my day. Yas. Um, the one room one, huh? <laughs> um, hey, AQ. Isn't wrong with the EXE. I've not seen her there. Hey, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good day as well. Or oh, what am I doing? No, no, I need to change this. Whoops. Oh, that was not what I meant to do either. I'm doing well today. There we go. Make sure I'm going in the black bloody direction. Um, I just like using being a bottle, so yes, you were. These questions are cringe. Eh, look, there's maybe maybe they're just having a bit of a rough day, and I'm I'm an easy target to you know try to bash on or whatever, and that's that's okay. Like, I mean, obviously it's not okay. You shouldn't bash on people, random strangers on the internet. Not a very nice thing to do. But like, if if they're genuinely feeling better by trying to make me feel bad about myself and my achievements, then I mean, I hope them. I hope they find some joy in life because that's that really sucks, you know. Um, they know what's here. Remember reading, you can't confirm the source, I don't remember it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like if, especially if that number happened, like, pre-pandemic, <laughs> the number of people that started streaming in the last couple of years is, like, so high, so high. So I, that can't be right anymore, I'm sure of it. <sighs> but oops, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well done, Seiko, well done. Oh, homemade burgers, delicious. Delicious. Robot 2, one day I hope to be human. <laughs> oh dear. I don't talk a lot because I'm older and I had to keep up with chat sometimes. Oh, totally fair. Totally fair. Bump for plus one shadow, just Barbie Morgan listening. Totally fine. Not a worry at all, Neats. I hope you've been getting some some gorgeous new looks, some gorgeous new transmog. Last time we're here enjoying chat. I'm so glad to hear that, Stevie. Fantastic. Uh, yes, love it to have you engage if and when you are comfortable. Age is no limit to your engagement here. Yeah, absolutely. And that goes for everyone. Like, do not ever feel like you are obliged to chat. Like, it's totally fine to lurk. I get it. It's okay. Totally okay. D 
do stuff. Oh, oh congrats, Mid. Well done. Well done. I don't know, flying pet should be a little bit different while flying in a spot without moving. Uh, it should be, because I mean, like, the mounts are. They, when you stop moving, they're just slightly different. Uh, not by much, though. But, oh well, look, if if one one fewer animation makes it into the game, but it results in something else being added to the game that's super awesome, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yes, man, get indeed. The only way some people have to feel better about themselves is belittling others. Yeah, and honestly, it, it that's, that's really sad. Like, um, yeah, I don't know, I, I guess, Maybe it's just because I've never really felt like that myself. I mean, don't get me wrong. Absolutely. If I've been in like a, a bad place and I've seen somebody else succeeding, particularly if they're succeeding in an area where I feel like I'm failing, I will absolutely feel salty in their general direction. Like, it, of course, like I'm human. Believe me, I'm not a robot. Uh, <laughs> but like, I, I'm sure that we've all had moments like that. But I've never felt the need to kind of go and tell them, well, you've only done this much or whatever. Like that just, that's never really crossed my mind. And I, I don't know, it just it kind of, it sucks. Um, so I'm sorry that there's, you know, shit going on that makes them feel like that's the only way they're going to get some happiness. It's, yeah. Oh, oh, well. Not much I can do about it. Hey. I've, I've been their punching bag for a little while, and if that was enough, then so be it. If it wasn't, uh, I hope that the next person they encounter has as thick skin as I do and is able to block, ban, move on, etc. Uh, kind of is. You have to be 13 plus to use Twitch. Yes. I mean, yes, you do have to be 13 plus to have a Twitch account. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't interact, especially like, you know, if, for example, Kraz with the little ones. It's, there's still, there may still be interaction there. They just don't have their own account and whatever interacting they do is supervised by an adult. Um, I'm actually gonna use this. Brilliant. Um, first time here too. Hey, Huffy. So easy and chill to watch. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you so much for the kind words. I mean, I like, I like a bit of hype as much as the next person, but overall I like, I'm not sure I'd be able to maintain those high energy levels for 24 hours a week. Like that's how, that's how many hours a week I'm live, you know, and that's, that's a lot of energy. Um, especially when you, you know, you're talking about insomniac and chronic illness and there's just, there's so much there. It's nah. Um, so I'm glad that there are at least a small handful of people out there who enjoy the chill streams because it's all I can really manage. <laughs> um, All right, so what did we get and what did we not get? Um, I still need gauntlets. Oh, interesting. Oh, I guess this is my first male wearer. Um, did I get, no, I didn't get any legs. That's okay. We're gonna head home and go to the next, uh, what's it? Next shaman. Can you love listening to you, leveling up my pro, ignore this, can we come in before you seem really nice? Look, I agree. I agree, Key. Like it's one of the, one of the things I was talking about earlier um, with, uh, starting out streaming in the whole vibe attracts your tribe thing. Um, in the early days, I definitely had to do like, it's, it can feel really difficult to make a decision. Like if you've got a, a couple of people watching you, like, like a handful of people watching you and somebody comes in and starts trolling, it genuinely is a very difficult decision. Do I ban this person when they represent 20% of my audience? Like, let's say you have five viewers and you have one of those viewers being an hat. do you ban 20% of your current viewers? That's a really hard decision to make, like, especially back when the Twitch browse page was sorted from like most to, to least viewers and having that one extra viewer could jump you up three goddamn pages on the browse page. Now it works differently. It automatically sorts by recommended. You can switch to high low, but it defaults to recommended, which is a much better way of doing things in my opinion. Um, makes it a little easier to discover people you might actually enjoy regardless of their size. Uh, but it was it was a really difficult decision. Um, but the problem is out of the five, that troll 
is probably going to be more interactive and louder and, and chattier than the other four. And so the vibe of your chat is now troll. So if somebody brand new comes in, viewer number six comes in, and all they see is this one person who's super chatty, who's being salty and trolly and all this kind of stuff, they're going to nope the hell out of there. If they are your intended audience, who is like you guys are, you know, welcoming and chatty and or lurky and just kind of like chill, right? They're going to see the one active troll and nope out of there real quick. Um, if you get rid of the 20% of your viewers, you get rid of the troll, and you just have your, and quite often the moment you ban them and they see that they've been banned, they're like, oh, thank you so much for that. Like, oh, that was really stressful. I didn't want to talk because I didn't want them to turn on me or anything. Uh, and then like, and you'll, you'll keep growing and then you'll have another one in and then you, you ban and keep growing and another one in you ban and keep growing. As you get bigger, you won't even need to really handle it because they'll come in, a troll will come in drop some insensitive comment or something rude or, or insulting or whatever it happens to be and you'll have enough viewers who are of your vibe your tribe who will turn on them and be like nah we don't do that here and they will leave of their own accord usually not always but they will leave of their own accord before you even get to them because they are just not interested in having to face down that many supportive people it's just not like they don't, they don't have, they want an easy target. Vast majority of trolls want an easy target. So yeah, it's, um, it is absolutely worth clearing out. Uh, I look, I try to benefit of the doubt, you know, like maybe it's a general question, like maybe it's a genuine question. Maybe they're not being salty. Maybe they're not trying to insult me. Maybe it's just coming across that way because text, text oh, is really hard to convey tone. Matterhorn, thank you so much for the resub. Nine months to enjoy your new sub badge. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, crap, what was I saying? I forgot. Uh, something about banning trolls. Do the thing, ban the trolls. Oh, right, sometimes, sometimes I try to engage to see if it is a miscommunication, because sometimes it is. Someone comes in, guns blazing, this is an obvious troll, and then it turns out actually they're not. Uh, and they just really put their foot in it, or maybe it's ESL, so like English is a second language, and so they haven't quite understood how harsh their comment has come across, or it was meant to be said in like a joking manner, or like there could be multitudes of different ways it could be explained. Um, so I try to, but that was just, you know, just made the right call. <laughs> Cause it's, um, yeah. After that much shit talking, it's, it gets to the point where, you know, you're, you're just genuinely an angry person right now. Um, first time has definitely come to the right place. You see, ah, despite being a colander, uh, yes, colander brain. <laughs> Do you the game and how amazing the community can be has grown exponentially? Aw, oh, Kras, that's so sweet of you to say. Thank you so much. Yes, follow Fia on socials. I'm trying to, I want to be a full-time content creator. I'm not at the moment. I have a day job. Uh, I work as an assistant accountant during the day and then by night I'm at, anyway. Um, I call it my day job and my night job because I literally stream at night and I literally account during the day. Um, but I've recently had to take on extra time at work because of business needs and stuff like that, which really sucks. But um, I'm still working my ass off to try to grow my social media. Uh, in Australia, Twitch is really undervalued uh, as a potential marketing tool. So like things, unless, you know, you've got games, obviously game developers know Twitch and they know that it's valuable. But outside of that, um, there's not a whole lot of cash on Twitch in terms of like income, because that's the thing. I need an income to pay my bills, to live, etc. Um, so uh, the big, the big bucks come from Instagram. Um, in Australia, uh, if you've got a big enough following, companies will literally just pay you to make a post, pay you to post a story, pay you to post a series of posts, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, and so what I'm trying to do is grow my Instagram following. Uh, that will also help with potential Twitch sponsorships as well. If Australia does start to recognise the value of Twitch, having that social media reach. Uh, it's basically like when a company gives you money as an influencer, influence, you know, when you spell like lower, upper, lower, upper, lower, uppercase, like when you're, yeah, yeah, influencer, that's how it happens in my head. And so that's how it happens on my body. Anyway, uh, so, so they basically like, if they give me X money and I tell you guys about a product or a service or whatever, they're expecting that I will convince enough of you 
to sign up or to pay or to buy or whatever, that they will make 5x money ish it's obviously pulling numbers out my ass here but it like and then maybe future it like once it grows a bit more they give me 5x money with the expectation to get 25x money out of you guys because there's more of you right so the larger your reach the more money you can ask for and the more money you may receive so follow fear instagram twitter twitch here obviously uh there's a discord no, no, uh, yes, well, there is a Discord, um, but it doesn't really matter so much with the social reach. There's a TikTok, there's a Facebook, I think I should mention that. Um, but Instagram's the important one. If you wouldn't mind, if you feel comfortable doing so, I know people use Instagram for very different things sometimes and that's totally okay. But if you feel comfortable doing so and you would like to see behind the scenes fear stuff, uh, Instagram's the place to see it. I've been putting a lot of effort into my Insta lately and I've also engaged a social media expert person who works in the fucking industry um and she's helping me improve my content basically helping me figure out what i can do to appeal to my audience better you are my audience so stuff more stuff that you guys will like based on what you already like from my feed uh so if that's something that might interest you i would love for you to check that out um but yeah i'm now I need to go and take a shower because I feel like that was entirely too much self-promotion. Okay, continuing to read. Uh, Discord, the Vela Cap is removed, also hit at the same time. Hallelujah, however you spell it. I can fly! Yay, Kai! Wait. Kialinx. Kialinx, I believe, is how I would pronounce your name. So Ki would probably be the shortened or Kia. Alright, I will try my best just to... Look, words are hard sometimes. <laughs> um, you farming hard, just managed to pick up what's probably my best ST ring upgradable chest. Hey! Uh, Nick, what do you do in finance? Hello, Nick. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Absolute McFly, Little Draz, Car, and Dunno. Congratulations on your Well done. Um, I am an assistant accountant, so I do money things, obviously. Uh, but mainly, like, uh, payroll, accounts, credit cards. Uh, accounts payable and receivable, um, all that kind of stuff. I can't do like submitting taxes and all that kind of stuff to the, the government, like the actual reporting. I can't do any of the reporting because I don't have the qualifications to do that. Um, but I am essentially a bookkeeper with more access. Um, so I, I balance the accounts and all that kind of stuff. Um, in saying that, I cannot provide any advice on anything at all. Nothing. None. Nada. Uh, I can't help you with your payroll queries. I can't, uh, like, I, none of that. I can't do any of that because I'm not qualified to. I also wouldn't have the information to be able to help you and it would be very unsafe for that type, and type of information uh, to be told to me via something like Twitch or, or any of the communication avenues that I have. So, um, my yeah, just to, to preempt any potential questions that I have had in the past, but... Um, yeah, that's what I do. I'm really good with numbers. I, uh, I speak numbers better than I speak English most days. Uh, and so working with numbers is just, yeah, it's something that would be really, really boring and really, really difficult to certain people. Um, but for me, I find it fairly easy to do. Like a lot of it, I can kind of switch my brain off while I'm doing most of like the data entry type stuff. And then I can just kind of check over the result and I'm good. Uh, and it just makes sense to me. It just kind of works, which I'm really happy about. Um, always a good thing. Um, I kind of find Kvala for it. Oof, rough. You sound clip from Little Dude today. Crack my wife up. Yay! Amazing. Just giving me a breath. Frost is bad for rando dungeons. Samurai will join you in the end. No, unfortunately, just wait to just five k myself. Uh, especially my watch. Just new weapon too. From the vault again, yeah. Sometimes I need keys this week, actually. Should you ban them? Nobody likes an asshole community would benefit more from never not having an idiot as part of the group. Troll is never a good thing. Yes, correct. But it can be, especially when you're still growing, it can absolutely be a really difficult decision to make. Um, so what I was saying was more hopefully uh, reassuring to newer streamers that it is okay to ban them. It's okay. Uh, all right, so that I need to go to Keldon Ask for. I got two of them, you bastards. Um, okay, brilliant. We're gonna go to Keldenas. I don't have any leg sets though. 
Das or Kai. Red Road, I want a marathon train to a faster run. <laughs> and kids keep staying at grandparents. Hello, Matt. This never be a good time for me to go smoke before I go into bed. Just stressful people, of course, enjoy. Be safe. Um, Colin Rain makes you very civilized. Ah! <laughs> Brilliant. No, it just makes my memory trash. Uh, in case anyone was wondering what the colander brain thing was, um, I, I essentially one day described my brain as a colander. Like, you know, if, if you, if you're straight, like a pasture strainer and you pour stuff in and all the stuff just falls out the holes. Yep. That's what my brain does. Like a lot. I have a really, really bad memory of a bunch of reasons, but like the end result is I have a trash memory. So that's where the colander brain joke comes from. It is a bit of an in joke, but we are more than welcome, like more than happy to introduce more people to the in part of the joke. Uh, <laughs> excellent. To agreed. Agreed. You found your people. I try. Not a dad. Most of my jokes are dad jokes. You're in training. You're, you're practicing. You don't ever have to become a dad. Just putting it out there. But like, yeah. Um, please create that into an exclamation command. Ah, uh, can't wait to get to that comment. Influencer, yep. Colander on head as a point redemption. <laughs> no, because we only have one of them and we need it for cooking. <laughs> we need it for cooking. I might have a train of three, four minutes, maybe. Can't see if this would only redeem as I'm on my bar. If you have an actual physical colander on her actual head, yep. Yep. We'd need another one. Suggest by a throne, cough. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at this, I promise. Uh, I just routine my show wrinkles me links. Ah, you should have put your links as links is already taken. Gotcha. Okay, I will do my absolute best just to remember that, but refer previous statement regard regarding Colander. But I will I will try. I will pr I promise I will really, really try to remember that. Um, ahead. And there's the emote only. All the pretty pictures. Look at y'all go. Amazing. Trouble with learning new stuff pushes older stuff out my brain. Exactly. Describe my brain as Swiss cheese. Took that from the TV series Quantum Leap. Someone gifted her another colander. I was about to say, add quote redemption pushed up to 10k embers. Can't redeem that as I don't have enough embers. Yeah, because we were having like so many of them. And I, I had a whole bunch that were just completely ran. And I'm like, what even is this? By someone who literally joined stream, hit follow and tried to add a quote. And I'm like, what? So yeah, I, I, I did that. Um... With the second pilot on an auto on an aircraft, can't as a code lander. <laughs> Look, maybe, maybe. Okay, what am I doing? Um, linked spaulders. Na 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 na. Brilliant. Out we hop onto the next shaman. <laughs> I, okay, I was mostly joking. Um, <laughs> a bit slow in the emo chat. I got there. I got there. How did you throw it? It is. Redeem a sound command today. Yes, Zam did redeem a sound command today. I have so many suggested gifts. Shit, I should really go through this, hey? <laughs> oh my god, dupe. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's dishwasher safe. That's bomb. What is the... I love this so much. Do they ship to Australia? Oh, within... Yeah, no, they're, they're Australian. Phenomenal. All right. All right. What category is it? clothing? Let's go with clothing. Um, confuse everybody. Perfection. There you go. I can do it. We, we got, Jas got a, an umbrella, so I can... It's thinking. Okay. Um... But um, would you love my singing? Isn't it amazing? Don't answer that. 
<laughs> um. Mm, there's way too many points. Calendar heads gets. I don't know. He's all my points on that. Put in Discord. Ah, they can go visit the wish list to see it, dude. So do you want Kato's or Nick's name? Brilliant. And technically want to know what Colander looks like now. If you wear it as clothing. Correct. Correct. It's on the wish list. If you open up the throne here. There you go. It's, I think it's like on the first thing on the wish list. So yeah. Headphones or clothing. They're wearable tech. Wearable tech. Gosh, the music is making me miss my computer. I'm sorry, Seeker, but also not really at the same time. Cause like content creation. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm sure you understand. This is agony. Ah, oh, first on the list, not for long. Dupe. We can't assume. Never assume. This is another another really like asking for support from your community is fine. To an extent. Expecting them to comply will get you very disappointed very quickly and may also generate resentment among your community, resulting in them leaving as well. Like, that's... I, I have a wish list. I have items on the wish list that I would like to own. <laughs> uh, I, I have... Obviously, you can sub. I, I have... Uh, affiliate programs that you can purchase goods from using my discount codes or links or whatever. Like all these things exist enough and are stuff, but I would never in a million years expect for like the, the absolute minimum, the, like the, the, the maximum thing that I would ever expect from, from a viewer is if they are looking to purchase an item that happens to be offered on one of the affiliate websites that I am part of, they would consider that item amongst the other items that they're looking at. And if it were the best option for them, maybe go for that one using my code. But the most I would ever hope, like the most I could ever expect is that it would be considered as one of the options in, in terms of purchasing something. Like anything beyond that is just one hell of a bonus. One hell of a bonus. Actually, I got another email. I got an email just today at the start of stream. Um, offering an affiliate program and good lord, the terms are trash. <laughs> For an item I have never and will never use. Uh, yep, no. Nah. Like. Um, anyway. Uh, clear first sword agony. It seems I got over 100,000 embers again. Oh my god. Mm, hope, but don't expect. Exactly, yeah. I, I can absolutely hope. For sure. Uh, but I would never expect. I would never expect. Um, however, what you guys can expect from me, what you lot can absolutely 100% expect from me, is that anything that I have an affiliate code or link or whatever for, any company that I align myself with, I believe in them 100 bajillion percent. I would not be offering... Essentially, so this is the thing, having an affiliate code is essentially working for a company for free. Because you are promoting their products, you are putting their name out there, you are going out of your way to bring attention to them, to try to earn them revenue in the hopes that you get a kickback. Why the hell would I put in all that goddamn work and effort for something that I didn't believe in? I've got like my, my mellow cosmetics stuff. I wear the makeup because it's good stuff. And so I might as well, like while I'm putting it on my face, I might as well let you know that I have it and that it's something that I'd recommend. When I've got my, my hair curled and stuff, I, I'm letting you know that I have an affiliate code with the curler because I believe in the product. And if you want the hair that I, if you want this kind of a style, it's achievable with this product because I did it. And if I did it, God fucking anyone could do it because I'm trash at hair. Uh, like, <laughs> like that kind of, yeah. So the one thing that you guys can absolutely expect from me is that if I have put my name on something, it's because I believe in it. I would not sell you guys on something that is trash because that's your hard earned dollars and you deserve better than that. Um... 
respect. Hopefully you were sufficiently happy when you got me before. Yes. Ah, uh, someone else using your orders. Let them collect dust. I see that email. I'm to have an affiliate link for a graphics card. Oh god, Kellen, I bloody wish. Because if I had an affiliate code for one, I'd probably have a new one myself. <laughs> I do not, unfortunately. Um, but if I did, like, when I get new affiliate codes, I absolutely, like, announce it. And I also put them on social media. So if you want to know when I get... Good lord, that was terror. I knew it was coming, and it still terrified me. Thank you so much for the gift. Who was that? Let me refresh this and see if it actually comes up. N no? Anonymous. Thank you very much, Anon, for the beautiful spaghetti monster colander. It's amazing, and I cannot wait to put it on my head. <laughs> oh! <gasps> yes! I got the gauntlets! I got the wrong pants, though, but that's okay. That's fine. I got the gauntlets. Who am I on? Pyro. Oh, that's my last shaman. Crap. Oh, okay. Hunters, then. Um. It's really good, but Larry, yes. Yeah, I'm all gonna hear like that from using the product. I mean, you absolutely could. You may also need to purchase a wig, though. And make sure if you are purchasing a wig that it is heat, like that you can't, there are some wigs out there that can't be heat treated. And it is, the curler does use heat up to like 180 degrees Celsius or, or more. Um, so if you are going to get a wig to curl, be sure that you get one that is heat treatable. Because the last thing I want you to do is buy, you know, a few hundred bucks worth of stuff and then have a handheld thing with a melted hunk of plastic in it. That would be terrible. Um, of course you can. <laughs> Just not on your natural hair. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm proud of myself for that one. <laughs> this is good. And uh, the trash and hair is 100% me also. Yes. Yeah, it's just like, oh God, it makes it so easy though. Hey? And these, like, I'm not sure if you can really see it too much, but can you see there's kind of some waves here and here and like, I think there was one back here as well. Like this, this here, this, this wavy curly thing. I'm hoping you can see it on the camera because I'm not looking at anything. That there, that's the curls from Friday. That's the curls from Friday. How good's that? I don't have more ideas for sound commands. <laughs> ah, dupe! Thank you so much for the colander. Yeah, it came up as um, it came up as anonymous on the thingamajig. Um, I wonder if there's like a. Mm, it says gift a name anonymous. Gift a message. No message. Hmm, I wonder what happened there, but thank you so much! Thank you so much for the colander. So generous of you. It's too easy to use. Yas! Ugh, pasta head fear, I know, right, Jazz? Uh, if I have never tried bubble tea, what would be a good place to start? Okay. Um, do you have any dietary requirements, like things like uh, vego, vegan, uh, any allergies, uh, lactose intolerance, um, any allergies or things that you are that you really just don't like. Things you do like in other drinks, if you've had tea before, um, that kind of stuff. That kind of information will help me and I will help you with a suggestion. Because I can do that. Uh, hello, Des. Welcome back. Pastafarians now. I really hate having the wrong pants. I know, right? That's a good tip. Curl the hair around the sides and back. I mean, definitely. Definitely. Absolutely. So if you're at I'm sorry for you. What? Why? What? Oh, the pasta. No, don't, don't apologize. I have another colander on the way and it's adorable and has eyes. How is this a bad thing, Krez? Like, <laughs> how did you manage to choose two wrong servers? Are you not mine? A few wild characters. They're the right servers. You're on the wrong ones. Uh, no, I don't know what I did. Do you prefer a bunch of stuff from somewhere about? Oh, bugger. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that sucks. Um, what do you mean, do? Thanks for being you, do this ever. <laughs> Nothing like that, thankfully. Brilliant. Okay, so, um, 
there are there are two main categories of bubble tea. You've got milky tea, and you've got usually what's termed as fruit tea because it's it's not milky, uh, it's clear, but and those flavors are usually fruit based. Um, I'm going to guess that you're looking at Bubble Tea Club. Um, so in terms of milk tea, a really good place to start is original milk tea. Uh, it it has like it's quite your basic kind of stuff. You you brew a tea bag, you add creamer, etc. Um, whereas a lot of the other flavors, you kind of add flavored powder rather than uh, brewing a tea bag. So I quite like original milk tea. Original milk tea is also quite customizable. Like you can add bits and pieces to it and it can make something really quite special. Um, so original milk tea is a great place to start. The next two places I'd go from there, one of my very most favorite is Thai milk tea, as in T-H-A-I. Um, Thai milk tea, it's like, I have never tasted anything quite like it. I, I don't, I know that there's a bunch of spices and stuff like that, but it is just I, I do not know how to explain it. It's delicious though. I re you're either going to like it or you're going to not like it. I reckon it is quite sweet. So um, if you're going to go and try a Thai, I would probably suggest making it up and then trying it before you add any of the fructose to it. If you are going to add extra, like the, the fructose, because it is quite a sweet flavor just by itself. Uh, I'm not sure how you are with like sweetness and stuff. The other option would be brown sugar. Brown sugar is one of the most popular um, uh, milk teas, like, end of story. It's one of the most popular ones, and it's because it's delicious. So you get, it's the original milk tea, but you have that brown sugar syrup, so it's got, it's a bit sweeter, but it's darker sweeter, and it's got that caramelization kind of flavor going through it. It's just really delicious. I would recommend having the milk tea, the milk teas with pearls, tapioca pearls. These are the little, um, the black blobs in the bottom there. Um, they do need to be cooked, uh, but what I usually do, uh, if I pop the pearls, like I, I get a little pot of water, pop the pearls in, stir it just to get them off the bottom, like unstuck, and then I leave it and I make the rest of the tea. And by the time the tea is ready to drink, the pearls are usually done. They usually float up to the surface of the water when they're ready to go, but you can always scoop one out and have a munch and, and see what you think of the texture. It should be chewy all the way through, no, no crunchy bit and no like sticky it shouldn't stick to your teeth super like it's really hard to explain but you'll know what I mean like it's almost like it's got a bit of solid in the middle it's not crunchy but it shouldn't be there it doesn't feel right um but yeah that's what I'd recommend for milky fruit tea golly gosh there's so many different options and it really tr like it really depends on what you're looking for I love passion fruit's one of my favorite passion fruit green I usually go green tea with my fruit teas but if you like a more strong tea flavor Black tea is definitely an option as well. Green tea is a little milder uh, in terms of the tea flavor. It's still there, just not much of it. Passion fruit is sweet, but it's tangy. Lychee is sweet. It tastes just like lychee fruit. It's so bloody good. Um, those are probably my two favorites. Um, they also have a couple like strawberry fruit tea has like pulp in it. So when you're drinking and if you're getting, I usually have coconut lychee jelly with my fruit teas. I, I like the texture and I like the little extra sweetness that it adds to the drink. Um, and while you're drinking and you're getting the coconut jelly up the straw, if you're having a strawberry one, you'll get chunks of like actual strawberry as well, which, oh, I mean, it's strawberry in a syrup, so it's not fresh strawberry, but it's bloody good anyway. Um, I mean, I like genuinely the vast majority of their fruit teas, but those are probably my top three right this moment. Ask me in 20 minutes and it will have changed again. Uh, <laughs> I, I genuinely find it very difficult to choose a fruit tea that I really like. If you're getting, some, if you're wanting to try, if you've never had bubble tea before and you're scared of purchasing it from Bubble Tea Club because you don't want to stick with like a five pack or a 10 pack and then not like it, I would recommend finding your closest bubble tea joint and trying either an original milk tea or a passion fruit green tea. Those would be like, um, I'll, often they'll do uh, like a passion fruit green tea that comes with coconut jelly and pearls and passion fruit pulp. Um, you can obviously remove any of those three toppings. Uh, bubble tea is endlessly customizable. It's really, really good. Um, but those are probably my two recommendations that I would grab from a store. And then if you like it, get it from Bubble Tea Club because the servings cost half as much as you would from more, even less than half sometimes, like like better than half uh, a lot of the time. But yeah, 
That's uh, Fia's Bubble Tea 101. It's also Ice Tea Day coming up uh, in the next week or so, so that's interesting. Um, okay, you're welcome. I'm gonna be someone else. It's really choice, but thanks anyway. <laughs> oh dear. Worried proof of my username and credit card field would dox myself. Ah, oh, right. Well, as you saw, that only comes up like that. Uh, it does. It does tweet it out though as well, doesn't it? Right. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fair. You know what? Better being anonymous and missing your name than being doxed. To be to be honest, uh, and we all know it was you. Look at the internet working. Hey, lucky, fantastic. Welcome back. Hope you're having an awesome day. Oh, good. Yes, I am. Your milk tea is legit really good. Oh yeah. Sounds nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's um bubble tea in general is just delightful. My personal opinion. And for anyone who's really, really confused about why the fuck I'm ranting about bubble tea, I'm an affiliate of the Bubble Tea Club. Um, they are a Melbourne-based company that ships to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada. They're currently working on shipping to the UK. They're having some issues with like weights and prices and 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 travel, like the products actually traveling. Some of them are wet products in jars. And if they're not carefully temperature controlled, things can go wonky. You know, it's yeah, they're they're trying to make sure that they only send out good products. Um if you use code Fiama, uh, you'll save five percent on your order and I'll get a five percent commission. And at the moment, I have uh, dental bills that total $23,000 Australian and all of my Twitch earnings, subs, bits, donations, affiliate program purchases, sponsorships, all that kind of stuff is going towards my dental fund. Um, I'm hoping against hope um, that like, so because I'm, because it's not one big bill that I'm trying to pay off, there's no interest or anything like that. I haven't had everything done yet and I'm paying for things as they come up so far. I've been able to pay for everything as it's happened. I haven't had to, um, I haven't had to take out any loans or anything. Worst case, once we get to the tail end, the last couple of treatments, I might have to take out some sm much smaller loans for, for what I'm getting done. Um, but fingers crossed, if I can be really bloody good with my saving from Twitch, then I won't have to spend, I won't have to take out a cent in loans. Uh, but, uh, that's all thanks to you guys. So, um, yeah. Yeah, my shoes are tapping your pearls. It was really good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Really, really tasty. Um, I have a sweet tooth. Need drops. So wait, so it won't be often. Of course, of course. The other thing with um, with uh, like, especially so the milky teas, it doesn't work quite as well, but the fruity teas, it really does. So uh, you can brew up a thing, and instead of having like brew it up and make one serving, you can dilute it out. It'll still taste like obviously it'll taste watered down. But, um, it's really good. I mean, you can also, the other thing is you can also super customize it. Like you can add less sugar, no sugar. You can add less syrup, uh, all that kind of stuff. You can, you can customize it so that your caloric intake is where you want it to be. Um, but yeah, that's, and this is the beautiful thing because like when you go to a store, I mean, sure you can ask for less sugar, no sugar, blah, 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 blah. But, um, it's not customizable to the same level. Um, I look with peach teas lately, bitter aftertaste. Oh, Kelm, that really sucks. Um, I hope that's not from the Bubble Tea Club. I mean, I've, the, the peach, the peach syrup from Bubble Tea Club has never been bad for me. Like I've, it, oh, and it's so, so tasty. My Lord, it's so good. Um, but I am, I'm so, if, if that has been the case from the Bubble Tea Club, then I would definitely recommend reaching out to them. They're super responsive and any time I've ever had an issue. So the very first time um, I ordered from them, we got like a 10 pack of mango fruit tea because I just, that was it. I just wanted to try it, see what it was like. Um, and they, it was an issue with our order. Um, uh, the jar of jelly we had, uh, we ordered a thing of jelly and the, the things, uh, I think it was like the jelly... They used to, instead of having a jar, it used to be in like a pouch and the pouch had split or something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but there was something wrong and, oh no, the, the heat seal on the tapioca pearls wasn't all the way across 
So there was air in there and they'd gotten mushed. That's right. And I reached out, I sent them photos and they sent me replacement and a free jar of jelly. No questions. Just like, oh, that sucks. So sorry about that. We'll fix it right up for you. Uh, and ever since then, if we've ever had any issues, it's just been perfect. Like they've always been super, like really quick to respond. A little bit slower more recently, but they're growing very quickly. Um, but still really quick, like still good response times. It's just not instant. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're wonderful. And Pam and Jenny are absolutely lovely as well. Um, do you explain to me? That's awesome. Can the fruit just go out? No worries at all, mid. I'm so pleased to hear it. So can you just try the bubble tea seeker? Can you hold out till, can you hold out till October? Um, used to be a bubble tea shop on my route home before I moved. I sort of regret not trying it while I was there. There was one on my route to uni. Every morning and every afternoon that I went in and then came home from every two a day. I was, I was hardcore addicted. Hardcore addicted. Did I go some yes? Woo! Yay mid! I need to record me trying bubble tea for the first time. Oh, we can absolutely do that. We can absolutely do that. And we'll get two that are like wildly different as well. So that like, if you don't like it, you can, we can trade or something. We'll get Jazz to record. Put on the Insta. <laughs> and it just memory banks you feel what elephant brain room is it? Ah, oh, I'm having a day. Calamity's been following me around today. Just trying not to break anything. I know the feeling. Just gonna watch Calamity Jane. Hoping you can be able to get people back on Medicare for dental. Oh, wouldn't that be great? It'd be too late for me, but that's okay. Like. I am, hey, if someone else doesn't have to go through what I went through, I don't understand this whole like, oh, I just missed out, that's so shit, rah, rah, rah. like I had to pay for it, everyone else should have to, as well. nah, fuck that, fuck that noise, absolutely not. I would love for that to be a thing because then like, in I know I'm probably gonna have more issues in future because my teeth are terrible, um, genetics and illness and just all the things, uh, but yeah, no, I would absolutely love for that to be a thing, that'd be fantastic. Oh, uh, the heck cost 23k. Feel free not to not answer that. That's okay. I, I've explained it a few times, so I'm happy to go through it again. Um, so I have two teeth that are causing me issues. Two. Uh, so I have one down the bottom that had a root canal and it failed. I think I, I think the number I've been going with is five times it's failed. Um, but I'm, I can't, I don't actually know what the number is for sure, but I know it's been a bunch of times. It's been more than three, but less than seven, kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, so the problem is every time a root canal fails, when they go in, when they go in to do it again and they prepare the tooth to put more filling on it, they have to file down the edge of the tooth to get them to the right texture so that the, fi the filling can grip. Because they had to do that over and over and over again, there was no natural tooth left above the gum line. None. So I had to get a complex extraction because it was they had to go in under the gum and get that out. And then because of the infection that I had underneath the tooth in the jaw, because of how many times it had failed, um, they had to do a bone graft. So I needed to get a bone graft in under here. Just, just along in here. So that was done via surgery. So I had to pay an anaesthetist, the, the surgeon anaesthetist, uh, hospital fees. Izzy, Kraz, Zam, Absolute, Silver and Silver, Silver Molly and Silver Hood Gaming. Congratulations to you on your bonus We are not doing another battle. I'm going to finish this gruels and then we're going to be done. No more battles. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so I had the bone graft and then I had to leave. We left that to heal for four months. It healed perfectly. Uh, and then I went in and got a um, titanium uh, implant put in. I'm thinking, what the hell's the word? So I have an implant in there now. So again, surgeon, anaesthetist, hospital phase. Um, hmm. All right, that's fine. Uh, and th so that's, yep, so that's the two rounds. Then I have to go in uh, a couple more months while it's, it's got to heal for a couple more months. Then they're going to put a post in and put a crown on top crown costs as well. Uh, then I have this top tooth. Had a root canal. It failed. This one was only like the first time it's failed though, so that's good. I, again, I have terrible teeth. Uh, I also couldn't afford to have crowns on them, which contributed to them failing. If you're going to get root canals, please do everything you can to scrape together the money to put a crown on it. Trust me, it is, it is worth the money. It is so worth the money. Like... <sighs> 
take it from me <laughs> with all of this crap. Crowns are worth the money. Uh, anyway, it's not just for pretty, it's for protection. Um, yeah, so that one failed. And so I had to get the root canal redone, which is now done. Uh, and I need to get a crown put on it. But the problem is when, when the tooth, when the root canal failed, a bit of the tooth broke off. This tooth here next to it has grown into the bloody gap. So they can't fit a crown on it. They just, they can't get a crown on there. So I need Invisalign. Braces won't work. Braces like close gaps. This is, I need to create a gap. I have to get Invisalign. Um, so you can't do just a small section. You gotta do a full tray. You gotta do a full two trays because the bottom teeth have to line up with the top teeth to make your bite work and all that crap. Four grand to move one tooth out the goddamn way. <laughs> so get Invisalign, shift that baby out of the way, stick a crown on it. That's what's gonna cost me 23 grand. The surgeries I've already had, the implant, the, the post on the implant, the crown, and then the, and I've had the, the root canal redone. I now need to get the Invisalign and the crown on that as well. Um, however, here is, that's all the shit. Here is the silver lining. I have always been incredibly self-conscious about my teeth. I'm not, I'm, I'm not well. I have chronic illness. Um, I, my, my enamel didn't form properly as a kid or so. I don't know. There's some weird thing with my enamel. There's just my teeth aren't good. They're bad. <laughs> they're not good. They're bad. Um, and so no matter what, no matter how hard I tried, um, they were never white. They're always yellow. Um, so, you know, I, I've never like looked through all my socials. No, none of my smiles are with my mouth, like my teeth. I never smile with my teeth. I, I can't. It's, it just, I, no, I can't. Self-confidence. <clears throat> no, not happening. So, Invisalign. It's to move one tooth out of the way, but the cost is the same no matter what you do. It's always, no matter what you do with these trays, the cost is identical. It's the same. So I've got a few teeth here and there. You wouldn't, you would never notice unless I specifically pointed it out to you, but I've got a couple of teeth where instead of being like this, they're like this, like just the, t or, or like very slightly turned, like the tiniest of cosmetic issues. No, no problem, no medical issue with it. Just tiny little cosmetic problems. Um, but I'm getting Invisalign. Might as well fix them. It's not gonna change the price. Also, you can put whitening gel in Invisalign trays. So, considering how much money I'm spending at my dentist, they've talked to me about giving me the gel to use while I'm at home, to, to pop in the trays and to use. And if I'm, if I'm not quite happy with how white I can get them while the trays are straightening my teeth, then they're gonna finish it off in the chair with like the, the dental, like in, in chair whitening services. So after $23,000 and a whole lot of pain and heartache and, and recovering from surgery, God, it was difficult. All the, after all of that, I am going to have a perfect influencer smile. And I can't wait. It's just, it's going to, I feel like it's going to change my life just a little bit, you know? It, yeah, so that's what we're looking forward to. Let me catch up on chat like as quickly as I can. I'm 10 minutes behind, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad to hear it was a bubble tea club. Uh, everyone get in free for all train. Spend 25k. They don't do myself. Implants crown cost a fuck They do coax. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well done on getting it done though. And welcome to chat. I hope I'm sorry, I'm like again 10 minutes behind, but I hope you're having an awesome night. Ah, oh, guys, you guys are amazing. Yes, free for all. Um ba -ba -ba -ba. well done, Cassie didn't even have to ask you. All that till October gone. 35 years I can wait! And that was some expensive glow in the dark people I ordered from the UK. It was spread through the rest of the order. Oh yeah. It should be so upsetting. Absolutely. Um shipping times would be long. Healthcare over here is free. Dentist aren't dental isn't. Yeah. Yep. Uh we've got we've got public healthcare. Like I've had all my arthritis stuff and all the like the neurological shit I had to go through because of the side effects of the arthritis stuff. All that has been completely free. All, the, all I've paid for has been meds and my meds that go for $1,450, I pay $42.50 for. So yeah, I'm pretty good with that. Uh, just your dental, hmm, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know how much that would have hurt your aches and sympathy when you talk about it. It wasn't too bad 
that bad. Like the the like there was definitely some oh, but I had enough painkillers and I knew to take them at the times I should have, even before even if there was no pain. Like you take when you when the doctor tell when the fucking surgeon tells you take this painkiller three times a day, you take it three times a day. Because when the pain kicks in, it it's a lot harder to suppress it again. Whereas it's a lot, it's much much easier to keep it suppressed. So yeah, when they tell you to take the drugs, take the drugs, um, unless you of course have a reaction to it, in which case call them and tell them, and they can hopefully give you something different. Anyway, uh, Crown Protect. Just wanted to snug with its toothy friend. Well, it's a bastard seeker. <laughs> Could you now say of a titanium jaw it sounds like a cool nose? No, it's just like the the jaw here has like a thing in it. That's it. Like the jaw itself isn't titanium. The the bone the the bone graft was actually bone material in there. The only part that's titanium is the little stick. Um, about the size of a little baby screw. About the size of a laptop screw, actually. Um, <laughs> you guys are all techie. You'll know what that is. Um, I made that to usual shape. Ended up growing almost flat against my mouth. Ooh, youch. Um, chip front teeth, they affect confidence a lot. It does, doesn't it? It's like, you wouldn't think it, but it absolutely does. It absolutely does. From my front teeth are wonky, I just don't smile with math open, it's a bitch. Yeah, mine are, hang on, let me just kind of, let me embarrass the hell out of myself. Lello. Especially like around the sides and stuff here. You can't notice it so much when I've got like certain colors of lipstick make it different, which, you know. Um, but then I've got the uh huh huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. implant. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually shown that on the internet before. So now there you go. <laughs> you guys are special. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna say it vaguely. Like Jaw has titanium reinforcement. I've been telling my dad that I'm part cyborg. Doesn't matter that the part of it is a tooth. <laughs> I'm part cyborg, fuck you. All right. Uh, go body, bone, brain, and shut up because I'm with essential because people. YouTuber watch has porcelain teeth. A lot of them do. A lo like there are actually a lot of younger YouTubers and TikTokers and stuff like that that are going and getting veneers and, and crowns for their entire set of teeth. The problem is crowns fail. Like they, they last a certain amount of time. It's like a couple decades. So all these 18 year olds who are getting a full set of crowns. So they have these perfect teeth. Um, they're going to like, when they get to 40, they're all going to decay and fall out of their heads. Like, and they're, they're going to have no teeth. Cause when you get a crown, like when you get a thing like that, they file the tooth down to a peg and then stick the fake thing over, like veneers particularly. Like, veneers are a bit thinner, I think, but crowns, yeah, they file them down to a peg and then they stick this fake tooth on top. They're gonna have to get a full set of implants. When those crowns decay, there's not gonna be any tooth peg left to put a new crown on. They're gonna have to get full a full set, full set of implants at like age 40. Are they still gonna have TikTok money by then? Like fucking idiots. Anyway, I can't believe that there are dentists out there willing to do that to fucking 18 year olds. But anyway, um, but yes, no, there are, there are also absolute valid re Like there are loads and loads of reasons. Like if you've got a full set of rotting teeth, taking them all out and putting porcelain ones in and stuff like that. Very like great. Don't do it unless you actually have to. Don't do it for funsies. Like good Lord. Um, so you want DPS trinket with tank loot spec? Oh no, Jas. Five and a half teeth level, so I look half that good. Collar is bad. Mm, look, I mean, bubble tea is not much better, but brush your teeth. <laughs> brush your teeth, rinse the teeth, all the stuff. Aesthetic braces, 10k a pop. Yeah, I mean, to get on my removed brick badly when I was a kid and losing one by one cents. Can't get implants. False teeth for me at 55. Look, honestly, false teeth have come a hell of a long way since like dentures 20 years ago. They're like super, super far away. Like it's, it's, they're good shit. So don't, don't stress too much about it. It'll really improve life, like quality of life and stuff like that too. Mm, I know, I know, I know, I know. Tito Ren exists by then. Oh, look, maybe. Maybe they'll just move to the next big thing, big thing, big thing. Aesthetic braces, those are a thing. Yes. Yeah, barely need them, but they want them because it's a fashion accessory. Like, yeah. Dumb asses. Just get, oh God, can you imagine, just get like a retainer or something that you can put in that has it printed on the front or has it attached to the retainer so that you can take them out so that you don't have to put them on your teeth and damage your teeth and like, God, 
damn. <sighs> These are children with more money than brain. They're... Let's find somebody to raid. <laughs> I swear I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah, oh, I didn't floss. Flossing is very important. Yeah, I, I have a lot of issues with flossing and that's something that uh, the uh, Invisalign's really gonna help with as well. Um, I'm like, a lot of my teeth, I can't get floss between them. And then other teeth, there's so much of a gap. It's like flossing like this, like there's just no, yeah. I mean, it's not like I have a huge gap, but there's enough of a gap that floss doesn't really work very well. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing, but I've, I've been told that all of this will be helped. Like once I get through the whole series of stuff, uh, a lot of these problems will be like totally fine, which is really cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, fashion changes over time, parents, you know, some fancy braces. I'm at a real teeth event, take around seeing if I take the plunge, still out for him, GS styles, the next break, kick the bucket. Educational interest. Aw, thank you, Tor. I appreciate that. Um, here we go. We're gonna raid closure because I said so. Twitch raid! Grab your copy paste if you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, either of which are totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire message, delete where it says Fiamma Hype and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it in Closure's chat when we get there. Uh, Closure is currently doing the wows. Uh, it says need to unwind a bit. I don't know what that means, but it's gonna be fine. And we're gonna shower him with loves and it'll be great. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow is Mount Farm Monday. Uh, but it's also a charity stream. We're raising money for War Child UK, a, a charity that operates in the UK um, to provide services and stuff to children affected by war who need it. And any donations that come from the UK will be matched pound for pound by the UK government. Uh, so that's a pretty big thing. I hope that you guys all will tune in and help support and all that kind of stuff. Wednesday, I have a day off. Friday, we'll be doing toys and Sunday, Back to more ATT because we did not reach the mythic bod uh, thingamajig. We got 86%, but that's not quite 100. So you'll get your embers back. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you tomorrow. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.